watching prefrontal confluence lines right now. We are in the rental dominator. We've got, got Connor with the Ridge Riders here. We've got Chad as well, Storm Chaser Chad. You can follow him on uh, YouTube it with Mark Payton Blogs. A lot of times you'll see him. And then we've got Connor's dad just dominating in the driver's seat right now. Patiently waiting. How's it going? But, um, <laughs> But here's, keep talking. It's fine. Oh. Keep talking. Guys are just characters. And, yeah, we're just, we're just back, yeah, background so, noise. Yeah. Um, no, we were actually, whoa. Yeah. Shoot you wide. Know, I get close, close and yeah. shoot wide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, we were actually randomly wanted to do a storm chase and knew I was a storm chaser. And so I took him. And um, the first one we went to was. All right, guys, we are in Ruston, Louisiana right now. North Central Louisiana. We expect a PDS or particularly dangerous situation tornado watch to come soon for Southeast Arkansas and the Northern Louisiana. And prefrontal confluence lines we're watching right now. You can see them evident in the showers, in the shower pattern, Central, Southern Louisiana. Those are gonna blossom into tornado producing supercells as we go through the day. We've got Mike Lashendro. We've got Brian that's gonna be working radar. We've already got a severe thunderstorm warning in far Northeastern Texas. But I want to show you the prefrontal. That's old, old radar. A severe thunderstorm warning is current. But they do have a little bit of precipitation ahead of them, and it's these that are the prefrontal confluence bands. Yeah, we're obviously going to monitor. I'm up here in Ruston right now, but. These could very easily blossom into tornado producing storms. Right now we're gonna have a team million. What do you guys think about about what's happening? It's about to get crazy. It's, it's getting it's getting good. It's about to be crazy. You, are you concerned about the people in the path of these storms? As always. Yeah. Any any severe weather always have to take the warning seriously, regardless of if it's a moderate risk, slight risk, marginal risk, any severe risk that is, gotta take it seriously. Always. What do you think, Connor? I, I agree with that 100%. Uh, they're talking about maybe a PDS watch for portions of uh, southeastern Arkansas. So when the PDS watch comes out, you know it's a pretty serious situation out there. So uh, definitely heed to all warnings today. You think it's going to be those prefrontal confluence storms that are off to the southwest? Those are in the open warm sector. That's where the best environment resides. Uh, absolutely. Those are going to be the ones to do it today. So you're going to be riding shotgun and you're going to be I'm, I'm navigating? Gonna be, I'm going to be the navigator today. Thank and you. if I don't get you a tornado, it's on me. No, <laughs> that's is, not how it works. Me. No, I'm it doesn't gonna, work I'm that way. I'm the navigator way. today, so no. well, if we don't get close enough to it. Not only is it on, not <laughs> on you that he doesn't see, but it's also on you that I don't see one. I'll right. take that one. Big boots to fill today. Yeah, here is the team today. We're going to be in two vehicles today. I end up with 10 by the time we're done. Yeah, well, you're in the right spot. Anyone that sees Mr. Croft over there, too, just dominating on the driver's side. Long for the ride. Yep. And uh, we're, these storms are going to be moving fast, 60 miles an hour off to the northeast. So if you're in the path of these, you want to give them some breathing room, everybody. Give them a little bit of space if they're coming. Heed those warnings. Start your severe weather safety plans early as the storm is approaching. Line it up with a straight edge. And uh, hopefully rehearse because a potentially dangerous day today and it's going to continue through the night tonight yeah oh nocturnal threat as well portions of the mississippi delta region extending in the central mississippi uh dangerous day dangerous night uh, the threat could continue all the way overnight into portions of alabama as well what are your top 10 favorite things about this setup top top 10 <laughs> <laughs> dominate, 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 dominate. Is that top, eight, top ten. 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 Even <laughs> Don't ask me that question. Man. Top ten. Thanks. We got a low level jet, 50 to 60 knots. I thought we were going to see a, a, a little more blue sky with an elevated mix layer. We do have some milky skies up there. But I think the instability is already in place. We have dew points that are well into the mid to upper 60s as well. Prefrontal confluence bands, the shape of the trough, an open trough that's ejecting from the southeastern Great Plains across the Mississippi River Valley, and a low level wind shear. So it's going to be all about today. Classic Dixie Alley photographs. How do I the lap rates might get up to what they're supposed to be? A little milky. I'm sure it'll clear up here. 
but when you have the mid-level lounge rates upwards of seven, I think we'll be all right. So is it clear when you left Texarkana? Oh yeah, blue sky, 78 degrees, all the way to about just the north side of Shreveport. It's finally started coming. Getting a little cloudy, but um, temperatures were still 77 when I got here. Wow. So, we, got, we got here in this parking lot at noon and it was sunny. So these are, these are more recent, more recent showers. That warm air infection regime driving up from the Gulf, pretty typical of a Dixie day. Low level jets starting to accelerate too. We kind of see it. Well, yeah, there definitely are a lot of showers. Yeah. I wish I could see the showers on radar, but for some reason, whatever this town is, what's it called? Rustin. Rustin has the worst cell service off for AT&T imaginable. Oh, Here's some AT yeah. satellite. Oh, those are really bubbling. Yeah. Seems clearing. like seems like northwest. Uh, uh, also, clearing. a little bit of clearing yeah. out here where pockets. they're going to be moving into pockets. That's all you need. It's just pockets. Thanks, Mike Lashendro. We got pockets of clearing here, northeast Louisiana. The showers in the middle. Northwest Louisiana has a lot of clearing. Sabine River. Yeah, be careful not to get my phone wet. I dropped it last night. Cracked wow. it. We're watching the pre oh, yeah. confluence. Nice. What are your top 10 favorite things about this setup? He's in for the ride like I am. He's in for the drive. Yeah, oh, the drive, yeah. Fast moving. Dixie, uh, we're in Dixie Alley. A lot of beautiful green, too. Look at all the chlorophyll in those those trees. Oh, they're calling. Once yeah. we get into the Delta, oh. though, like chasing across the Midwest, the yeah. rain gets much better. Much flatter terrain, treeless. It's like Chase of Western and Kansas. We gotta, we gotta work, work out our river crossings. Gotta make sure we don't box that. Can't get caught on the yeah. wrong side of the Mississippi. Crossing right at Greenville, right? Right. Greenville, yeah. Vicksburg, if we end up that far south. I doubt, I doubt we end up that far south. Yeah. And then after, only three, four, after or... Greenville, you gotta go pretty far north, so Greenville's gonna be our crossing probably regardless. We have to cross over in Arkansas? Yeah. That's that one, or if we just say the line between Vicksburg, straight yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, folks, if you want to follow Chad's work on YouTube, Storm, Storm Chaser Chad, and also Mark Payton Vlogs. And if you want to follow Connor, Ridge Riders, right? And then Chasing Ridge Riders, and then Chasing with Connor on YouTube. I just uploaded a video yesterday. Go check it out after Reach Stream. After. After. Oh. Keyword after. Do, so, not leave the do not leave the stream. Do anymore. not leave. Do the stream. Second coming of the Irishman, Connor McElroy. Yeah, where's he at? Let's get him. He's got to be out here. Probably working he for Accu. Yeah, I know he's out here though. You know the most. We're pulled over and someone sees Reed. It's just gonna be a terrible. That's what happened in Texas. So. EBM Creations. Thank you with the Taco Fund. We're more about bean burritos here. West of Texarkana, you got a severe thunderstorm warning, but it's a little bit messier up there. Better than that line. These could be interesting, but these should be. God, those are getting, those are getting going. Prefrontal confluence. They've already got 40 dBZ there, south of Huxley. A I mean, we're in perfect position. Oh, we might here. even end up going a little west and getting it out here. Yeah, we're in perfect position. Here. Yeah, you know the Port of Ruston. Yeah, he's the driver. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the storm chaser. They're just, they're, 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 they're the just the he's plunkers. The guy, he's yeah. guy, like, they're the <laughs> ones that blew up. I'm just like, hey, I guess I'll, I guess I'll start up a like, YouTube channel. You can, you can sure. tell it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been trying to make videos somewhat like that. <laughs> that's that's the new style. It's, yeah. It's, it's vlogging mixed in with storm you, chasing. You had a video do well not too long ago. Make it like your own type of thing. You did. You, you, saw, you saw the you tornado got, out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take us out there. Got it. Got it. 10K. You got a tornado on the last one. Yes. It's, um, DF, uh, the, the before the DFW event, a couple setups ago. Oh, it was on that. that it was the last moderate risk. It was on that 15 hash that they got downgraded. Yeah. yeah. Before the three consecutive enhanced risks. Right. Yeah. That one was. Or that uh, was the second. That was the first of the three. I think everybody, but a few chasers, instead of going to the Oklahoma Texas border, yeah. it as, as soon as I was on Greenville, I was like, okay, do I want to follow that one? Or do I want to go with these bubblers that were starting around like Canton area and stuff? And I was like, eh, you Open know, it's thing. only like 30 minutes to Terrell. So like, I'm going to start driving that way. And sure enough, one after another started blowing up tornado warnings. Um, I opted to sit out that day. Oh. But that was the only, that was the only good tornado. I literally yeah. was like a coin toss. I like, should have gone Greenville. 
People that chase that dry line didn't get much at all. A couple of dust natos that. Hey, I chased the dry line. Oh no! <laughs> Did you get anything? No. <laughs> there we go. It's not a good storm. Hey, it's not bad. <laughs> I got in the tornado worn one in southeast Oklahoma. Okay. So I'm kind of a lowering with it, but. I, you know that, I was shocked that they were. It, uh, it did produce your Tioga. I was shocked kind of that they, uh, they kept the 15 hatch for so long, but then they finally dropped it. Yeah, I guess you got to step those down. Uh, Can't just go 15 hatch to wouldn't, five. Wouldn't be surprised to see the 30 hats brought out high risk tornado driven. Yeah. In the next hour. Yeah. That'd be crazy. You think it'll go high at three? It, 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 you kind of lose your window for preparation when you issue right. that out. I, the SBC is doesn't like to issue it that late because yeah. they're all about preparation. So yeah. it'll probably maintain the. I didn't even read the, the wrong list. Uh, last issue, it's they made uh, uh, that with that QLCS mode up. Oh, a couple strong tornadoes and then the super cellular mode down south. Definitely a chance for they mentioned EF2 plus. <laughs> He's got to hear because otherwise he's going to be driving here. <laughs> no hands on. I'm going to have to be holding the camera like, hey, I'll got what you got? Oh, yeah. Grabbing the wheel while he's like hanging out the screen. window. <laughs> <laughs> I know why he brought him along. Drone retrieval. now chad is a respected storm chaser in the community and i'm honored to have him to be navigating the vehicle because they're so fast moving that we're going to need to make the decisions in advance of the storm today a little bit too much to handle for one person so we're going to join forces today it's a real experience somewhere we were on a ride and waiting in line i hear they pointed up and look at the storm chaser chad i'm like yeah i watch your videos i'm like Oh my gosh! Hey, hey, Daddy, look! Look! It's Storm Chaser Ch Boys! Yeah, it's so They're like, hey, I'm Chad. They're like, yeah, I know. It's like, oh, hey, how's it going? How you doing? It's like, ah. Yeah, that's. Okay, we're picking the rear. Where's Monday? What are they doing down there, VK? Yeah, well, they moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. And so. Apparently, instead of going storm chasing, they want to go down to Florida and enjoy the beach. Yeah. That little, you know, juice. Love it. Is that their only job now? It's good for the touring. It is hard on the prostate. Uh, energy drinks. Bringing in from YouTube is enough yeah. for them to bring. Yeah. It is. All right. That's big outbreak anticipated today. We're going to go well into the evening and the overnight hours. If you live in the risk area, I cannot stress enough how important it is to dial in your severe weather safety plans. Stay tuned to those severe weather watches and warnings. Information saves lives out here, coupled with an effective safety plan. Share this stream if you know anybody, too, that lives in and around the target area. We've got a group of veteran storm chasers out here. We've got Brian, who's also dominating the radar. And we're going to start working in the Omaha Twister Chasers. Dan Boom Castro is going to be worked in a little bit later on. He just had a child, but he's also going to be participating in this stream. We do have showers right now. I've worked 12 hours. Now we're chasing. Milky skies. The last time I was like, no. Do I really want to chase around Dallas area? Oh, she don't. Yeah, I'll that go. It, it, it is. This is a shear right now. What was that? Uh, what we got here? 300 plus effective storm relative felicity. Moving into the warm section. So that's what we, that's all we need. If you want to know how a storm's going to behave, you got to look at the environment that it's moving into, guys. I just look at the radar and I go, hey, this cell looks cool. Let's go this way. Yeah, I can't look that at works either. way better. I can't, <laughs> I can't look at either because I don't service. That's good 21Z. 21Z has a max right over us with cells coming in. Yep. Get ready. Put on your seatbelt. Yep. Look at that. Beam uh, shape. Super hour cells. Hour or two, those things are going to pop. Strong three o'clock? Yep. Yeah. 
Sweet. Four or five, they should be Sweet. rooted. <laughs> producing tornadoes. But yeah, it's too bad we don't have the Peyton brothers out here too. We just have a, we just have a whole lot of charisma in this Walmart parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> there will be too much testosterone in this part of the, the parking lot. It's too much. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that where we parked with the 18 wheels? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to hide ourselves? They just gravitate to the <laughs> testosterone. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hang out with us. That is fertilizer, right? It's like yes. a mulch. It's a good time of year for it. It makes Gizmo's skin itch. Because everybody puts all that fertilizer and green stuff on their grass. Then she just starts itching on her belly. She's good. She's doing great. She's uh, having a little tough day today. I think she was a little sick to her stomach, but kind of every like week or so, she'll have a bad day. But then she just dominates the rest of the seven days. That's all I, all I see is the park walk, just strutting. Yeah. Not the care in the world, like, come on, what else? The yeah. Strut. Yeah, the the yeah. The but she has that strut. She's feeling really good. And uh, she's on a Hills prescription diet now. So I might get on that diet myself. <laughs> I need to get back to running. Well, here you go, Staying guys. Around, sitting around too much. Ooh, yeah. A little closer yeah. to the line. They're doing better, but. Oh, get going. It's gotta be out of here. Gotta be those. She's still will probably be it. You gotta wonder if these move in here and go nuts uh, too. But was super tire, but now trace it all the way up. Yeah. All I do is throw tire. Actually, inspect them and determine they scrap. Put that. Put yeah. What are those echo tops looking like? That's the. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, here we go. Those are green. Yep. Yeah, trying to get the greens. Yeah, they're up big time. Yep. I'm sure they'll keep probably yeah. keep the main, but it's the old I think, the, I think the ones to the east yeah. will get going pretty it's quick great, too. Great. There's there's so many different yeah. departments. Better radar. Those yep. are looking good. Yep. We may end up going west. A little bit. This is really good terrain up north of Shreveport. It is. Yeah. Oh. That interstate from Texas Canada to Shreveport is nice. Surprisingly amazing terrain. The last 10 years or so. It wouldn't be bad getting them here, kind of following up, drop back down, and just keep We might be able to, we have them to just work down the line. Yeah. So they are kind of oriented uh, from uh, west to east here. Now they're not moving due north to south. That's what everybody's saying. Why is it down here on the, is that the front? Yeah, it's the front. So they got a lot of open warm section to work with here. The American. Yeah. Yeah, those two back ones. Oh, sure. as long as it gets me to watch. Safely without yeah. about out oh, yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, it's all going. These are prefrontal confluence lines, folks. So we're going to have supercells developing away. all along this. And along that one, too. That's our location up along the I 20 corridor. Good here for another 20, 30 minutes, and then we can yeah. start making a few calls. Materials for bigger. The patience game this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Don't want to bite too early. He breaks. I'm backing up. Like, he came back out of a spot and got squeaky. And was like, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the Are we going to start in Arkansas and work our way down the line? Or? Yeah, or start here and follow them up right. and then pop back down. I'll start here and just kind of do a zigzag. I like the I 20 corridor. You like 82? No, I'm, I'm I, when I heard y'all say something about going down the line, I was thinking, okay, well, we're starting down there. Or start I here. figure start here, follow them up, pop down, start here. Right. We see Stay with it as long as we can. One. If we see, you know, see some of those further off to the east really start to get going, I think those are in the best environment out way into the open warm sector, have the most residence time as well. So uh, I think we're pretty good right here for just wait. Kind of going to be in the middle of them. We'll be able to see which up draft really becomes dominant, and we can make our move. Yeah. I like it. I wonder how these, yeah, I mean, the, H, the uh, wrap at 4 o'clock shows those isolated storms right here, 300 zero to one shear. So we should be good to go. Little beans. Get them to mature. In due time. Still got around
fishing. <laughs> I got fishing. He would rather be fishing. <laughs> I left my dang storm chase thing. was like, uh, what did it say? <laughs> a lot of wind shear already supportive of a tornado along the Sabine River out here, East Texas, Northwest Louisiana, and a large swath of Southern Arkansas. So <laughs> everywhere ahead of that line. Right. Sufficient. It looks like that line might be lacking some of that instability, though. Yeah, Let's see. Oh, that's Take a look at that. Says, I don't always chase tornadoes. Oh, wait. I do. Ooh, yeah, oh. Right. Yeah, but it is nosing up there. Yep, you got it. See, we're still a little capped across northern because of this rain. I wonder if that this rain might bite us. I can see us end up going west or something, but it seems like it's slowing down a little. Yeah, a little better off instability pushing up from, uh, yeah, we should be good. It'll, <laughs> with all the warm air next to me have, it should blow that yeah. out of water within an hour or two. It's only 25 sin. These are already starting to go right in the nose of yep. the instability, but I can see us going, having to go to Shreveport. Look at those. Look, those ones are more back than they were supposed to be. Yeah. Very backed winds. See those southeast winds? What are your thoughts on the backed winds? Oh, look, that more enhanced low level back is only going to, uh, I guess, enhance our tornado threat even more this afternoon. Uh, we were looking at due southerlies of some of our models earlier, but now we kind of got some southwesterlies creeping in there. Uh, backed winds is always a good thing for tornadoes. Mm -hmm. If I get close to you guys, it's just to get the mic, because the mic, I don't have the mic set. The mic set didn't work too well yesterday. Don't get alarmed. <laughs> Uh, just ignore the camera right in your face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 4K is like, hey, you see a pimple right there? Yeah. I'm used to it. You are, you are too. You can tell the phone pops out. You're just like, yep, I know what that is. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at that at 23Z. Yeah. There's like four supercells in central wow. Louisiana. If that happens, that's wild. That'll be one after another. One That'll be rough. Range, drops out to the next one. And it would be like Little Rock all the way down. I mean, all those would go. If, if, if something like that happens, that's how you get that high risk to mm -hmm. verify. And that PDS watch to verify. If you guys like, still comfortable staying here at the 20 <laughs> corridor? I'm good. I'm good. 400 zero to one by 8 p.m. That'll do it. So we'll want to be in Vicksburg by 8 or so. So we can still work. The uh, I-20 corridor end these up in Vicksburg. Be, these things might be cranking well into the, you know, the late evening. Even up near Memphis by 7, 8 o'clock is going to get into the SRH. tornado potential. We have big time wind shear up there. Watch out, Memphis. That's all storm. Got <laughs> ran into the door trying yeah. to get in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's get another photo. Okay, <laughs> let's all get it. Let's yeah, let's do a group photo. I don't know what the photo's for, but I group photo. It's from Mark. It's from Mark. Oh. I'm snapping them. Oh, hey, he doesn't know who I am, but I'm here. Hello, <laughs> Pa. I'm some German exchange student. Got a million subscribers. <laughs> Frankenstein's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best communicator yet. <laughs> Driving him right into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got bubblers. Sabine River. Bubblers. Lightning down there. Do oh, we got some lightning going now. Yeah, these are Driving, maturing for sure. Don't, don't, whatever you do, yeah. do not look at your phone. Yeah, these are maturing as well. Lightning, two lightning strikes, prefrontal confluence yeah. bands. There's the front, three port radar. Ooh, look at that increase. Yeah. In exactly. It's moving kind of right, too. Yeah. I, I think we're in a perfect spot. Yeah, we are. Yeah, this will be good. I said, if I don't get anything, it's all me because I'm, I'm I'm the navigator today. So there's the lightning strikes Nothing on the back side of the shower. We've already got a thunder shower. It's officially a, probably a no, super shower. No, driving. I'm in the passenger seat for the first time. I'm, I'm, I guarantee survival. <laughs> I guarantee as survival. Long as, you, 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 as long as you get all the right road, road. I fall. Yeah. Guarantee survival. Yeah, no yeah. no yeah. promises on the car. Our quality of life afterwards. <laughs> yeah. The quality of life will subside. <laughs> it's been like, it's been like, dramatic. 
I'll change your diaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to. Yeah. Ooh, lightning on the northern one. Here we go. Uh, Where are we at? Hunter, who's the Brooklyn Raiders? Sorry. Ridge the Ridge Riders. Ridge Rider. Yeah, this one is going toward El Dorado. You know, I mentioned that would go up there. So technically, if it's like right here and it's really maturing, we could all just take that highway. Get a, yeah. Unless it's not going to tornado until up here, then we'd want to get El Dorado and get west of maybe two, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll figure out a way to botch this up somehow. Do you want to talk to him? Is that Mark? Yep. Oh, nice. Hey, Mark. It's on speaker now. How, how's it going? I, I got you on the stream here too. We're in the Walmart parking lot in Ruston. Hey, everybody that's listening, subscribe to Reed. Yeah, we got we got to get you guys out here. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're gonna be back. We're uh, after uh, next week. We're ready to come out anytime. And so, right. Yeah, I saw that day seven risk out in the plains. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll have to team up. Okay. Well. I mean, uh, I mean, if you want, you can get my number from Chad. We're uh, we're down to uh, make some videos, collaborate. We'll have a good time, man. That'd be awesome. Okay, that'd be awesome. Hey guys, this is Mark Payton Vlog here on the Horn. Follow him on YouTube. Rising stars of the storm chasing community. Yeah. <laughs> we're all gonna have a good years. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll be a track meet today, I think. Fifty mile an hour movers. So, Chad. Don't don't listen to them. Don't. They might have lost signal. <laughs> you do. You y'all breaking up real bad. Where, Where are you guys? Where we are? It's rusting. Where are you at? I know in Florida, but where? Not Destin. Are you within a hundred miles of the risk area? Tomorrow. <sighs> I'll be out there tomorrow, probably, after I drop Chad off. <laughs> a lot of night down there, so. Yeah, it is a little stagnant, but I think that'll change. I think it's going to be more the sun right now. I think it's going to end up happening first. Out near Shreveport. Everybody, thank you, uh, Team Dominator members. Everybody, say hi to Brian. Brian's got the hardest job today, sitting on his ass, breaking down radar. Are you loading satellite? Fantastic. Hold Look on. at this new Ace Triple R. Well, can you do that again for me? <laughs> oh my God. Look at this new Ace Triple R run. Oh my God. Several discrete supercells working across central and northern Louisiana. Uh, this is by 23Z. This is by 6 p.m. 6 to 7 p.m. This is going to get cranking. These continue all the way into the overnight hours. Look at this semi discrete super storm mode through 8 to 9 p.m. Uh, heading into the Mississippi Delta region. This is getting serious, guys. Whoa. Those are some monsters right there. Yeah, the buddy dolls. Monsters. Yeah, let's take a look at that satellite. Hey, everybody, I am here with the A team. We've got Connor with the Ridge Riders. We've got Connor Sam. We've got Storm Chaser Chad as well. You often see him with Mark Payton's vlog. He's going to be navigating for me today. We've got some super showers that are moving through, little showers moving through south and north. We expect these to blossom into tornado producing supercells as we go through the afternoon and the evening. Hello. It's good to meet you. How are you? I'm good. Don't squeeze. I just had surgery. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. Well, I was looking for your big fancy chaser. Yeah, oh, the car, the Dominator? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just in a rental, regular rental today. Well, you aren't really expecting a whole lot then, are you? <laughs> oh, we are, but but they'll be moving fast and, and hard, almost too strong to intercept. So, I mean, we're actually expecting well... a pretty high event potentially around here. But I live in Monroe. Yeah, I mean, you're right in the center of the risk area. No way. Yeah. I thought the center was more north. 
Uh, you're kind of on the south central portion of it, but I mean, we're targeting the I-20 corridor because of the instability and everything. Oh man, I was hoping this cloud cover, it's been cloudy most of the day. Yeah, it's starting a little. I was hoping little... it would tamp it down some. And... Oh yeah. What, is there a cape? There is, west of here, it's clear, like out near Shreveport and those storms near the Sabine River are intensifying. And then this band of showers does have a lot of cloud cover. It could hold down the heating. But then they're heating out near Monroe right now, too. So. It's cloudy. Yeah, is that where you just came from? But yeah, there's a chance that the cloud cover could be a, you know, a failure scenario. I'm afraid. I, I don't want to screw you, but... No, I don't. I don't. There's plenty of storms to go around for me. I hope it, I hope it doesn't happen for your sake. Well, but if I, it happens, I want to be on it, you know, yeah. chasing it, reporting it, flying well, my drone well, on it. Well, you give me your cell phone while I'm twirling around the yard. I'll text okay. you and say, it's here. Okay. Can I text you? Yeah, you can. You know, I'm on a live stream, so you don't want to say it. Well, I can just send it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just text, type it in here. Make sure you're warned. Yeah. Yeah. Connie, I don't Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, let you know if something's coming toward Monroe. And yeah. we'll be screaming, of course. So. We have an awesome meteorologist, you know, Floyd. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I never can remember his name. Yeah, I'm TV here. Mm -hmm. We're not here in Monroe. Yeah. Um, dude sits through all this bad stuff if it takes him till 2 in the morning. And yeah you know, runs us through every bit of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jared Floyd. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know Jared? I am. I do. I know Jared. I don't know him personally, right. but I know he, of him, yeah. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Well, awesome. Hey, can somebody take my picture with the renown? I look like, you know who, but. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. But you, but you know that we Thank you. Thank you, man. Y'all stay safe, dude. You too. I was watching live at more. Oh, wow. 13 or, yeah, the 2013 one? The one, yeah, isn't that the same one that tossed uh, Bettis? Yeah, that was the El Reno tornado. Oh, no. Bettis yeah. came in right behind the tornado after yeah. it hit Joplin. Ford. Yeah, it hit Joplin. Joplin, yeah. So yeah, that yeah, was bad, man. Hey, guys, I'm just jumping in here for a second. Uh, we have the new setup. Hopefully the audio levels are much better than they were the other day. Um, but I wanted to give you an overview while we kind of had a poor signal here. Um, so uh, this, if uh, we look at this, this is the SPC's warning of today. This says, you know, the red areas, obviously it's it's the, the place that has the most chance of getting uh, a tornado today, but everybody in all of these circles really needs to be paying attention to their weather. Don't use this stream or another stream. Use, you know, use multiple sources, make sure that you are prepared for it because today is, is serious right now. They're kind of loose. You could feel kind of the nervous energy of, of people talking to each other. What they're trying to decide right now is to go North, South, East, or West. Um, and they are sitting, um, right about uh right about uh here uh so you see that their position no i'm sorry excuse me they're about here so reed is right about here um and the storms today are going to be moving pretty fast which makes chasing them difficult they're moving going to be moving about 50 miles an hour so if you, you think about it a storm can move 50 miles an hour just straight you need to deal with going left and you need to deal with going right. There's a lot of, there are river crossings. There's a lot of challenges to today's chase. Um, uh, we also wanted to, where is our feed here? Hold on one sec. Um, stand by one second. Also want to say thank you to uh, a few folks and, uh, Carol Bragg, hi from Tyler, Texas. I'm in Austin, Texas right now. We're really, we don't really need to keep our head on the swivel too much today. Um, and thank you from the Viking cam, I guess coming in from uh, England. Um, and, uh, and thank you to the desire and, and everybody that helped support all this. Um, if I am uh, taking this out and I'll bring you back to read in one second. I'm, not going to try to get in the way. I'm just 
gonna try to help complement things. Um, if we zoom out, um, we look at the reflectivity across the U.S. today. You can see the uh, storms are starting to fire up here, and they're gonna be moving this way. Um. It seems like it's going to be another hour or so before things really go up or maybe another half an hour. But then one thing starts, it's just going to go. It's going to be constant, constant action today, constant, constant racing. There's a lot of, um, again, storms are moving about 50 miles an hour. So I'm going to bring you back to read because it seems like our signal's getting better. They may be leading up to a, um, a decision here. Uh, so we'll, we'll bring it back over to them. Big. I'm, I'm, I know. Are you worried for the people on the path? Uh, yeah, I'm actually. Yeah, I got that gut feeling that something bad's gonna happen. Hey guys, look who's here. Ashton the storm chaser. Look. Yes, sir. Lots of lightning on that one southwest of Shreveport. Excellent. We may want to get at it already. We got it. We can go to this road and shoot north and stay ahead of it. Check the Shreveport radar. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we may want to, but it probably won't mature yeah. before it hits Shreveport. Yeah, you know? it would mature by the time it gets up north of us. Probably by the time it gets to El Dorado, honestly. So we stay here, anticipate, anticipate. We probably do want to get on that. Don't go by too early. But that that storm will probably be the one. Yeah. I mean, it'll just go all the way. One of the oh yeah, the one of the south. Of, the that, that that argue, argue the one of the south. Yeah. I would argue we should target the south one maybe. I think we should just probably like. I think we want to head west maybe. Go back toward Minden now. Minden, we got a northeast option out of Minden, and we can always go blast east and then north again, or even head to El Dorado from Minden. So all right, yeah. I'm good with that. All right, but you don't have to. I don't uh, want to botch it up for anybody. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm the botcher. I'm an aggressive storm chaser, though. Aggressive. Yeah. Gotta be aggressive. Though. You know, you hey. might be a little more passive. You know, but I want to just kind of wait, yeah. let it go, maybe a little more. Yeah, that's maybe. okay on days like the. Right up I'm it. just kidding. Yeah, I think I, th I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. Uh, <laughs> take it easy. Give these storms breathing room. Yeah, no, I, yeah. yeah. I, I'm more. This is like set. 70 miles an hour. Yeah. That's true. I like waiting. It's not a bad idea. But, you know, if we go toward Minden, we got a good northeast option toward El Dorado, too. Let me just see here. Got to stay ahead of it until they're producing. See, we can go all the way from Minden to Homer to El Dorado. Same thing. Boom. There's already 300 zero to one. But, yeah, we might have to get up to El Dorado, and then it'll ramp up there. Yeah. Minden's only about 20 miles west of here, and we'll be out of the clouds. We'll be able to see a little bit. We to El Dorado from here. We do, yeah, and we'll probably end up, both end up in El Dorado, but I just like to use my eyes yeah. on that chase, too. Yeah. You guys just have your heads buried in the phone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, the, just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a little old school. A little old school here. I like to get my eyes out of Look at the orange sky over there to the west. <laughs> see, let's get in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Minden, you can blast right back to, from Minden to here. Yeah. If you see something going up southwest to here. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do we need radio? Huh? What? All right. We should bring radios at some point. Then we can communicate. I got solo. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll go to Minden. Okay, Minden. Minden it is. All right. And Minden shot to be 41 minutes away. Yeah, it's a little further away. Okay. You have enough time to mature it up. Minden? Four, 41 minutes west? Oh, get these stuff. Sorry, sorry, That's okay. We do allow some mild swearing on the stream. Keep <laughs> it to a minimum. Mandan. Ooh, there's a storm tracker. Eating Mickey Mickey D. Do you like that storm there? Southwest of Shreveport already? Mm-hmm. Got good times. Mm -hmm. 
Give me the one further south. Yeah, that one looks good too. too. The only two that are starting to really bubble up. Can you send a text to this number? Sure. This is Brian. Sure. This is Oh, I know. I got you. I know. Head west. Okay. Head west. Text. Introduce yourself. Take a right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? You just say, introduce yourself. That's Brian who's running the stream. Okay. He was our producer on Storm Chasers in 2011 on the Super Outbreak. Oh. Didn't he, didn't he go with y'all a couple times? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Had... yeah, he's been going. He went a lot back then, too. Go through the light up here, and then you get on the interstate. Yep. Let Accu weather know. I sent him this. This question just yet. Oh, they have a tornado watch? Yeah. Three, four. Is that a PDF watch? No, it's just a regular uh, tornado watch. Yeah, it's a PDF watch. Yeah, it's a PDF watch. Yeah, it's a PDF watch. So, 7 p.m. Break for this light? Yes, go to the light and then. Yeah, you'll go through both of these lights and then the side axis will go through the. Take the notice. Why there's two lights, I don't understand. Is it okay? Straight to this one. How's that storm looking? I didn't brush my teeth this morning, so sorry about that. No, no. It's you, in you, you are strong you body odor too. Ah. Dude, tell me I had some deodorant back there. I don't brand, wear it. Brand new one. I don't wear it. I don't shower. I don't deodorant. I'm just all natural. The cell just south of Freeport looks like it's intensifying. Yeah, it's all the way south. 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 Yeah, it's all Stay on this for 38 miles. Yes. I'll get gas from Vincent. Does that sound good? Sure. Top's on. We're starting to go into. Wow. Yeah, it's south. going nuts. It's game time, isn't it? No, it's nice. more than game time. Welcome to the team. Thank you so much. It's, been, it's an absolute honor. It's an honor to have you on. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Honor's all mine. No, no, no. Watched you from the very first Storm Chasers. Thanks. Always Still going to see the Dom. Oh. Yeah, the Dom Air 3 will be out in the field next month. I, I was watching your stream last night for, in the, talking about it. Yeah. yeah we'll 3's it ready and 1 and 2 are starting to be still in the works. Yeah. 1 and 2 are getting fixed up. We're just sitting in a warehouse now, but actually they'll get fixed up. Everybody, if you want to follow Storm Chaser Chad on YouTube, he just dropped a video of a tornado in East Texas. Brandon yes. Davis is himself. It was a, a sight to behold, to say the least. Kind of threw me for a loop, to be honest. Uh, especially with East Texas, with the woods as it is, you could have a massive lowering, but there's nothing connected. No tornado. 
So once I saw it actually pop over the tree line across the road, I was like, oh, there's an extra plant. Okay. Now we're talking. Thank you, The Desire, The Viking Cam, Viking Cam, and The Desire 28. Thank you so much. By uh, Storm Chaser Chad of Bean Burrito tonight. Woo. I'm going to make it back home if we do that. I'm going to have to just get a hotel and crash. Worked 12 hour shift last night and stayed up. Yeah. Now we're storm chasing. You didn't sleep? No. No. And How old are you? Huh? 34. Nice. You're still in your prime. Yeah. It, it, it hits me every now and then. Always. Oh, nice. I have a secondary prime kind of age 37 to 42. Kind oh. of on the tail end of that. Nah. I have to start taking the uh, growth hormone now. I have to rock. If you can get jacked like the rock, sure. No well, I, I don't think I have the genetics. I just want to keep chasing. Check the audio. It's like coming out of one channel. Something that these people are getting here. Yeah, we'll get the audio straightened out for you guys. Um, all right, so you can already see there's a little bit of a hail detection here already in Tennessee. Um, again, things are going to start to take off in the next 30 minutes or so. The guys are here. They are down here, and they are moving this way. Sounds like Reed is back. Let's see if he's fixed it. Stand by. I think if we improve audio, they start doing a lot better. Yeah, I should make a one camera to have. It's just more or less, it's got a mic muffler. Oh, yeah. A little fuzz thing. The first video I did, all you hear was <laughs> on the wind. I'm like, yeah, yeah. we can't have that. The drop could be still back there. Yep. Every like half hour or so, I have a mini panic attack like that. Just something that lose track of all my possessions. I just have to reel it. Stop Sterling <laughs> Relic. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I usually do this before, before I leave. I'm like, okay, my wallet, keys, are good. Yeah. All right, yeah, all right, we're good. I do it every 30 minutes. Starting to get that sunny sky, the bright coloring on the horizon. I don't think the cells to the south of what we're going to interact with daily. Yeah, they definitely could. Yeah. I think that the surface ones are pretty southeasterly, though. That's the current scan right now. That one's still. Yeah, we might have. It does have that little curvature on it. Yeah, we will. At least all those are in play, that's for sure. It's a current velocity scan. Yeah. It's not good info. There's tornado there. warning somewhere. Skier? Uh. North of Ashdown is what it looks like. Northwest Arkansas? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that that's out in front of Octagon being beaded. See that? Yeah, Hempstead. Right, Hempstead yeah, County and Howard County is where the tornado ring is issued for. Yeah, you can hold that if you want to show your screen. Sure. <laughs> tornado warning for Howard and Hempstead County until. 3.30, and that's just north of Texarkana. Yep. Looks like it could really impede in Ashdown, yes. south of Wilton. We got to observe sounding out of uh, Shreveport an hour ago. Oh, my gosh. Wow, see that photograph? The curvature on that. <laughs> wow. That's in Shreveport? Look at the curvature on that. Oh no. That was we are heading towards Minden, watching these storms just to the south of Shreveport. All these little bubblers. It's game time. What's one of those magnets? Yeah, and it charges the phone. Oh, thank you. I just accidentally discovered that. <laughs> 
as long as you have it plugged in, right? Yeah, I, I think the one plug. that I have does too, but I never keep it plugged in. I usually have my serial lighter plugged in. Sir, yeah, radar indicate rotation on that one. Damn, just less to hope. Yeah. It's just north of Texarkana. Doesn't look particularly strong, but it's, well, it could have a tornado just south of Wilton, right? Yeah, in between Wilton and Ashdown. It's got the broad rotation just, just over New Boston, too. Damn, yeah, it's going nuts. This is going to be a major outbreak, isn't it? I went 250, almost 3 o'clock. Still early, early, early. Do we want to play that front up in Arkansas? We have to blast all the way, way up there. Probably do one of the Renegades somewhere. Uh, I'm more towards the Renegades. That's just my two cents. You can. Yeah, it's all right, folks, I already got a tornado warning in southwest Arkansas, but we're going to be working this band of Renegade Supercells, the observed sounding that just came out of Shreveport at 18 ZS. An astronomical amount of curvature of the hodograph. Looks like it definitely has been supportive of a strong tornado or two. breaking into better skies. Do what? We're breaking into some better skies here. Yep, we got blue skies over here. Yep, it's clear enough. Twenty-six miles to Minden and it's gonna be three seventeen. I just passed that across semi back to me. I thought we were just saying to make sure that my bad. For the most part, yeah. I'm not really complaining, but you know, I'm just. I, I got a vehicle in some emergency situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of easy yeah, on them. Yeah, they got their hood up, so they're always having the cows to pay. Thank you. Ooh, blue skies! Elevated mix layer, folks. Bingo, bingo, bongo. What's the temps outside? 73. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Blue sky. There's our elevated mix layer. That's what we need. Yeah, you know your stuff. So, what I've need. learned already. You a meteorologist? No. No. I'm a, a self taught self taught storm chaser. Watched a lot of uh, your videos. Nice. Some how to's. And just a, a lot of live streams. And of course, you know individually do it, they're just going to chase it themselves. You can watch somebody will stream, but once you get on the field, it is completely different. Oh, it's a whole nother ball of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's starting to get some convergence there near center. Yeah, it may not do it that well, we'll see. Probably will, though. further down the line. Yeah, I think those are going to be going all day. Can I see that again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All those. Main action. Still prime time. Still prime time. Yeah. <laughs> Sun's coming out. <laughs> yes, I is. see the sun rays. <laughs> Watch it shoot up to 76. <laughs> Rocket. It was 77 when I was coming down to Shreveport on the way here. Yeah, all from Texarkana to Shreveport, it stayed, you know, sunny the entire time there. I think the highest it got was 78, but once you got into Shreveport, the cloud cover gets up down to like 75, 74. All right, guys, those sunny skies are a problem here. Look at that, bright blue skies above. Wow. 
Please hit that like button if you can. Share the stream with people that you know in the path of this storm in and around the risk area. We've got a cloud base off to our left. Kind of showing us a sign of what's to come. Yeah, cellular convection. Can you do that that fast? Yeah. I can just do that. That's good. Yeah, you got the turkey call. Do you guys do that when you're about to intercept? Do you and uh, the it's, it's more of this, take us to the NATO! Yeah. <laughs> That's when we start screaming. <laughs> they get pretty excited. All right, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit more context of uh, of what's going on there. So remember, they were in Ruston. They are heading west here to Minden right here. And they saw said they saw blue skies, right? So if we do the, uh, if we if we put on the satellite layer, it's not very high resolution, but you could see this right here is a clearing out. And what's happening there is that the sun is getting through there and it's heating up the surface. And that means more of a chance for tornadoes as the as the surface uh temps go up potential for tornadoes goes up so as you have clearings and blue skies and the rest of the environment is primed for it blue skies can lead to very bad skies but, uh, i'll i'll send you back to them now even the one just just to the northeast of new boston it's still kind of broad Another hour, and they'll all start producing. I just want to make sure we're on them. One down near center, yeah. This one will probably be the one, but she has got a lot of info on it. Leave it down there. Yeah, it's got so I'm just kind of chunky. Hey, well, this one looks good. It's sort of, sort of sort of chunky. Lightning. It's got a lot of pretty tight forward flight gradient. I think that long street one will be the first storm we sample for sure. Probably turn right, head right at us. We can burn the air, we'll drive into it. I right, just able the vehicle, and we'll have to no, take, no, take, no. They'll have to take theirs. Then they'll, 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 <laughs> they, they can take us back to my truck, and yeah. then we can yeah, take your truck. truck. Okay. Okay. Definitely do that. It's paid off finally, so now I can take it into some hill. My Super dig it, 4, dig my it up. the Dominator 4 is still not paid off. I sell all like 12 grand on that. Ooh, it's that funny. That's the one thing I promised my wife whenever we bought that truck. I was like, hey, I promise I won't take you any hell cores. Uh, I'll stay away from it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now that's paid off, I'm like, all right, time, time, time. I, I got to get some dings in it now. Pretty loud, man. Like your take Yeah. Uh, if I need to, just let me know. But... No, I can do. I'm used to it. Master multitasker. Don't be alarmed. No. I will say that I'll, I'll be your popo -po guy. Yeah. I have to grab the rail sometimes. Thank you. you. Let me know what I need to do. I am at your disposal. I'm sure they'll let that morning up there expire. It looks like it's broad to the house too. There is a severe thunderstorm morning further north. It's Russellville, Clarksville, Arkansas, Paris, Danville. Looks like a straight line wind with that. 65 hour wind potential. Yeah, those could go too. But I still think all the models are kind of showing that central this line going first, there. right?
Primus is prime out here. 75 is some kind of differential heating mounter you may be setting up over I-20 right now. They've had one tornado warning in Southwest Arkansas. It's probably going to be allowed to expire. And uh, we're watching these bubblers that are southwest of Shreveport. We had a recent 18 z sounding on a Shreveport that looks like it's already supportive of a strong, potentially violent tornado. It's a loaded gun. We're going to get gas in Minden up here. 15 miles. That's that mackerel sky, the Alto cumulus deck is a bad sign of like gentle subsidence. And I think in this case, that's just little subsidence ahead of the lift of the main three front of the field side of the field best. That are more of a great plains than it was, but I've seen that the Alto cumulus mackerel sky can then just destroy. <laughs> Absolutely just breaks. This is the see. Let's go back to 18. 19Z is still loaded right now. Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's still showing the firm super all along this line fired up. Okay, thank you, sir. Let's zoom in to this. Yeah. Oh, right along that line. And then before finally all congealing to a single QLCS through Mississippi into Alabama late, late, late tonight. And then we'll finally turn around properly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, as we turn around, it's like, oh, well, no, bye. <laughs> Central Georgia looks good tomorrow. We've got a special weather statement. We're still on near Long Street. See that? Uh, so broad as a signal like starting to get going down your lawns for tons of lightning. I think it's going to be our first support problem. Do you think it has time to mature before it reaches I 20? Yes. If not, there's plenty of more credits from it that would fall into a piece. Okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan of your guys' content. I've been watching your videos and stuff. Appreciate it. So I, I'm pretty familiar with your storm well, chasing and well, knowledge and everything, so. You're good, some good work out there. Appreciate it. Definitely team dominator material. Uh, I, I don't know what to say, but that means the world. We'll give you an official badge, the merit badge, if you want. It's just pin it on there. Yeah. Well, even the, um, Hurricane Laura, the Team Dominator logo. Yeah. Get that one. Of course, when I ordered it, I ordered it in the wrong size, so now it's way too small, so now it just hangs on the wall. Yeah, it kind of. The merch side of things has been a little complicated, so we're going to get there. I wouldn't know where to begin. I just. I try to produce the content. That's I just try to chase. That's all I know how to do, honestly. <laughs> Everything else, I just botch. Paperwork, you know. Well, all you do is get the content. If you get a tornado on camera, put them there for content. Yeah. That's the big thing. Yeah, I just I kind of specialize in the viral videos, you know, the chaos video and stuff. But I like to get close. Inside. Oh yeah. It's one of those yay hoops. Seems that weird coloring. It makes it look like I'm like 60 years old. Bright red. Maybe I have Red Bull. It's giving me like a blood pressure issue. Red Bull? No, it gives you wings. It does, and then you pay the price. That that that, that comes later. That, that comes all. That comes later. 
swollen prostate, enamel worn off, can't sleep. sleep. Kidney stones. Kidney stones. <laughs> I, I get kidney stones real bad. You do? Yes. I've never had a kidney stone. I, I, I don't know I why. pray you never do. I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. Is that bad? Yes, it is. They say it's worse than childbirth. I would agree, but my wife would completely tell you something totally different. But I, it's literally crippling to Damn. where you're hugged up to the toilet. Do you actually have to pass it? If it's big enough, no. I've had to have one surgically removed mm. because it was. They go into the back. Oh, they actually go. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Thankfully, I was asleep for that, so. I just had to deal with the after effects of it. And they're like, hey, you need to slow down on your intake of, you know, I, was, I told him I, I was drinking too much sweet tea. I, I knew if I told him energy drinks, oh, no, no, you cannot drink no more energy drinks. And I was like, mm -hmm, I can't deal with that. But sweet tea, I definitely cannot drink. <laughs> so I had to compromise with that. That's, yeah, caffeine uh, isn't good for me. <laughs> I need to get better about drinking more water. I am trying to. I try to drink a ton of water, but it, it doesn't help that much. I mean, I still kind of swill the same. It's always feel the same no matter what you do. Uh, yeah, it's trying to wrap up down there. It's a little bit of a eddy that I said on over the long street. But yeah, that one might get interfered with. But look at the uh, cyclonic curvature of that. Yep. That's what I was just looking at. Just southwest of Stonewall. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Itchy. North of Long Street. Itchy. 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 That keeps on its track. It'll come just east of uh, Bing Bing. That's no, our to west. One. West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that will just rock it right up that northeast option. A bit. We'll give it room to breathe to it. It's not it doesn't have a tornado on the ground. It's like 15, 20 miles away. Just take a we'll sneak peek, take a little sneak peek at it. Okay. Give it enough time to. You think we have time to even get a peek? It will last more than 60 miles or 50 miles. Not slow in motion. I don't think it's yeah, quite think at that velocity just yet. And it's 40. Yeah, they're not. It'll look like they're moving 16. No, not, not yet. No, might be wrong. Somebody managed them. They look like they're skyrocketing, you know, just a little bit. Is that the low level jet? Yeah. Oh. Hopefully, our storm will pop up over the hill. That's what it is right there. Get a gander at it. See what she's got. Is that a shower right there at that base in front of us? Looks like a nice subject. Uh, nothing's showing. Yeah. Yeah, there's a storm just to our south. Yeah, the it's starting a little. Yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully this west. line doesn't go. It wouldn't go. We don't want to go too far. We definitely don't want to go west of Minden. Uh, Minden would probably be my far west we would go. Yeah. Before we have to drop. Yeah, yeah, another fucking east of the north. Yeah, streaming's tough. I kind of have a lot of hate relationship with it. Kind of ruined the chase too. That's the one thing that's hampering me is because I use my phone so much, I, I, can't, I can't live stream. Checking gas here at the loud, so the next one. So the one we can go to north this. here, let's get it here. So we can go to north and five minutes. Gotcha. If we need to Just allow it to mature for a bit. All right, folks, we're going to get some gas here and wait and allow those storms to mature as they approach. Stopping here at the Loves. Loves. Yeah, 50% of my wardrobe is for Loves. <laughs> I'm surprised you hadn't seen Bucky's. <laughs> Bucky's like is the place I always freaking buy one or two shirts. I like their clothes. That's actually what this, that's actually what this is for. 
Nice. <laughs> It'd be easier to go to the quick draw. Is there. Well, I can't tap this truck. You're clear after the well, it's a red light now. Yeah. Don't. Now my phone, I've got it. I've got it set up where anything in the four states region around our area, it'll notify me when there's a. That does look pretty good. It's gonna break off. There's a new tornado warning in Arkansas. You see that? Where? Oh, it was still that. Same. Still the same one. 19 minutes until it expired. Be allowed to expire. Yeah, I wish I had some sensors to deploy. Not just all pure for the sake of warning people in video today. <laughs> the winds are picking up. It's not as stagnant anymore. Mix it down. So 77 degrees. It's already warmed up four degrees in what, 20 miles? Besides the note, it's Yeah, I don't reach. I'll make it. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, no, no, I got it. Entertain for a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Feel free to if you need to take it off. You just hit that button to flip it around. Which one? You can just pull oh, that right there. It's the flip around. Oh, okay. I see. It. I see. It. Just pull it off if you want to break down the radar. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. That's the thing with my side of things. Is I'm the coming from Mark Payton vlogs. Man, I think we're just gonna knock the cover off the ball today. I really got a good feeling about this. I, it's, only, it's, it's only it's only got good energy. It's only the beginning. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I love it. Love his energy. Absolutely love it. I've been a huge fan of his. I can't stress it enough. All right, let's do a breakdown. I'll take this off, flip it around, my ugly face for a second. Still got the tornado warning just north of Texarkana. Got a severe thunderstorm warning. Get it up here, come on, there we go. It includes Russellville, Clarksville, it's already, y'all have already been impacted. If it continues, Clinton, Conway, Make it just to the north of y'all. Uh, Mount Olive for sure. Whoa. Oh, I guess it finally in. Uh, flash flood warning. Of course. I think that in about 16 more minutes is allowed to expire. Let's look at velocity scans. Whoop, I'm still on Little Rocks. Let's go back to here. Yeah. Looks like it is tightening up just further south of the actual warning i'm assuming because of originally oh come on now mm -hmm. that was the original one that was warned now the one further south they may extend this one further south towards prescott hope up into garden rotation did look like it was increasing just to the south of ashdown again Let's zoom in a little bit yeah see if anything on coal no thankfully nothing's being lofted but uh that is the storm that's just to the west or to the east excuse me of ashdown it is heading towards washington blevings and on north and our storm it looks like it's picking up a little bit let's look at the velocity see if we got anything Nothing really showing as of yet, but this is just the beginning of the activity. Still got a lot of daylight to go. So, we're getting some gas. We're gonna top it off, and then we're gonna start chasing. And then we're gonna pick off one after another after another. 
space. Nope. That's for Hopkins. I'm waiting to see if they issue another tornado warning for that cell that we were just looking at. Looks like it's got, and it's kind of broadened down just a hair. It's just north of Ogden to the west. Oh, nope, oh, not that one. Nope. What? Your name's Chad? Yes. My name's Chad. Oh my gosh. I got two D's in my name now. Oh, okay. All my not... friends call me Double D. Two. Hey guys, so, so, um, jumping in there because they're pulling in for gas now obviously we uh they're going to be covering a lot of uh a lot of miles today that's going to be several tanks of gas um uh we're still working through the audio stuff um how about a little chat party for the connectivity though has ever everybody noticed a steady connectivity going through some very rough areas right um, uh, and then I just want to say a couple of things that uh, somebody was surprised that Reed has a PhD. A lot of people actually are because he doesn't really advertise it that much. Uh, but yes, Reed is a degreed meteorologist and he is not just a, uh, he's not a thrill seeker. He's not a storm chaser. The guy just really loves weather and everything kind of flows from that. Um, somebody else was asking, does Reed chat? It's he, he, he can't really chat during a chase during a chase. He's, he's driving, he's navigating. He's occasionally taking a peek at the radar. Um, there are a lot of things uh, that he needs to do. So he can't also read and type responses and, and everything like that. We are working on, on getting him a bit more involved with it, but if you really want to interact with Reed. Become, become a member of Team Dominator. Uh, he does like weekly breakdowns of some of his chases. And so he gets a little bit more in depth with the meteorology. Uh, he, he does take questions. Um, so that's the way if you want a, a little bit more of that. But it's just the guy's already doing six things at once right now. And we don't want to put anything else on it and, and make it dangerous. So they are uh, somebody else is breaking down radar. I'm going to go back to them right now most of to work with. Well, the surface winds are pretty southeast, so, it's like but yeah. Major floor. Huh? Yeah. Sliding. It's still showing that the activity. I'm not a slider guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see. But it still shows that all our sails right are here, yeah. yeah, it does. I think this lead, a lot of times this lead one will go because it's moving into that clean air, but right. yeah. And then if we stay with this until we can't, then it's easy just to hop. Stop down south. Yeah. There are renegades, everybody. They are in northwest Louisiana. We do have one tornado warning up in Arkansas, west of Hope. Like you work the stream while I go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. You can feel free to entertain. Entertain. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> This is like the yeah. number eight and counting of people who have recognized Reed today. Now, usually he is a Guys, if you're not already subscribed to Reed, do so. This is the number one storm chasing stream around. You're never gonna beat it. Best storm chasing content on YouTube, right here, Reed Timmer. If you're not already subscribed, you need to be.
All right, guys, it's coming in from over here. It's working its way to the north and east. Uh, can I already feel some of that outflow out ahead of it. Low level jet is stripping up from the south here. You can see those clouds are absolutely ripping. Here, just showing you guys this. This is, uh, again, this is where they are. They're in Minden. They're right here. So we got this storm that's going to hit them in just a few minutes here. Uh, they're going to start to get rained on in a few minutes. Um, and you can see that these little more intense colors here, obviously these, these storms are getting a bit more intense, but they're going to let it hit them. They're going to see what they're doing. Then they're going to make a decision to go, well, they'll probably go east and north to uh, track along with the storms, or they may pick a, a, another cell. But um, just showing you, here comes the, here we are, and here comes the weather. It'll be here any second. Let me pull this up. So you see we have that tornado warning all the way up to the north here. These are our cells down here. Uh, kind of renegade supercells in this confluence band working their way up north, uh, moving north and east at about 50 miles an hour in some cases. These things are absolutely booking it. I do think, uh, although we're starting off targeting this northern storm here near Stonewall, I do think we're going to end up further south, uh, maybe near that San Augustine storm. I think the uh, storms further south are going to have a better environment to work with later on in the day. But for now, uh, this one's starting to look mean, guys. Let's take a look at it. Our different radar here for the load. Yeah. Yeah, they, these guys just need a little bit more time and they're going to be tornado producers. Clear renegades out in the warm sector. Uh, jumping in here, you were hearing, I believe that was Ashton. He was uh, he was breaking down. Let me stop this feed here. But you can see if we zoom out here, let's just take a general view of the day one more time here. So this is the area where the SPC has said this is the most likely area for tornadoes that's going to happen, or severe thunderstorms, which lead to tornadoes. Uh, and on that front, when I say severe thunderstorms, that's this yellow box. Uh, this yellow box is a severe thunderstorm warning. First, a severe thunderstorm warning, then a tornado warning might happen for some of them. So, so, so when you see a yellow box, know that that yellow box could quickly turn into a red box, and that's when things get much more serious. Um, and and then you know it, it's really on a tornado warning doesn't necessarily mean that there's definitely a tornado on the ground it means it could be radar indicated that the radar um you know uh, an algorithm in the radar sees a pattern and believes that there's a tornado um there is excuse me one sec this there is a tornado warning right here let me take this off if you look at the reflectivity whoop zoomed a little too far here Let me look at the local reflectivity here. So this is a tornado warning here. And this is... Let me change the radar. No, this is a good radar. You can see there's, this is the tornado warning that is uh, that was north of Texarkana. We don't know. Let's see. This is... Yep, this one is radar indicated. There's a max hail size on it of a bit less than an inch. Uh, but this is uh, one of the first ones of the day here, or this might be the, f the first storm that's being tornado warned. It just has a couple multiple warnings on it. Um, you can see that it's, it's, it's not necessarily well organized, as they say. Um, let me check other feeds here. This is the velocity feed. 
this is what you're looking for in a velocity feed. You're looking for a little bit of green and a little bit of red right next to each other. Stand by one second. I feel like these guys think they might be sending, but they're not, clearly. my phone. Stand by. Okay. Is that Ashton out there? Okay. All right. All right, but yeah, it's not sending at all. All right, later. All right, we're on it. Uh, people were th saying they believe this one is going to be expiring, but if you're if you're in a tornado warning area, obviously get to shelter, start paying attention. Everybody inside the this gigantic red, the gigantic orange, everybody start paying attention to the weather if you're not already, because it's going to start really uh, heading off in, in the next hour, in the next uh, next two hours for sure. But you can see the action's already started, and the guys are on their way. So here we go. No. Is that big fuel pump or what? Okay. Air warning? No, I didn't. The new discussion just came out. Yeah. I hit 2K. Oh, so there's, there's no there's changes. No that? Yeah, these are looking a little disorganized, aren't they? Yeah. You may have to just be nice this time. Oh. I'm trying. How many side nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to stick with for a little bit. So close to the green, I'm going to be for Yeah, we could just rock it up to El Morado. Look at the echo times. Yeah, we're getting up there. We need one to see the highest. The orange still shows that it's orange. We'll finally kind of hold it. That's it. Yeah, it is the storm. We're going to show that again. Flip it around. The H triple R, everybody, definitely showing it being our storm. Boy, they're in the primary the northeast. They actually never. Well, they do get up to El Dorado eventually, don't they? Yeah. Oh. Camera gets Oh, well, it's casino. Doing gambling? Okay. Didn't bring no money, but. Do my pin trip out the sun. Uh, what? Those special weather statements are they going to tell them? Severe thunderstorm warnings for us. Now, up in Arkansas. That tornado warning, I guess, was allowed to expire. It's happening right for us, isn't yeah. it? We're going to have to it's decide whether we want to run rocket to help. construction in Homer, if we do go up there, highway, highway two, yeah, we'll have to worry about it. We could go out, chase this lead storm up to El Dorado and then drop to south for rest of the back east of the flooding. We could do that. I think this lead storm is ramping up on landing. I need to do so let's go out to El Dorado. All right. You agree? I'm up for it. Okay. I'm for it. We're going, going up to El Dorado. We gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> Storm chasing Chad. We're heading up to El Dorado, Arkansas. We're going to chase this thing up north in the I 20 corridor, Binden, and then drop back south to Ruston and just keep working this area, northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas. Outbreak imminent. Outbreak imminent. 
It's one after another. Is this whether we work I-20 or uh, we're like uh, only an hour from it. I mean, there's plenty of south options from Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> in, in case if we need to drop south and get back on the I-20. Staying up with the lead storms is good practice. Left. See, even from Ruston to Colorado is only an hour. So even if we get up there and we need to drive back south, it's not that far. I can still keep us in play though. 77 degrees. Let's see that. Yes. Sorry, he's got those LEDs, I think. Oh. See you. All right, all down. Yeah, try. Not a piece of gum. No, I'm saying my breast thinks I am. No, I'm <laughs> trying to keep my brain working good. I got some Slim Jims if you want some Slim Jims. I want your gum and I can the brain work. Stay sharp. Folks, we're headed up to El Dorado now. Just south of the port. Yeah. Yeah, with everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If it gets a tornado on the ground, we're rocking back. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop it. You want to be on the show pretty much, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if you go up on higher tilts? Hey everybody, let's get these likes up to 3,000. Thank you, like the stream if you like the new format. Goal for us though is to get these tornadoes. Yeah, they're taking their time. The tops on it do look pretty good. Yeah, we might be going in a little tough area here. Oh, looks like we're hanging on just a little bit. Uh, thank you for the uh, thank you for the correction on El Dorado, uh, and welcome Stuart, fifteen ninety two, uh, to being a Team Dominator member. That looks like our signal's all right, so we'll go back. So, these storms just southeast of Shreveport, as you can see, have very well-defined hook-like appendages, and we have even Kelvin Helmholtz waves right along the east side of the appendage. Look at all the lightning, too. So these are obviously our target storms. We're just staying in front of these a ways. Hopefully not playing it too conservative, but you think we're playing it too conservative? No. I don't believe so. That's it's just nice terrain here. Yes. I think that lead one could actually still go tornadic before it can... Probably not, but it could. We just coast along, not really... Yeah. Slow picker. Yeah. Just inch long, so in case if we have to drop south. Bit. I'm just surprised that it's just now we did Texas Canada. It's almost 3 30, 4 o'clock. It seems to be a little slower. Oh, this is going to go. Got it. Just get look. Just south street first. So yeah, took the lead one. No. Even though it's not showing a lot of rotation, I think it, it's the better of the Probably take a half hour, 45 minutes, but. We're just starting to feel the impacts of the environment. 78 degrees. East. 
we have a storm going up near uh, Cotton Valley, just to the north of us, ahead of the line. Take a right. This is our North Face stop. Lands the surface of the crank and the flag. You can come out with me. Start with the video and on the way. Nice. Right, let's see what we get up there. 19 miles from over now. Cool. Let's see how long it lasts. <laughs> we should do it. I don't know. We should do a time lap. Let me to go pro. Let's need to go and get some videos. Tough terrain up here. Yeah. But we can still dominate this terrain. Oh, we dominate all terrain, mountain, creek, forest, dense forest, rain forest, as long as there's a road in it. Point A to point B. Do it. That's all we need. It's a road, road network, north, south, east, west. My money. I'm not landing on this number two. I look like I can hear them. I'm going to tell Texarkana, and it's a nice supercell just north of Texarkana. <laughs> going up to El Dorado also keeps those in play, too. You're just taking too long to organize. Some broad rotation. Rotation. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good one. Show me that better. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Just to the northwest, Texarkana. Yeah. Heading back towards Ogden. It was just under tornado warning not too long ago. I have a little. Uh, hey, so we, uh, yeah, having a little connectivity. It'll be back in a second. We have our secret connectivity weapon now. Um, somebody in the chat was asking, uh, what the yellow pizza shaped thingy, uh, was. And if you're referring to this up here, this is a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, if you're referring to anything else, I'm really not sure what you're talking about. Uh, these are green. These, this is hail detection. Um, yeah, I suppose it's severe thunderstorm morning. Our connectivity is still iffy here, so I'll just let's zoom out again and see. Uh, well, this is this is all the U.S. here, and. This whole area, pretty much this whole area, uh, could have issues today, uh, as shown in this by the SPC. You can see it's a little bit more south to what I just circled there. Uh, but the guys are right about here, and they're tracking along with the storm that's going this way at about 50 miles per hour. So you got to think that a tornado is just attached to the bottom of the storm. And when you see storms on the weather, everything animates that way. These storms, these clouds are moving at 50 miles an hour, just in a straight line. So as a chaser, decisions and timing and not being distracted by, um, by you know, things that are, are happening, people coming up to you or something like that is important because if a tornado is going 50 miles an hour in a straight line or a storm is, 
then you really need to be dialed in because you you may have to go five miles this way and then go north or and then 10 miles that way and then go east. So you're, you're covering a lot more ground than a tornado is. Uh, it looks like they're back. Here we go. Nope. Here we go. Texas. But literally where Texas Green is, is you have Texas Green, Texas, Texas Green, Arkansas. And um, I'm literally an hour away from both Oklahoma, Arkansas, or Louisiana. So, how close are you left to the Arkansas border? 20 minutes. We're moving from Texarkana out to uh, Redwater. It's only 15 minutes. It's just like a little suburb out of like, you know, Frisco to Dallas. Uh, so people are asking, can Reed see the chat? Is Reed going to chat? If Reed has way too much on his plate today to really uh, be able to 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 chat. So he's driving, he's navigating, he's also looking at the weather, he's making a bunch of uh, decisions in his head. And we commit to going east, or does that take us out of play? If we go too far forward, um, or if we start to go east, oh, is there a river there? Because if there's a river, you know, there may only be recrossing for a hundred miles either way. So it's, there's a lot going on, uh, at one time. Um, if, if you want to chat with Reed more, interact with him more, become a member of team dominator. It is very cool. He does breakdowns of tornadoes. He's definitely do going to be doing a breakdown of the LA tornado and, and, and all other things. He rewinds, uh, his, like his best videos, um, and they're back. That's uh, north of Little Rock, maybe. Uh, a little southwest near Hot Springs. Oh, okay, okay. Just okay. outside of Hot Springs. Okay. About an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's where uh, we had our honeymoon. Ron Colvin is a good place to go. Ron Colvin mine. You guys should go up there and mine, and it's fun. That's, I, I really want to. I've already subscribed to a few YouTube channels on yeah. mining, and I'm just like, Crystal Collector, do you follow him? Yeah. That's, that's, no, that's we wrong. mined together up at uh, the Herkimer's up uh, in New York. He is awesome. They're just letting these storms mature right now, just southeast of Shreveport. They're moving into strong wind shear. It's just physics. Storms are going to behave according to their environment. We've analyzed the environment these storms are moving into. 300 zero to one kilometer shear, 18 Z sounding at Shreveport. Support strong, potentially violent tornado. Keeping ourselves in a better position. Mm -hmm. Things good. Did you wrap up? They lead storm, and it's got another one. They always form in pairs. It's just rocking that thing. Might grow a third knot. <laughs> in the off part of one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah okay, they're, they're on the, No, no, uh, uh, who is it? Uh, Dr. Evil. Got two scrotums. What you're growing in this car, but okay. Yeah, that's, I think it's amazing. I'd say. Agree. Safety first aim as well. Yeah, we are the most extreme, but the most, most safe. Do not attempt. Train professionals. Work. And I'm with the professional. No, you are the professional. I don't. I don't have a doctorate degree oh, in here. Oh, you're, you're a professional. You're a pro. 
professional. You're a professional. I tell it. Let's see if we can get to Homer. I think we can get to some city. Look at that. Finally, I can find it. And everything happens for a reason. Guys, that lead storm is going through the motion to start to get a cyclonically curved forward flank gust front. Just southeast of Doy Line. You know how to pronounce that? Doy Line? No. Doy Line? Dixie Line? Dixie Line? Doy Line? Doy Line? As, as you can see, our yeah. storm is going nuts. Just on top. Still it's start getting bent in two here in a minute. It is. <laughs> My goodness. Lightning on his hands. It produces. We'll go back to them when uh, we have a little bit better signal. They are going for a doy linnet. Excuse me, a little too far. So they uh, are looking at, you said they're just southeast uh, of doy linnet. Leave Reeve is starting to point out this is starting to get a little cyclonic curvature here. Uh, there's hail detection here. They are back. Okay, but uh, so we're here. They're watching all these storms down here as they rocket towards them. Oh, yeah. That's going to start wrapping up in the curvature. Yes. So we can find an open field. Be my first time flying that free. I agree. I hope it doesn't have any bugs. You know how those things go. Uh, we won't have no issues. Have no time stop or deploy. All that. Get the shot. Fly it into it. I forget, okay, a shot of it doesn't count. Oh, there's a lot of out, right? Damn. Makes it some stronger velocity. We'll come back to them in a second. Um, they are, I'm trying to bring up, uh, echo tops here just to see how tall these storms are now. So echo tops is one of the things that the guys, uh, typically look at to see how tall a storm is. So this is echo tops. This is how tall is a storm. And, uh, kind of as a rule, the taller the storm, the stronger the storm. So, you know, everything starts bunching up like cauliflower and it shoots towards the, um, towards the stratosphere or the, um, troposphere, uh, at about a hundred miles an hour. And so these storms here, you can see that the orange colors, those are taller storms. So those are stronger storms. Um, they'll even get red, which will be probably about 60,000 feet. Um, so just keeping an eye on everything. The guys are back. Here we go. We'd have to take a due east route. And then if we need to go to Junction City. Uh, I guess so it's going to go to Colorado. We can fly south if we need to. Or let's go east to Strong or get about there or something. Or we could go due east on a Homer, maybe. That's what I was thinking is going due east. Because if we go to, if we're trying to go north from there, that road closure is what's going to be way here then. Sorry. This is where I have this thing, right? No, we're still. You turn left. Keep going? Oh, yeah, go this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, roundabouts. You know how it is. 
And the adults are nato. I know. What is this? Roundabout. The last thing I had specifically yeah. hit. <laughs> I thought I was making a left hand turn. But now we're just trying to time the tornado. We're trying to stay ahead of these storms until they have a tornado on the ground. And then we're going to get aggressive with them. So we're just staying to the northeast of it. It's all about timing today. We're going to allow these to move up into southern Arkansas. Then they'll hit that environment. And I think that's where they're going to go not southeastern Arkansas. I'd be surprised if there's a PDS tornado launch issue there, too. Let's see if there's a new discussion out for it. Threat of tornadoes has increasing across the watch area and will likely extend east of the existing tornado watch this evening. Second, uh, let's Big enough to have Summerfield and Antioch. Yeah. yeah. That's a new discussion that I'm talking about. It's one of the watch. They've got it all mapped out. And the prefrontal confluence lines identified in pink, the front. Dew points in the 70s. It's our area. The new tornado watch coming soon. See if we get a PDS on this one. I should have given the first number in case we needed to. I can give it to him. Time to go to Bernice. We got yeah. uh, oh that northeast option I see towards Summerfield. That's the one that I'll keep us kind of on the right line. Is that what you're saying? One. Take the more northeast option toward, uh, oh, it's closed. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can't well, we have, we have to do is go oh, to yes. Bernice. Yeah, we got to do this. So. Yeah. Well, or so go Bernice, just take, just take a straight shot. If that's the, in between Swordfield and that one, it's the road closure. Is this a straight shot up here to, to get to Summerfield? Is that where we want to go? Well, if we're trying to go to Summerfield, we're going to have to go up round. Yeah, but I got these three options picked. I still did the two. Two east? east? Yeah. Because once we get to uh, our knees, we can have north something I mean, it's right here. Yeah. So that way. Trying to navigate north just to stay out of this lead storm. It's that simple. The engine on day two. Oh, yeah. Uh, while I'm driving, the radar will do exactly this right here. Okay, I need, I need to turn up here. Another well, roundabout up here. Wonderful. We're in Homer, everybody. Homer, Louisiana. Big fan of Homer. In Simpsons? Homer Simpson? Yeah. <laughs>
guess just jump in while they go through a tough area here um just saw somebody ask a question is high dew points good for tornadoes um as i understand it um and we have a bunch of weather fans in here um what you're looking for is a difference a small difference between the temperature of the air and the temperature of a dew point so if you have like less than 10 degrees between uh, if it's 80 degrees out and the uh, dew points are at 70, then that means that as as you go up in the air, as you go up in the atmosphere and it cools down, once it hits 70 degrees, that's where the cloud base is. And so you need, uh, if your cloud base is really high, it's hard for a tornado to set down. So usually you look for like less than a 10 degree difference between the temperature and the dew point of an area. That tells you where the cloud base is. Um, and so that can, can, it, there's a hundred factors in what can produce a tornado, but that is one of those things. And so very good question there. Uh, looks like they're still in it. Uh, and I also want to say like, Reed does do his best to look at the chat during these chases, uh, in his spare moments, you know, like the super chats are highlighted for him. So if you want to shout out or you want to support team dominator, donating is your best shot. To be uh, totally honest, they they stick on the top of the chat as you could see, uh, but it's also helpful for us to just keep continue making these improvements. Um, this is we are not done. We want to do this like four hundred percent of what you're seeing now, um, and we can do it. Um, we have the tools, we got the talent, um, and the guys are back. Uh, oh yeah, share, like, subscribe. We appreciate it. Thanks. If it's possible, we have some tension. But the herb, <laughs> yeah, I've had just a little Usually, I just have to get the last pitch. Hey, don't worry. Truck sliding. Sorry, it's not even. All right, a bit more. Basically, our connectivity equipment. We have every single cellular service that there is, we have one of each card now. And so that that's all bonded together into a, a pipe that we use. So if we're getting a bad signal, we're in a really, really remote area. Um, and so, but chances are we'll be back pretty quickly. Um, this is, I actually kind of know this area a bit I, and I know Rustin. Uh, I saw some people in chat were from Rustin. I actually did a TV show for ESPN a long time ago in West Monroe, Louisiana, the high school football team. They were nationally ranked and they were, uh, they were playing Rustin, uh, who's a very tough team our tribal, uh, but beautiful place. Great people. Awesome football. Um, let's, uh, zoom out a little bit here. You could see as we zoom out, we're seeing these two yellow boxes here. And remember yellow boxes is, is a, is a severe thunderstorm warning, which can lead to a tornado. So at this point, we have two severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, these are in the uh, in in southern Arkansas, and you could hear what Reed was saying before: is that they want to keep these these storms in play as they head into southern Arkansas, because southern Arkansas and 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 this whole area here is the right environment that when the right storm enters the right environment, it can go tornadic. Um, so that's what they're doing right now. They're trying to stay ahead of the storm. Uh, they're trying to keep everything in play. It is a very, very difficult chase today. Um, and again, just stepping back from the chase, if you're in this area or if you know people in this area, have the, you know, have them pay, be paying attention to the weather. You could share the stream, you could get the word out, but, don't make this your your only um, source of information. We're really laser focused on 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 Reed and his chasing and him trying to get the word out. Um, but you know, some some uh, your local weather service, whoever will will give that uh, will give you the best warnings for for your personal area. Uh, but as we could see, the SPC, this is their issuance uh, of the day. 
of everybody who should be careful. And you could see right on the edge where these severe thunderstorm warnings are going up. They're right again. Um, there's a lot of smart people there. They got a lot of great tools there. Um, and we all benefit from them. Uh, so let me put this off for a second and go back to reflectivity. So you could see, you're starting to see, you know, kind of this line here. There's another line here. There's all these kind of waves a little bit. I guess these are, these might fall under, um, gravity wave, um, as Reed says, but that gravity wave I'm under familiar with, but Reed is, Reed's very much all about, um, gravity waves. And he understands it on a level that I think few of us, uh, few of us can come on highlighter erase so that I could go in there. Um, as we go in, uh, and one more time, the guys are down about here as we're waiting for them to come back. These storms up here, this one's tornado warned, or I'm sorry, not tornado one, severe thunderstorm warning. Headed up to Arkadelphia. Let's see. To get a little bit more information, you can't just rely on the reflectivity feed. You got to go into the velocity feeds. We need to change. The radar site that you're looking at here. Oh, looks like we might be coming back in a second here. And here we go. We'll wait for it to stabilize and then we'll get it over. Thank you guys for, um, for chatting, uh, staying engaged. This is, uh, again, we're just kind of about to hit the ramp. Uh, things are going to start to escalate yeah. soonish, soonish, definitely by uh, 435. And it's going to just be full on from 530 and so on. Echo tops at 43K. That is pretty high. Um, one cool thing, if you're wondering more about echo tops, is that as we were saying, as it goes to, as a storm gets stronger, it rockets up to the bottom of the troposphere <clears throat> and it, it hits like a wall there. It hits, it, it hits a wall and it does something called anviling. So if you want to see some very cool pictures, just Google anvil clouds and you'll see just, it just looks like an atomic bomb. It looks like an anvil because it goes boom and then it just flattens out as it hits the bottom of the troposphere. That's how you know it's, there's an extremely strong storm. And there are even super storms that can go beyond an anvil cloud that they, they hit the bottom of the troposphere, they anvil out, and then they keep going up. And that's called an overshooting top. Um, and those are, are monsters. Um, don't know what we got today. Look at tops. I'm sure we don't have anything that tall just yet. Here we go. Guys are back. I'll bring them back to you. Uh, you know, I could just leave a state in my backyard and chase there. And I'm telling Rhino, I guess. It's easy to go back to the world. I said, what if we get to El Dorado and we still got our south, east, you know, good options, east, west, just a slight pivot north, I think it's good. And we're still playing our target zone. Ah, uh, don't spend on your brace. It's 55. See? Yeah. Is that a storm chaser? No, simple boat. Undercover, maybe? Maybe a storm chaser. They're very, they look real similar. I think I'm not a puzzle, but at least we have a puzzle. 
Yeah, I wouldn't see why it would work my way too. Be a lot of traffic. <laughs> I'm trying to get some nap. I wouldn't surprise me. Usually they'll pull up on the side of the road, make people slow down, but they're in the driver's seat just uh -huh. until they hear someone. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Yeah. Or they could just be waiting for the weather, you know? Do they have an alarm that goes off when their radar detects the speeder? Um, just, I'm, I'm assuming it does. Because even with um, having one of those little radars in your car, it did, 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 did. Yeah, so far these are slow to organize, but we also know that it was about 5, 6, 7 p.m. when the environment just went completely haywire. So by going out to El Dorado, El Dorado we're still keeping everything in position. It's El Dorado, isn't it? El Dorado, El Dorado. I think it's El Dorado. Potato, potato. It's like Texarkana. You say Texarkana or Texarkana? Hey, Texarkana. Texarkana. <laughs> Texarkana. 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 You have to do the er. Texas Canada. Wow, I always thought it was Texas Canada. The problem is Texas Canada. Texas Canada, but I just, I guess Southern accent is like Texas Canada. Is that it's how like, Just like y'all. Hey y'all, how you doing? Yeah. It's not necessarily a Texas thing, but the deeper south you go, oh my gosh, it. That was our turn. Was it? It's a good I've already started to cancel the tornado watches. And upshore further. Let's take this one. We're just gonna go straight across. The Bernice. And we still, yeah, because you can take 167 straight north to the junction, and then Junction City up to Eldorado. Eldorado. And LD. I think these are eventually going to do it, Ash. You know, I think they just got to get up to the environment at 5, 6, 7 o'clock. So you want to be on them then, don't you think? Oh, yeah. The environment just goes to the roof. Low level jet accelerates at above 60 knots. So what's from Nature Center said? It was around 5 o'clock. All of the ingredients really started to just explode. And anything discreet. Has a high probability of going traumatic. The loss of the light, I wonder if some of those further south, I'm going to be central to the end of my head. No, we need to go south. How far is that flow? It'll probably be days, though, of course. See him? Uh, the main line? Yeah. Get him tight now. Maybe. Maybe. I think they can split out. I think we should see some of these should split in ice in those tunnels. Yeah, I'm weird. It could be these down here. That's what I just noticed was the one near. That's the folks. There's some popping up in the uh, Mississippi side. So, I think they were being towed. I think it's a car. Okay, I'm talking now. And the guys are back. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm back, not muted. This is kind of turning into a, to a tradition that I that I mute myself by accident here. All this stuff is new to me. I'm used to uh, I'm used to like field crews in the field and everything. Um, what I was saying is that uh, when they say discrete, they're talking about an isolated supercell that is that is very much kind of away from the group. Um, so when you have like a whole mess like this, nothing's really going to become organized and, and turn into a tornado. Tornadoes can happen in in areas like that, but but they're usually kind of like a quasi QLCS quasi linear system. They they may spin up quick and then they die quick and then they spin up quick. But today the potential is really for long track supercells. That means ones that are going to be on the ground for a long time. Uh, and for those, they're looking for isolated supercells. So an isolated supercell might be like out here when there's a whole mess over here, you know, an isolated supercell is just away from the group. Um, here we go. All right, they're back. Uh, also, appreciate it. We're dominating. We're almost to 3,000 likes. Guys, keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. I saw an interesting stat about it. half the people watching don't subscribe. So if you're watching and you like what you see, hit subscribe. We appreciate it. And now they're not still not back. Um, that would have been a good exit. Uh, but here we go. Let's just keep looking at what we have here. Um, okay. So we have, you heard Reed say that they are, okay, they are back now. Here we go. False alarm. They're not. Um, F-22 Raptor, by the way, shout out. You really seem to know your stuff in the chat. Thank you for uh, helping us answer questions. We want this to be a place where people kind of learn about the, the storm. Um, so zooming back out again, we only have one severe warning right now. You heard Reed say that from what he's seeing right now, things may be delayed a little bit before they really take off. Um, but you did hear him saying that, uh, by a little after five, he thinks things are really going to take off. Um, so let's see. I want to do, I wanted to answer a couple questions that I saw here. Uh, Rob Texan, this is not going to be a bust. We'll, we'll tell you that. I want to show the satellite here for a sec. Let's hide this. Let's hide this. Okay. So this is the satellite, right? This is a this is a satellite that's called it's called Sandwich. This is regular RGB. A lot of times you just want to see what it looks like from the sky. This satellite, the um, resolution is not that high. We'll, we'll, we'll upgrade and get a higher resolution, but you could see sort of in this area here, you could see all the way to the ground. All this stuff looks like it has a lot of cloud cover. <clears throat> um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to su suppress a bunch of tornadoes. Just a moment here. Yeah, uh, restarting it. Cool. 
No, it's alright. Thanks, bud. Yeah, it looks like a tough area. Yeah, what do you think? I could actually put you on the uh, little speaker if you want to say something. I could put you on speaker if you want to say something. Yeah, here. Let's see. Tell me, what do you see in there? Hey, guys. Yeah, we find it interesting that even these prefrontal confluence storms, they started off really isolated and they've kind of congealed together. I'm kind of surprised they haven't ramped up yet. But we also know that the environment really starts to ramp up by 5, 6, 7 p.m., even 8 p.m. But we've noticed as we're heading north, the temperature is down to 73. The surface winds are getting a little bit weaker, a little more stagnant. So we're trying to decide up here in about four miles. Do we head north up to El Dorado in southern Arkansas, or do we drop back to the I-20 corridor where the surface winds are a little stronger, surface temperatures are about 77, and so that's what we have to decide coming up here. But we know it's going to probably go big later on, a little closer to sunset. We just have to make sure that we're on the storm of that. Copy that. Yeah. Um, do you want to? I'm still hearing a bit of the uh, the stuttering. Do you want to uh, try yeah, to do that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so where are you guys? You guys are headed uh, north, or are you headed kind of northeast? You're trying to do east right now. Yeah, we're headed toward Bernice, and then from there we're either going to go north to El Dorado, up into southern Arkansas, where there's a good east-west option up there, Highway 82. And we could even head north from there if we wanted to get up further north into Arkansas and get some of those other storms. But we're also thinking that some of those renegades down into central Louisiana might intensify. The temp service temps down there are up into the upper 70s, and service winds are a little stronger, less stagnant, and so we're going to probably make the decision here in a couple miles, north or south. All right, sounds good. Looks like your video's back, so we'll, we'll go, go back. All right, man. <laughs> It's good. Thank you. See this? I'm at here. There's some kind of junk out. We'll decide here in a few miles to roll over and look. One mile. Chevron up here. Chevron? Yeah, I thought that lead store was just going to be off to the races. I think it outran the instability. Yeah, that one sink down starting to yeah. you know, tops on it. Again. Should sure. look at a surface map too to see what the surface temps are doing. Get on that pile. I have the absolute worst allergies. I can wake up and sneeze 20 times. That's not even going outside. Coming into Bernice. We're going to stop here and then reevaluate everybody. Practice at the base of the neighbors. Yep. All is looking right. These lead renegades are taking their time, aren't they? We could drop back to Monroe. Get this Maybe. lead cluster. Yeah, but I think I'm doing the watching this one here. Natch Natchitone or whatever. Nakadish. Nakadish. Maybe long term. But, I mean, I don't want, I don't know if we want to give up on these yet. The only issue is they're behind whatever that Yeah. They don't is. have any inflow. Right. Yeah, they're not looking good there. No. I don't know why this developed. These would be absolute monsters yeah. without that. These would be producing right now. That's weird. Uh, yeah, and the ones in Arkansas aren't, aren't going nuts either, so that it might just tell us we need to. Maybe that one up near Hope. Yeah, that just went tornado one. It did. Yep. Might just tell us we need to. North or south? If we go to El Dorado, we can always blast east across it and then down south toward Monroe. And those storms near Monroe are going to be headed up to southeast Arkansas anyway. Right. So maybe we go up to the Highway 82 corridor. 
Looks like we might be might gonna go a storm brand here. Two. Yeah. Two non inflow. <laughs> Renegades that Oh, oh why did that random like why do we Everyone have a, has lightning down near Nak uh yeah, yeah. increase Sure. Why do we have it's only 4.20. Oh, yeah, and it will be 5, 7, yeah. 8 p.m. when they go. It's going to see what the... Uh, yeah, except that it might be a nighttime. It might be close to dark before they really... The shear is definitely it's increasing. strong, you know, 300 plus for that right, cluster right. up north. I mean, you can tell by looking at these that there's enough shear. It's just that they, yeah. they're, they're, they're cut off yeah. by this crap. Maybe... See what at 3, see what at 6 o'clock it looks like. I think we should go north. I think we should well, go there's north. also this area of decent helicity down near Monroe too. So I mean, these could be more isolated. Yeah, I don't know. I think we. I don't hate the Monroe target. Maybe go to Junction. Just go north of Junction City. Get a look at these on the backside, and then. If I really don't like these. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I mean, we could get a look at them. They may not even have a base. Then you're gonna get stuck behind the line instead right. of in front of them. The blast back through it. Yeah. Which even if we drop south now, we're still gonna have to run into it anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I'm wondering if we just go to El Dorado and go east. Let's just go to El Dorado, El Dorado and go Dorado east. east. And then, you think? Uh, El Dorado, maybe east on 82? Maybe east and hope yeah. that one of these other confluence band. I feel like if one of these has got to get their act together in this Eventually, primary yeah. confluence band. Was it? Is it up? What? I was agreeing with you. I was saying yeah. to go east because those bands up on the row are going to start throwing up over here, too. So just go north to El Dorado. Make sure these don't do anything stupid in the yeah. east. Yeah, let's go north to El Dorado, east across it, and then just hang and cross it. Hang across it for a while and just see what happens. Yeah. All right, yep. Yeah. Good talk. Yeah. Hey, Good meeting, guys. <laughs> Yeah, good meeting. Hang on here. Just dial it. Oh, his number is nine one one. Easy now. I do need you to drink that real quick. You okay? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, these are bubbling south of Monroe. Yeah. They, they won't mature before they get to Monroe, but they could mature by the time they get up here. But I think they're just going to some slim jams? Yeah. Snap it to a slim jam! Oh, yeah, we do have these three for them. Yeah. Here you go. Got it. Got it. Alright, so. We definitely think you're right. I think we just got to keep going east because they're just going to keep popping until they get that environment. Yeah. Keep cutting. Ooh, that's... Yeah, these could even do it. Yeah. We'll just keep going north and then to east at El Dorado. I'm a little worried about surface temperatures, though. Yeah. They do decrease a lot up north. Yeah, we need that. Let's look at a surface map. Yeah, we need this one. Uh, maybe one of these ones here. Yeah, it's it's the south. south. This, this line is, like, moving right now. Here's the instability. Um... We got 2,000 K basically from I-20 South. It's about to eat that. Yeah, but it'll still, with a 60 knot low level jet, we'll just keep replenishing from the South. Right. So, if this is a, a differential heating boundary, that's why you're getting the tornadoes up in Arkansas. Up in there. So, we got a pretty good cape that's lifting up north. And it looks like Southeast Arkansas should have some good cape in a couple hours. That's the money spot. All right, let's see the uh, instability. You get 2,000 K pep. Yep. No, this is up just in Southeast no. Arkansas. If we're going cross it, we can work that corridor from cross it to Monroe. All right. If we can get up to El Rayo, we have 82 option. Or we head to uh, Greenville if we get up in Mississippi. Unless we drop south 165, we're going to go down to <laughs> Vicksburg. But I don't have to go through Colorado, but it's only three minutes now. So. 
I think it's really quick. Uh oh. Let's take fucking damn Another hour or so. Maybe. Yeah. It's a, it's a risky move, but do we just want to gamble? I'm worried too that this stuff will just clear out all Arkansas. We need those renegades. So I'm dropping to Monroe. Look at that thing. Show it's, getting, it's getting up. It's getting up. It's growing. Yeah. Um, wow. See what? Hold on. What's the? We don't. Job? Yeah. Look. Yeah. Tops on. We just want to gamble and go. Yeah. Play. I mean, this whole area could lift That's north and far southern renegade yeah, here. There, even Monroe out here, because. Yeah. Like, How about Farmerville? Like Farmerville, so what's the their point? Cello up here? It's 76. Yeah, so south of it. Yeah. As long as we're continuing going east, staying ahead of it, I'm, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. That's good. We're going to Farmerville. Let's go due east for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I like that plan. Farmerville. Farmerville, then we could keep everything in play yeah, and possibly end out south. Yeah. 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 Eventually, then we can go to Sterlington and drop south through Monroe and yeah. hit this renegade if it keeps going crazy. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's do it. Let's get on the road. Sorry, GoPro. Oh, that was just tore. Another claim, it's all good. Follow at your own risk. Woo. Don't fall in directly into the tornado. Leave it up to the professionals. <laughs> Get a video of my taillights disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> got an 18 wheeler coming my way. Yep. And then another car behind, but you got it. Yeah, oh, that's a two-way street. Yeah. Nimble like a fox. Yes! 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 Woo! All right, so we're still going east. Do you have farm available plug in? Yeah. Get from me. Yeah, I got it. 19 minutes. We're headed east of Farmerville now. That's the new plan. We're comfortable just going east. There's a new mesoscale discussion that includes Monroe. There is also a tornado warning in Arkansas that's headed to Prescott. Prescott, Arkansas. Fairly strong rotation on that. Intense mesocycle. Just about on I 30. Right up, we're just blasting right up there. <laughs> Usually, I'm not right now. Hope you're satisfied. Nope, got it through the renegades. Don't. I'll see. I'll see. I thought you were in. I thought you were in Paris this morning. I was. I thought you were in Texas. Oh, I was. Basically, Texas. Okay. No, I wasn't Paris. I've had shelf coming. Got on the board early. We're headed east on Farmerville. That renegade down near Natchitoches is showing a little bit of lightning down near Clarence, Louisiana. But it's also kind of south of the apex of this weird little mesoscale bow this morning. Field started like this, you know, a couple of tornadoes, and then a couple of tornado warnings, Brooksville Wedge, and then those two storms came up from down south. It was a long track, it was right at like four, five, six. Um, and they stayed around the tornado. Did you chase that day? No, uh, that was the one day where I wanted to chase, but I guess I talked myself out of it, and now I'm just like beating myself up over it. No, no 
don't beat yourself. Huh? You can't live life through the rearview mirror. You'll end up in a ditch. You gotta live through the windshield. True. Always move forward. One step at a time. Yeah. Advance the football, even if it's one yard at a time. As long as you're advancing the football. I'm going to do the first down before the fourth down and you turn it over. I think we are punching it east right now to Farmersville, keeping all options in play. We can shoot northeast to cross it. Plenty of north, south options, and east options. Stay We're getting into better terrain, too. Delta. Mm hmm. When your clearance is. They struggle a little bit, but they get up. They might end up going. I think all these are a little bit all these two different routes. I mean, these will all yeah. these could eventually go. I, I really think going east is going to go. Nice. As long as we're going fast drop or something. Continuing to stay east ahead of it, not get behind it. Yeah. The entire chase is still in play. It's just now 4:30. Still got 30 minutes before prime time. Then it's just an all nighter. Everybody, support Storm Chaser Chad too. Check out his YouTube. He is just dominating right now all aspects of storm chasing in life. He's in the prime of his life too. Sometimes you don't feel like it, but um, it's all about safety and informing others of severe weather awareness. That's safety first, that's what it's about for me too. That's the whole concept of why I chase is to inform the public, to help if anything does happen. You got your first aid kit, right? Yes. In case we encounter damage or drop everything in the chase, help out the best we can in the recovery effort. Storm Chaser Chad's got skills to help people. I was a volunteer firefighter a while back and the family kind of got there, so Still, it's in the blood. Helping others. That's what matters. Thanks. Be nice to tow the drone up. Get the blood. Yeah, yeah, if it's coming. Yeah, this would be ideal. I'm excited to fly that big drone. Terrified to lose it, but. <laughs> as long as I'm going to recover, that's, that's, that's the thing. So, I'm going to severe thunderstorm warning, Arkadelphia to Mount Vernon, up in the courts. Terrain up there, southwest of Little Rock. Tornado warning it still continues in Prescott. It's almost directly over. See if it's any confirmed. No, still radar indicated rotation. Or the echo tops and arms. Mine's not too much. I wonder if that low storm is going to be behind it. Getting that close to the radar to swim out here. Saw this injury. Yeah. It's just a shower, a little super shower. I could see that it all kind of coming over down here, south of its complex down here. And it's the buildings down there. You have good temperatures, warm temperatures. So and if that one's starting to spin south of Mansfield, the empty goes all the way down the back of this. Look at all these buildings, though. All right, they're in uh, hitting a tough area. Um, as you guys heard, the name of the game right now is staying ahead of the storms you never want to get caught behind the line of storms then it's usually very very difficult to get back ahead of them because if you get behind a line of storms it dumps a bunch of water all the traffic slows down uh you know it's hard to say it it's you you always want to keep everything in place so that's why these guys decided very very intelligently they put their heads together they decided north south Let's go east, keep everything in play, and then make the call when the storms really start going off.
Yeah, okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, the alerts. Some people are starting to get alerts. Um, the, we do have two, tw two severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, and we have one a tornado warning uh, that's still uh, northeast of Texarkana. These guys. This is the, this is the area of play today here. This is where everybody needs to be uh, paying attention. That right there. See right on the outside, even the yellow, even the green, everybody in the, in if you have a color where you live, pay attention. You could you could share this with your friends. You could just make sure that it make sure that everybody's paying attention. They should not be looking at just one thing. They should have alerts on their phone. They should be watching the news. They just keep an ear out. Um, and so this is back to reflectivity. The guys are down about here. They're starting to, to head east. Um, and then they'll make uh, a call. You could start to see, let me take this out. Starting to see that suddenly these things down here are starting to bubble up a bit. Um, starting to get into an environment. All these things up here, they're starting to get into the environment that was laid out by the SPC here. So, so here, excuse me. They come back. Here we go. Yeah, so a lot of things are happening. If we're going to animate the map here for a second, first it's going to get a little bit. Now it's going to go a little bit further back in time. You're going to just see these kind of start popping up. Let's see here. Yeah. Here we go. The guys are back. Here we go. Tell you, hey, you need to load down or slow down your sodium intake. Every example of yours. Yeah. We'll get that audio fixed. Um, and I just want to say, if you have Starlink, if you have anything like that, you're still going to be dealing with uh, what these guys are doing. Is they're really pushing the tech to the edge. Um, you know, you're sending out packets. Hey, can you restart that? Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I don't know. Let's let's hear it once you come back here. This sounds good to me. All right, and you're, you guys are back. I'll put you up. I don't know. Um, yes, thank you, Stealthy PS. Thank you, um, Right on Josephine. Um, we really appreciate it. You guys are back. Here we go. Had to go back and look at McCall. Same thing, I think. Was okay. Oh, sorry, he called you. Okay. okay. All right, everybody, we got uh, kind of a, a mass here, a convective complex to the west, and none of them are looking very super cellular. So I think we're going after this one to the south of Monroe that is now producing lightning. Some of those bubblers will have a little bit more time to mature. Possible. The full experience. 76 now. To this top south of Monroe. Go to Monroe or go to Bastrop up on the north to get up to the delta up here. Okay, good idea too. Head off of this here. So we got a river crossing Lake Providence. But unless those come in from the south, into that bowling range between radars. Yeah. Are some alligators in here? Oh, definitely. Uh, 
That's supposed to be good fishing too. Yeah. You fish a lot? I used to with my grandpa, but once he kind of passed, it just didn't feel right. You know, not having him with me. And that's kind of like the farm thing that we always did. But I still love, still love to go. It's way down south, but long term. Way down there. Yeah. But uh, a couple hours ago, you know, those could be kind of coming right up in the prime time. Still, in the 24 hour would, wouldn't be too far out of the question. It's going to Monroe. Definitely. Going to Monroe, everybody, back, full circle. That's what we do best, driving circles. Staying in play. Not getting out of position, yeah. always putting ourselves in better position. Cypress trees are awesome. Love it. It's that time of year, this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, farm of you. That's what I actually wanted in Mississippi. Already? Oh, oh my god. Renegades going to Mississippi now, Southern Mississippi. Look at that. Whoop. It's a boat. Damn. That's a lot right, of light. Right, right. Come on, click. Oh, it's, no, there he goes. There we go. Brookhaven, just south of there. Tyler Town, Columbia. I wonder how the wind shear is out there. Well, oh, that's a Yeah, the one near south of Monroe is starting to fire up. Yeah. Got a couple lightning strikes. It's new recent. That is his name. Those bubblers are looking good. This one's trying. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Best of Calvin? Yeah. Look at this cute little super saw west of Calvin, folks. Nice little bee. The tornado warning should be expiring within the next minute. Yeah, but it is still severe warned. One north of Malvern. That yeah, it's it's not, yeah, it's from Warren, but not to pay more. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of appendage. If you look at velocity scans, there are flash flood warnings up there too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just one after another. I wonder if the instability is too lacking up there. They've been trying, but they don't. Too much interference, I guess. I'm still on the one south of my road. Air pretty scared to get used to it. Like monitor. Seems like there's some type of the good temperature is better. Just lifting up from the two. Milky skies. Thank you, Stealthy PS. Thank you so much for everything. They're awesome. Thank you so much for supporting Team Dominic. We really appreciate you. I know you offered to come through there after Hurricane Ian or the Dominic before was swept away. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting us. As stealthy pants. Skies are milky. Okay, they were really sunny when we were coming back west at midnight. Oh, come on, nice one, yeah. Blackhawk MZ, thank you so much for that generous super chat. Never stop chasing, of course. Thank you. Thank you for helping us. 
thanks for supporting Brian too. He's doing all the radar breakdowns. Just got that new equipment, and he's trying to save Team Dominator single-handedly. Also trying to do more science again too. We're a little in between science missions, but we're going to ramp that back up too. Now we keep turning the virtual. No, virtual numbers back. Hey, you do you. Did you notice that I was doing that? Yeah. Come back for it. Why was I doing that? Just the thing. Just turn it. <laughs> just, just, just turn it. Mine's a little turn knob. You click it once, it just it'll go off air so often. Is this a windshield noise? It's like they got a radar sign or something. I think it is. Because mine does the exact same thing. Yeah, it wipes it and it kind of clears off. Everybody's it's always like, speed. like oh. you got to get radar on that, man. It's not really. It's not always the answer. Oh. Especially with black, black sand windows, polycarbonate windows, that like the dominant or something. It's good for when you're not using the windshield wipers. It just rolls right off. But having windshield wipers, that's all it does is just smear. We're watching these bubblers, including down near Alexandria. That's going to be our mode. Yeah, that's what Connor just said. Yeah. Well. Oh. Yeah. That'll be the mode. We may end up having to even drop south out of Monroe and get those. Like, I even think just. Severe thunderstorms coming in tomorrow. Yeah, even that one probably get it done. It was great. I thought that was thunder for a second. I was like, oh, I'm getting close. No, there's a truck. Our little beam is trying to slowly grow and I just stick down on I bet down at the Alexandria, the skies are clear. This is not the you know, snow. <laughs> but I mean, 77. I know, it is long, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not would... matter. They'll probably just have to organize down there and move up into this environment. Well, it takes place down there, and by the time it gets to here, it's mature. Just enough time for it to plant right in front of us. Boom. The Bastille Day ended up kind of happening on the way southern end of the risk too. So a lot of the, it looked like the surface cell track was going to be the play, and then it ended up being further south. The load on the jet ramped up late. Right entrance ratio of the jet. Probably happened similar this time. You just get me within 15 miles of the tornado, I can take care of the rest. It's real nice. My drone goes 15 No, it's just with my, my skill set kicks in. Then, within okay. About 15 okay. Miles. All right, 15 mile radius. All right. Yeah. Done. Yeah. They tend to botch on something. That's probably my. Maybe even within worst 10 mile radius. It's once I get close enough to it, I'm like, okay, well, I'm here. Now what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> not a rubber side. I didn't know that. Colorful. Brookshire. Brookshire's. Yeah, that Monroe one is definitely trying to bubble. With the lightning. I think it's still warm infection showers. Better tops down here than those southern ones in Alexandria. Probably might end up in Alexandria. Let's see what the route's going to head up south of Monroe. Probably. Mm -hmm. Route 65 goes straight all the way down. A slow start, but we figured that would happen. We're looking more toward like 5 to 8 p.m. and even after that, even in the overnight, we're going to slow down. Right. 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 That's what you absolutely need to heed every warning. Yep, got to heed those warnings. Give them some breathing room. Storms will be moving at 50 miles an hour. 
you're going to have to start to enact your safety plans well in advance of these storms. 10 miles of a drop down in the mountain. Let's do it. You had to guess what time you think we'll be on the tornado. 530. 5.30. Wow, oh, I was thinking in my mind, I was thinking about 7.15. 7? <laughs> That's so late. Sooner the better. I know, but yeah. I just think it's going to be a little later. I would love that 5.30. Oh, yeah, I think it'll be 7.15. Just watch this one roll, it's just gonna pull up. It's five, five o'clock, it's just gonna get the boat. It might be in Mississippi by that too. <laughs> True. Oh, it is almost five already. Uh -huh. Not sure it's working there, Brian. You guys run a stream when you chase? Uh, Mark usually does. Yeah. Like I said, this I don't have a secondary phone, which I'm trying to get so that way I can use this for live streaming yeah. now and for every other purpose. But Mark around. Oh, look at the top stuff south now. Down near Elizabeth. <laughs> Possibly head down south toward Jenna. Yeah, there's a, that's a 165 goes straight down to yeah. Alexandria. What is it, an hour and a half down there? Yeah. Can they run fun on the road? They could just pop down there. I think so. Maybe. <laughs> oh, ballsy play. Take a bean bag to make that call. I mean, since Connor's saying that that's pretty much what our storm is that's going to us, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to yeah, I like start it. heading that way. That it's way, sure, as sure it as it gets closer to us. And who knows, by 5 30, we'll have it to be. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I hope so. I wouldn't be disappointed. I would for the people in the path of it, but someone's got to chase it, right? Not speak, gonna chase just speak it into an existence. We're gonna get a native, a lot of natives. An open area. Towns. All right, a little bit spotty reception there. Um, again, these guys are headed to Monroe, which is right right here um and they're looking at the storms to the south so the storms to the south are looking uh more promising looks, looking like they'll be uh, heading into more instability and so the guys are really keeping their eye on that you, you know that they're saying is it going to happen at around 5 30 is it going to be later than that things change quickly um we don't know we'll see so this is what um they're doing is trying to keep everything in play again. So they're heading east. They're keeping ahead of the line. Um, somebody was asking uh, why I wasn't in the car. 
I tore my ACL and LCL. Uh, normally I'd be chasing, but then I have to keep my leg bent for like 12 hours at a time, which is what these guys are doing today. And that's not good. Uh, so plus this does work out when things like this happen, when these guys, when these guys go into bad coverage areas. Um, and you know what? The stream could use a little step back bird's eye view. Here are our goals. Here's what we're doing, you know? Um, so it works out it's like they're almost back and here we go. Oh, wow. Last of trash wood that they're included in that. Damn. Oh yeah. That could be a That's tornado funny. in progress, everybody on I. Uh, okay, it's still in a rough area here. Uh, thank you for the kind words. Yeah, ACL, LCL, very annoying uh, injury. But anyway, we're focused on the weather today. Um, again, this is this is the Monroe area. We're going to start to look at some velocity, see if anything is really popping up. We don't see anything. If we want to check out these storms up here for a second, let's just do that while we have a moment. So you can see this red one here, all, all of these, these yellow ones, they're severe thunderstorm warnings. They lead to uh, tornado warnings. Those are the red ones. This particular feed, this red and green feed, um, is a feed called Velocity. And a lot of people who watch the stream, they know what it's for. Uh, if you're new, this is a, a major piece of information here. When you see the red and green feed, we are trying to see where there might be rotation. So when you see red next to green, that might be rotation. Um, it's a little bit uh, more complicated than that, but the guys are coming back and Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but when you see the bright red next to bright green, as you're starting to see right there, that's called a couplet, and it's it's so prevalent. We even have a uh, we even have a emoji that I just sent. Uh, if you're a Team Dominator member, it's that green next to that red emoji. That's a couplet, and that's from this this feed here. And the uh, guys are back, and I'm sure they're looking at something similar to this right now. Most of the line here in Arkansas are certain groups. It's similar to Pacific. It's kind of clear warp sector right there. I wonder if there's a break up into the line. It's a super cell. The main front. It's trying to look pretty good. Yeah, that's what I was Southwest of Alexandria. That'll be moving up toward Clark's. I like it. Kind of has that strong out appearance. It's feeling the instability. I'm near Boyce, Central Louisiana. Temperature back down to 73. So we're watching these renegades in central Louisiana right now, but 
We're also noting that the line up into western Arkansas is producing. Arkadelphia, you're in a tornado warning. Benton, Arkansas, so that could be heading up for the south. Little Rock Metro. From Benton, Haskell, Toll, Alexander. And then just look at that. Get a hook on that. Let's go to velocity. Yeah, does it have a TDS? Uh, right here. Not yet. No, not yet, but I mean, that's. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty, about to produce. That is tight rotation. Yeah. Right on I 30, right? Wow. Yeah. Just to. RFT ball is about to hit Traskwood. Yup. 15 miles down to Monroe. And of course, you have the flash flood warnings, but then dropping south to the other tornado warning. Sometimes I'll leave the looks... tornado warnings to work with good flash flood, but not on a day like today. Oh no. But the one further north is the one more it's impressive. Yeah. Now that's just, that looks mean. Let's see if there's a. I mean, a better supercell. Still just radar indicated, not a confirmed tornado. Let's look at. Let's see if there's Yes. Nothing just yet. Thankfully, we don't want a tornado to produce, especially in a populated area around Little Rock. Just uh, would not be ideal. Let's go back to ours. Got even the one heading towards uh, Ruston is looking kind of it is. like it's. That's the very south end of our line. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye on that one, don't we? See that one again too. No. Yeah, that one could go. And I, I, I'm going to be upset if I'm not at my truck and he gets I know. my tornado <laughs> in, in, ends up in the That would be the, hilarious. The that. That's how this stuff works. <sighs> and it's how this shite works. But yeah, we'll be able to get that easy on the ground. We'll just buy some rest of the time. We're right in the path of that southern one. Yeah. And it has a hook in it. It's starting to look like it's developing a boot. It's hard to tell that's an accidental hook. I'm trying to look at the motion of it, but maybe just accidental. Echo tops. Okay. Yeah. Time's not us. So, the storm just to our north, right behind us, it just got some severe, severe warning. Yeah. We're literally just on the outside of it. Severe warning. Turn around. Straight line winds up some pale. Yeah. <laughs> So you heard them say that this tornado warning to the north, well, first they were looking at these, these uh, storms up here. Uh, one of them, uh, just south of Little Rock, uh, this was the one that... Uh, Chad was saying that uh, the rotation and has a mean hook on it. Sorry, one moment. Uh, so Chad was looking at this. You can see the radar looks a little bit different because we're using different programs. Um, but this was the one that uh, was starting to concern him. Uh, as we're looking down south here, they think that the, the big show is going to be a bit further south here. Um, so again this is uh this is where we are here we're on 20 we're headed towards monroe um the storm to their north just got a severe thunderstorm warning um if you could see that yep that's coming through nice uh but we're still thinking that things might start to happen even more to the south so you could see that you know, things kind of started happening up here then will start happening here now and they're going to be happening down here soon enough. Um, and uh, I just wanted to take a, a second to thank Wickedest Witch and Donna Falkenberg. Donna, you always are gifting memberships. We appreciate that. Hopefully you're... the people that those memberships go to uh, appreciate it and they're enjoying it. And if you're using the new membership, enjoy your new access to a bunch of emojis and a few other things. Um, all right, let's look again at tops. So these storms up here, I'd expect them to be a little bit taller, actually. Uh, 
This one's tall. This one by Rustin is very tall. You can see that red. Let's change the radar sight and see what the rest of these cells down here look like. Do a little uh, investigative work. You can see that these are just starting to bubble if we animate the map a little bit. Probably see some blue turn into yellow. Maybe a little bit down. Yeah, this cell down here. Sorry, it's animating a little bit quick. But you can see you can see this cell. This cell is going up. It's 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 getting higher in the atmosphere here. So it's going one, two, now it's taller. The guys are back. And the audio's got problems. Still working through the system. And thank you, Mary Jo. Okay, these are starting to get more organized here. Yeah, as we look at this, especially this one here. Turn off this. Uh, this one's starting to get kind of an elongated hook here. Yeah, it's kind of stretched out. Again, if you're joining, this is the uh, this is the this is the area today. It's a big, long area, so you might be asking why are these guys thinking that they might drop south. Well, think this warning that you're seeing from the SPC. This was earlier today, and things change over the course of a day. Things shift. Things elongate. Um, it's a place to start. You could see it was a very good place to start because you see the the warnings are right around the area that the SPC pointed out. Um, so if you are in these areas, you should be watching not only this stream, but you should be, you know, you should have your apps. You should keep your ear out for the news. Um, but if we go back to reflectivity, as these guys might be coming back, again, this is a very tough area for cell service. They are in Farmerville here. So let's see if we can actually bring it up here. Oop. This might be as much as we could zoom in. But they're heading along 20 here and they're going to Monroe. And this uh, this feed isn't showing all the roads that are possibilities for them, but it sounded like they've made the decision to go to Monroe because they had options they they could go north they could go south or they could continue heading east if they're trying to stay in front of the line greetings from irving texas okay so this farmerville cell it's marion storm we start to see how fast these are moving. This is here at 507. You can see it crosses the line and it gets all the way here in 45 minutes. It's quite, you know, I think these are still moving at about 50 miles an hour. Let's see what this severe thunderstorm warning says. Looks like they're back. Right, not quite there. We got somebody in chat. Restart. Yep. Yeah, copy that. 
Okay, here I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on for uh, one sec if you want to update the stream here. We just lost signal. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. We got your we got you get obvious. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. But the surface, temp surface temperature is down to 74, so we like those storms down near Alexandria. The temperatures are in the upper 80s or upper 70s down there. Yeah. 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 Y
Those are looking good. What we're in the Alexander Storm. Be on it in no time. So, yeah, we're leaving the severe warnings and we're headed down to that cluster of supercells near Alexandria. That's the main event. It's about to begin, everybody. Thankfully, Chad and I have not botched up this chase yet, keeping everything in play. Look at that storm. There it is down near Ball. A lot of lightning in the infill region too, you see that? It's gonna go nuts. Oh my god, that's Orlando by six. I think it's gonna ramp up fast. Prime time now. Head to the right storm. Not behind the line, we're not playing catch up. Maintaining my position. Key. Yeah, we wouldn't even want to be on that storm right now because it might be. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that clear sky down there. So clear. So pretty. Guys, look at that yellow ribbon right on the horizon. That's the instability we're talking about. Excitement is just rocketing right now in there. I'm starting to get excited about it. Mm -hmm. I'm a little worried we're going to tornado before we get there, but I think it should be time, right? No. It's, it's doing its maturing. Yeah. By the time we get there, should be all good. we have to do is get in position. It's going to drop, like, on command. Ever could have boom. It'll be there steam it rolling toward us in 50. Or it may, it may produce one. Fly up the left edge and just point the vehicle into the wind and then right, right then. Mm -hmm. Left edge, right out. Hopefully, right now, if, if it does break, yeah. right. I'll roll down the window and hold out the GoPro. <laughs> no. I always want to hold the brake. Brake. I could bury the car in a ditch, too. That's kind of my ultimate. Final escape room is a big problem. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't you drive hop out much. and just no, lay down in the ditch. Don't stay in the car. Are you kidding me? You want to just get did a little up? Did you, did you see the family that literally? Yes. Uh, I saw it was like, wow. They actually was like, oh, that's. I was wondering if they were hurting. doing that for the sake of the video. Uh, looks like yeah, it looked like it was legit. Up. Turn it left. Oh, it just passed me. It's no, no, oh, I see. I'm trying to get a heads up. Probably watching our stream. Maybe we flash just a bit. Uh, I don't know. Hope not. Go the green. It's pretty nice. It, no, that's how it goes. Hey, we need to escort, you know? Take us yeah. to, to the native. We're really close to the police down here. So, we always talk to us about forecasts and stuff. They have escorted us to tornadoes. I'm surprised they haven't escorted you guys to tornadoes. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Payton Fox, no. Storm Chaser Chad, you guys are blowing up. No. I had, I did think about, or I had thought about getting those uh, reflective decals on the side of my truck. Yeah. So that way, if I'm out chasing by chance, then, you know, some be like, go Storm Chaser Chad, and they look it up. Oh, subscribe. Mm -hmm. You know, free advertising. Yes, sir. Nope. Gotta go, guys. It's yellow. Be dangerous Eight. to stop right there. Point of no return. Point six, I would take good. All right. Sorry. I have to just say this because this is random. Uh, West Monroe Rebels, the team down there, shot a show on ESPN with them. They're great guys. Shelby, all those guys. Uh, Dijon, Don, hope you guys are well if you're watching and hope you're safe today. No, it's just no. I just know that they're trying to, they are trying to get up there, which I totally understand and I support. But 
the storm chase is kind of like poker, you know, anybody can really get a tornado in a day. But, I mean, you can't, can't beat the dealer. Yeah. <laughs> is this the dealer of Mother Nature? I think so. I mean, I would almost classify you as the dealer. No way. <laughs> you, you are the, the creator. Chris Moneymaker. I'm Scotty Wynn. Scotty Wynn. Oh, it's Scotty Wynn. Yeah, old school. Did they make... Never mind. Scotty Wynn. They... My roommates, uh, Aaron Rupert and we went when poker was exploding like in the early 2000s. They went professional. Really? Yeah. World Poker Tour. Yeah. Like we're playing like 15 tournaments at the same time. I was playing 15 tournaments at the same time. But they're all really good at mathematics too. But... By a motion, I got the way. It's kind of a perpetual loser. My, my gambling side would take over. Yeah, I just go all in every time. It's <laughs> like, my, call me. It's like, is, is, Par Par is, is Par Aces good? I, 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 can't, I can't tell. Is it good or bad? But I'm always bad. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't hide a poker face very well. My face gets all flustered. And I'm like, <clears throat> Um, I'll, I'll, I'll call. No. All right, 2.5 miles. We're still dropping south, right? Look at all the instability of the Delta. Wow, setting up out there. South, everybody, to the main target. Now near Alexandria. Near Pollock right now. There's a couple of storms south of that, too. We'll probably end up getting them near Clark's. I can see near Clark's, Louisiana. About the halfway to North Dakota. It might turn right a little too. Uh, once you get to Columbia, there is a east route in case if we need to get around. It's a beautiful river. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last uh, Monroe tornado I rode out in the uh, parking garage right there. So you rode it out in there? Yep. Did you see it? Uh, it was rain wrap, but pretty sure it was more of a bird fart at the time yeah. because. It planted further I know about south. Is that 2021? Yes, yeah. And um, I think it was EF2 yeah. or somewhere. It literally will will cross the path up here in a minute. Yeah, I remember that one. And um, Could you see it? No. Uh, wind picked up pretty pretty nicely, but like I said, it may have been a little bird for it at the time. But as soon as it passed, I started getting back in to try to follow it and um, came across the damage path up here on the loop had a uh, entire power pole literally across the interstate so pretty much ended it but and then went to uh back in the neighborhood and helped a couple of neighbors move some debris off of their driveway and stuff so that was my experience with this one thanks for that sound bite thanks for that sound let me think these go tornadic. 25 minutes. Yeah. Maybe Winsboro. Yeah, in Columbia, we could easily go east to Winsboro. Yeah. East drops in Columbia. The sign there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Columbia. Okay. Yes. Sign them right on the path. Just to keep that in this top shot. Play. Sorry, I might talk too much. Or see no. the I might just be doing this for the next eight to twelve hours. <laughs> no, I, I tried. That's my last video. I, I could swear I was talking way too much and had maybe five ten minutes of action. Then it's me yeah. talking, talking, talking. But uh, yeah. Put, uh, Here's the instability down there. Love that sky. 75 degrees here. I hate the sky back behind us. So we went through all up to Vicksburg. It's happening, everybody. I know there's probably a lot of doubters thinking this is not going to happen, but these Dixie Alley events still always seem to happen during the magic hour.
you know, Denise can be this one. I always get that doubt that maybe it's like really bad. Tornado warning still for just south of the Little Rock Metro that includes East End and Wrightsville. Woodson getting your safe place. Radar indicated. Near Bryant moving northeast at 50. Ours are still severe. Storm north of Ruston is trying to rotate. Can you see it? Oh. Yeah, it's probably just that crap. I think it'd be almost not super silent. It's possible that storm north of Ruston could end up producing maybe from Vienna up toward Bastrop, but it might just be a little bit too stable still there. That's a good call, Chris. I think coming to Monroe is a good call. How did that storm look? Uh, severe thunderstorm warning now goes from Vienna to Sterlington. A bit new MB out for our storms. Includes Greenville. Tornado risk will gradually increase. Several tornadoes, some strong to intense, are possible. Tornado watch needed in 30 to 60 minutes. Ooh. It's about to begin. <laughs> Yeah. Hints. New meso scale discussion just got issued. It's probably going to be a PDS. They want to just go to straight to Winsboro, but we're still going to go to Columbia anyway, just for the hell of it. Let's go south of Jackson. Damn. Might get you know, some storms emerging in with a. There's a renegade south of Jackson that's severe. It's a little bit of a cluster around it, but. Uh, all the stuff there. Some of the terrain. That new mesoscale discussion that came out, Brian, check that out. Basically extends from those storms near Gina, down to Alexandria, that cluster that's moving northeast up toward Winsboro, eventually up toward Vicksburg too. Maybe we should just go to Winsboro. <laughs> just worried that they're moving so fast. But that's the easiest way to get there. Look at that large MD. And those storms out near Alexandria are moving into it. These are probably going to be the eventual storms of the next 30 to 60 minutes that produce. And there's the mesoscale discussion. It goes from Clarksdale down to west of Jackson. And you also got this renegade that is conveniently just outside of the MD. You know, if they drew, drew, that, drew that on purpose, there's your severe thunderstorm. <laughs> See that? Yeah. You think that was done on purpose? That's definitely the event. Man, you can see it all happen. See how this stuff is just getting choked on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think we made the rock go start to head south instead of staying the or going further north. Chris said it was a clean base. The base is flat. A couple minor lowerings here and there. It wasn't studied on its own. Maybe it was more of a shelf, it sounds like. As long as we didn't miss it. This other one has a special weather stamp on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Reed was just mentioning the mesoscale discussion. Um, you could see on, uh, excuse me. I'm lost here. No. Okay, so here's the mesoscale discussion. You can see this has just come out. It is in the uh, area where we are and where we're headed. Um, it says supercell tornado threat will gradually increase during the next couple of hours. A tornado watch is likely in the next 30 to 60 minutes. Um, and I believe this is, just, you know, at the very southern end of that, you see that Alexandria. That's the cell that they were looking at. That's obviously that's moving northeast now. Um, but just showing you guys what that is, this is a mesoscale discussion. It's kind of what happens before warnings come out. Um, summary, the supercell tornado risk will gradually increase over the next couple of hours across portions of the lower MS Valley. Several tornadoes, some strong to intense, are possible. A tornado watch will be needed, will be needed in the next 30 to 60 minutes. Um... Just sharing that to let you guys know what Reed meant by a mesoscale discussion. And yes, things are escalating. Man, I slept in this room again. They have one of those in years. Probably oh, don't need to overeat those, but I'll still have another one. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, give me a blockage. A blockage? Nah. He's got protein. It'll help you. Try it. You know? No. It was no scramble. Just all of you. I don't know. Trying to get in front of you. Trying to dominate before us. I'll see if they actually look. Okay, good. No. Too busy talking. I might have just got excited for what they were talking about with the cell phone. <laughs> that laughing gas. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that with the brakes more than the gas. I actually hit the brake, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You would have down south. You see that? Let's look it up right now. New Bezel Scale discussion. Those perceived issuance of a watch, and sometimes they just discuss kind of the Bezel Scale situations that are happening, but tornado watch is possible. New tornado watch for a bunch of the water risk areas. Is it a PBS? No. The high end probabilities? Oh, yeah. yes. All, all, all across the board. Tornado, CF2, severe wind. It's not a PBS, but high end probabilities of all Okay. It's our watch, isn't it? Yep. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. New tornado watch. Faked until 12 a.m. It's not a PDS, but it is a high across the boards, all across. EF2 higher, great tornadoes, severe winds. And that is for much of the moderate risk area and a little bit up into Tennessee where the enhanced risk is also. But that is our new tornado watch until that, midnight. Does that include Memphis? Yes, that does include Memphis. Yeah. Film focus. And Jackson. All of them. New tornado watch till midnight.
right, so we got a new tornado condition with high end probabilities, and we are going to head toward Winsboro to stay ahead of this cluster of storms. The one over Alexandria now has a special weather statement. Seventy-eight. You see that? It's like raining in at seventy-eight at the same time. And their Palmerville one is still Farmerville one is still, still trying to spin. Look at it. Yeah. But still, it's probably not the right mode. We definitely want these storms. South South of Alexandria still is lightning is increasing a little bit. Yeah, these ones we left just don't, don't want to be super silent. They may never be until they hit the Mississippi River. Yeah, a lot of lightning in the southern area. Needs to clear out some of those other stuff. Target storm, everybody, still south of Alexandria, where we're heading. So you work at the tire place? Is that easy? Yes, sir. Uh, pretty much inspect tires. Uh, any kind of defects on it, determine if it needs to be glimmed, scrap, or if we can repair it, sell it. Talk about how long have you done that? A year and two months now. You like it? It's not bad. I mean, it, it, Keeps the wife happy so she can be able to buy groceries and go shopping, afford expensive purses, the Louis Vuitton, good God. Nice. Kids, plenty of toys. How long you guys have married? Uh, this, actually, this November will be 10 years. Wow. Happily, happily, happily married. And she supports me doing storm chasing. That's why I'm pursuing it. Hopefully, can make a uh, full time. Oh yeah, job out of it, career, well on the way. Taking it one step at a time, one chase at a time. Now those are fluffing out down there, Alexander, aren't they? I wonder if we need to turn around. <laughs> Why don't the tail up there? These triple R's, I mean, it still shows that shows those all of these still all the way up until... Yeah, right there. that's what we want right there, right in that slider. Storms that we're on yeah. start maturing, yeah, get up to that 20 at the Mississippi River, and then just boom. finally get there. Yep. Yeah. 
just needs a little bit more time to mature. It's like in Winsboro, it keeps a little, yeah, keep us a little northeast of that stuff. Just let it mature. It doesn't look like a tornado's in there right now. No, uh, it's about to just get it. Got 11 miles of turning left. It's like maybe a little base in front of us. Is that a little elevated soft base? Probably this stuff, but yeah. It's tough to chase down here, isn't it? Dixie is uh, a whole new ballpark. Bobbler is going to do this the whole time. It should produce. It should hit the wind chair. Produce. Or if there's a fan profile on Alexander. We're going to autumnsky.us. You can look at fan photographs on the radar site if you want. What'd you say? Autumnsky.us. Pick up the photograph section. The skies are getting away from the mountains for sure. There are soft updraft bases that you're seeing. Now this is a prefrontal that feels like clouds and clear. Just on the main homepage. Yeah, we go to Autumn Sky, uh, get BWP photographs in the second tab. And then it'll give you the radar sites. Trying to rotate back there, they're burying. Should be the so. Yeah, I think I click on Fort Polk radar and it should pull it up. Uh, I've got a single bar, so it's. Oh, no, that's me. Is that you? Did you make that voice? Oh my gosh. It sounded like it was coming from way far away. Now it's your, your, your car squeaking back here. Make some noise. <laughs> Not my car. Bye.
I love the Delta. Beautiful terrain of the Delta. Love Chase of Western Kansas. So I just click on it or I think there might be a tornado south of Jackson. No. This is super south. Yeah, that one is tall. Good instability down there. Just got to get that left exit. It's possible these northern ones could be the ones that go. So they get up here first. Here if we go to Greensboro, we'll maybe give them an opportunity to just to chill there. And then if we need to go back, put us in the I like it a lot. Thank you, new Team Dominator members. The most badass community in weather. Storm Chaser Chad is on Team Dominator now, officially. Woo! Let me get you your lapel. Check it off the bucket list. Milestone Breach. You play video games? Oh, yes. We started on video games. We're pretty good at it. What game are we talking about? Video games? Well, what game are we talking about? Are you good at video? Sure. What's your best game? I like Apex. Um, a lot of first person shooters. Call of Duty, mm, uh, hit and miss. Uh, I like uh, RPGs, gaming and little RPGs. Play any storm chasing games? Uh, yeah, storm chasers. Uh, what's that new one on uh, Roblox? Is it actually pretty fun? It's not bad. I mean, it, it, it actually kind of surprised me that, you know, the doms are in there, or people, the community have created dominators in you. And um, if you have friends to play with, I mean, yeah, you can you deploy sensors. If he gets inside, you earn cash to get vehicles and stuff. That's what my, my community is trying to get me into, is to play Roblox, but moving in the process and trying to get the internet. Don't step on the brakes. You see a cop just that off. Oh, the guy in right. front of me. Oh, oh, yeah, that one. Oh, oh, he looked. He looked. I know, I'll stare at him. Stare at him. Who is he staring at? You. Really? Zoom I don't know. There he is watching our stream. You know, oh, they're on the read. Yeah. They're not speeding. Good. Three and all over the speed limit. So one thing I do like about the Louisiana highways is the speed limit's like 65, 70. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I think they're actually coming out with a, uh, a new game outbreak or something. Yeah, I've been working with those guys a little bit. Really? Uh, the storm's starting to blossom a little bit. I'm starting to feel the wind chill, I think. Gonna take a left up here, half mile to Winsboro. Winsboro, Winsboro, get a little closer to the Delta, a little better area, even better terrain. Yes, correct. It's a light. It wants to blow the whole jacket up, so it's going to happen so fast. I've seen it so many times. A lot of times you're chasing in the southern high plains, you know, and you're on the stone all day, and then suddenly just bam, what's that little jet kicks in? Base drops, all cloud tornado. Well, I'll help that usually gets me. Uh, I'll stay with the storm that finally, like, you know, it's not going to do anything. I'll leave it. As soon as I leave it, drops a tornado. I'm like, Okay, well, hopefully the storm that I go to, and as I'm leaving that storm to go to the next one, it starts dying or dissipating. Like, uh, well, it's just not my day. Uh, I'll find a hell core and just ride it out. 
those old school chasers a lot of times since they didn't have data and weren't aware of other storms they would just ride a rotating storm all the way until it's done and just be out of one storm the whole chase so even when they get access to data their instinct is still just to stay with one storm the whole yeah. time because that's how they chased now the newer chasers just hop in storms all over the place more data driven i think which really definitely advantages to all of them and also patience. You get tired of one storm, like, oh, this one's in favorable area. This one's further south. Start chasing that one. The next one blows up. Oh, oh let's drop this one. You know, yeah. Just gotta stay with it. Just give it some time. I'm not sure about these storms. I don't look great. I think once they get closer to the mountain, they should work. It's weird that there are so messy, such a messy storm. What's it happens here? Six, seven, five. Wow. So what's what would be the difference in chasing here in Louisiana versus like in Oklahoma. What Brian asking that? Yes. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm literally like, how do I explain this? It's, yeah. I mean, it's we're just in the trees down here. It's Dixie Alley versus the plains, open area versus trees, swamp. I don't know if that plays anything. I know. I heard the jungle. Know, yeah, no, that. Oh, I love how you like. Brian, did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here in the Delta, though, it's like Oklahoma. There's really no difference between Oklahoma and the Plains. Western Kansas and the Delta, Mississippi River Delta is fantastic terrain. <laughs> Some of the best anywhere, right? Let me know here. The Delta near the Mississippi Delta, like right in the once actual you get closer Delta. To, yeah, once you get closer to the Delta, it flattens out. But the center right, yeah, around Indiana, outside of the Delta, it just it's nothing but trees, and that's your basically like chasing in you know east texas it's nothing but trees and tiny totally woods the piney woods yeah oh here's not bad though we're getting close for the delta it's kind of more like eastern kansas out here i would say eastern kansas maybe a little missouri vibe in this it's starting to open up look at the terrain out here it's perfect for air drone yeah. That Mississippi one's eventually going to produce. All depends on if the wind shear is strong enough, I guess. Yeah, that's I do kind of miss the old school days sometimes. So you're so looking at radar, you're streaming, you feel the need to keep talking to the screen, but kind of just going out there playing Foursquare and driving into a tornado, most of the video, and go to sleep. Just, just hoping for the best. Yeah. That's why I'm trying. I'll, I'd, I'd like to get, you know, somebody with me that you know can do the videoing while I'm focusing on just chasing. Yeah. So I don't have to stop. You know, oh, I got to put down radar real quick, get the camera, do this. Yeah, I'm super south south in Jackson is nuts. Why is that just so rooted and like mature that everything else is just a bubble? I was trying. You're definitely not just rocketing it. Something's missing. It looks like it's trying to anchor. Ours is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I liked it a lot better when they first fired. Actually, what we're heading into now, looking directly towards it. I have a base, let's see. It's got a base! I'm starting to feel good, man. 
I just said something just like the last five minutes. It's going to pretty quick. Start getting closer to the storm. You're getting, in yeah. your, you're getting into your tier 15 mile radius yeah. of a storm. Yeah. Saw confused until then. These special understatement down in Allen's anchor is here. It's not really sure why. I was about to say, I don't see it even. Yeah. What do we got? Let me get, let me get. Slow burn. Shower. Yeah. It's a shower here now off to our north. Headed up toward Winsboro. Starting to get interesting in the back behind. Here. I feel like everything's about to uptick, don't you? You can kind of feel that too, that little bubble in your tummy. 78. Just don't feel the atmosphere. Uh, just, it's in the air. It's breaks in the cloud over here. You yeah. can see all the way up. Look at the blue sky. Yeah. Wow. Good eye. There we go. Super. Very, very good sign. We're clearing out, everybody. We got blue skies above. Moisture feeding in south to north. Low level dead increasing. Shit's about to hit the fan. Literally. Good tornado warning south of Little Rock. Good morning, South of Carthage. It's a look incredibly potent. It's have some potential near Ryzen. It's headed toward Ryzen, eventually headed up toward Pine Bluff. And then this storm south across the eventually does produce. This might take a long time. Radar indicated. More lightning on our storm. It's trying to. Yeah. Seventy PS getting free memberships. Welcome all new team dominator members. Okay, it's starting to get in a little difficulty. Stealthy PS, huge, as always, a, a captain of the Team Dominator, uh, always helping us out. We really appreciate it. And we hope that uh, all you new Team Dominator members, um, courtesy of Stealthy PS, uh, we hope you guys yeah, start using the emojis, start learning what they're, uh, what they're about. Each of them have special meaning to us. Um, the yellow rocket that I just sent, that's, uh, that's built, that's made, uh, designed exactly after the rocket that these guys shot into, uh, the tornado in Kansas that Reed did a scientific paper on, um, the bear, bear cage. That's, uh, that's when you're very close to the tornado, uh, inside the curtain. That's the bear's cage. Obviously we got the dominator. 
We got Reed's, uh, we got all Reed's uh, crazy sunglasses and mustache, and it looks like the signal's back, and we're starting to get into the rain. So here we go. A little bit of sprinkle shower you look here. Yeah. starting to show. Look at those pinks. It's brighter. Right there. We're going to have to go up to Delhi, I think. Right away, because it's not going to mature before it hits us. It's moving fast. It's starting. Finally. Tunnels down here, Dixie. Spraying the old road zone. Yeah, south of Ottawa. Oh, yeah. Looks like they're just starting to come out here. Not a lot of lightning. Now we turn left and then head up to Winsboro. Winsboro. Did you say Winsboro or Winsboro? Winsboro. Winsboro. Are you a University of Texas fan? Arkansas. Oh, good. I like Arkansas. Good. Good. Oh, big. Too. Born and raised in Texas, but I'm a Hawks fan. Don't ask how it happened. Darren McFadden and all those guys up there. Yeah, Felix Jones. Uh, Gus Belzon is the only guy into it. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, quarterback, Matt Hill with the McFadden. Yeah, what was his name? Riser or something? Riser? Mm -hmm. Did he go to the NFL too? Yeah, he uh, he was behind Tom Brady, but never played. He was just more or less, you know, backup, backup. I know what you're talking about. Um, what was his high school quarterback too, right? Yep, for Arkansas. Uh, God, thank sweet. you, Darren. Thank you, Darren, for your support. Our storm is now just now starting to organize. But yeah, it does have a lot of convection immediately off it to its south too, but we're probably going to have to rock it up to Winsboro and then up to Delhi. 
that the outbreak's about to begin. Though I've said that in all day today. I've already had several tornado warnings up in Arkansas. No signals are killing me. It's Ryan down here, South Bala. It's a little flow on it, maybe. See if we can that stands out there, you know, bright colors. You can probably tap into that. All right, a uh, bit of a tough area. They may be coming back, but you saw that Reed was starting to look at this feed, the reflective error, I'm sorry, the velocity feed. Um, and for those of you who are new, which is great, we have a bunch of new folks on the stream right now. A uh, quick breakdown of the velocity uh, feed uh, because it's gonna be important over the next few hours. Um, imagine air is just moving this way. And the radar kind of divides air into um, things that's moving towards the radar and things that are moving away from the radar. So you can see this, the green side, it's moving towards this radar. This is the radar right here. Now there's too much, uh, there's too many flashing lines on the screen. Let me, here's the radar. Here's kind of the dividing line. This is going towards the radar. This is going away from the radar. Red is going away from the radar. So if we're on uh, this side of the radar and we see some little red spots, that means that there's some air going towards the radar, but also some going away from the radar. So that means that there could be circulation. That's called a couplet. Um, and that's what we were talking before about the, the one of the special emojis we set, we have represents that thing called the couplet. Uh, but this feed is going to be more and more. Um, you're probably going to see this more and more over the next couple of hours uh, as little crazier storms start to go up. Stand by one second here. Clear. Clear. Turn off the highlighter. There we go. Um, this is the kind of regular feed that you might see on the news. Guys are back. Nope. Almost. Maybe not. Uh, this is the feed that you'll see on your normal feeds. If we zoom out, we could see yellow boxes these are the severe thunderstorm warnings this red box is a tornado warning we think we're going to see a lot more yellow and red boxes down in this area in the next few hours here we go we're back in mississippi kind of east warnings. Of here. <laughs> yeah it's weird Not quite back yet. <clears throat> We're not at four thousand likes yet. Really? Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Likes really do help. Likes give more recommendations, and we get a you know it. it everything helps uh, us to keep improving things here. The echo tops of our target storm approaching from the southwest. That's a sign of stronger updraft strength. Jumping back in again until they they stabilize. You can see this is what Reed is talking about right here. They were they're in Winsboro, so they're like right here. They're looking at this target storm right here, and he was just looking at Echo Tops, the thing that we were talking about before that shows how tall a storm is, and this storm is getting tall. Let's see if we can 
No. Seem to take a lunch. Okay, so the, the storms are now ramping up as expected. This chase is really just getting started here. So uh, thank you guys for riding along. Let's get this to 4,000 likes. It's going to help us out. And let's um, let's keep you briefed on what's going on until they fully come back here. This is what they were talking about. This is what we're looking at. Echo Tops, this is the storm we are really watching. We can also see what the lightning is doing on it here with this feed. Um, a lot of times you'll see the lightning start to ramp up as, as storms are starting to get supercellular as they're getting, or as they're getting stronger and stronger as supercells. Here we go. The guys are back. Is there any kind of discussions on it or just that empty? A lot of inflow. Even a little bit of a lot of inflow into it. Even this one down here is trying, you know. Down there. Okay. Watch out long term. Greenville crossing storm could easily head toward Greenville and cause big problems to it by all Texas. Some tornado work. Yeah. South of Braxton. No. Look at that. Nice. Is there a confirm? Radar indication rotation. Radar indicated tornado. Well, radar indicated rotation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heading up toward Mendenhall. Yeah. Yeah, Mendenhall, get your safe place. Tornado warning has been issued. And uh, Puckett, Braxton, just to the south of y'all. Poolville, no, well, Polkville. Polkville, yeah. All y'all are in the tornado warning. Damn. That is, I mean, you just look at that and it's just, that is mean. Low level jets increasing. That was my target area, I tried to tell you. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> jump, jump out just, right now. I'm just kidding, jeez. Uh, Our storm's gonna go bad. Okay. I never would have picked that far. I, I still would have stuck right around Monroe. Yeah, there's a new MD out for that storm. A couple of supercells could mature over the parts of South Central Mississippi over the next hour or two, posing an increased tornado threat. Loosely organized supercell. The storm is evolving along the eastern edge of the warm sector, slightly south of an east-west oriented marine front. Well done. Well done, the discussion. Big fan of it. Everybody there, southeast of Jackson, Mendenhall, get in your safe place. Damn, blue sky, it's amazing. Mm. See an anvil or anything behind us? No? <laughs> behind us? Yeah, behind kind us. of from the storm behind us, streaming over top. I don't think we'll do it now. We might be doing some north of us. Oh, we should be getting in right here. <laughs> yeah, we're in the front. It's a nice storm to be front. I think you are right about the other storms dying down. Yeah. The past few scans, it seems like everything's kind of fading, but this one keeps getting a little bit. Yeah, it's that meteor cyclone. here. It's definitely a missile cyclone. Over a little bit of kind of on the tail end of that storm. Just got to clear that stuff to the east of it.
Coming into Winsboro. Watch out for that storm heading into Mendenhall. Thing looks nasty. Could easily even produce a strong tornado potentially, depending on what the wind shear is like. But look at that hook. Mendenhall up to low. Going to Dow High and East. <laughs> well, do you want to sit here for a minute? I do, but then the problem is if we let that storm come to us, then we'll have to be playing catch up the whole time. Well, we have a we so. have two different routes. Yeah, the storm moving northeast can either go to Delhi, like you were saying, you gotta go to north. Because I mean, yeah, you're right. See, if we can just kind of have two options: either going this way or this way. I find going to north. To Delhi still? Sure. Or, or just the, the due north option to stay a little closer is good too. How about for either of those? Just figure if it matures, it'll probably turn right. Let's just stick with the Delta. We'll just we'll okay. stay this way. Because if you, I mean, if you are right and it turns right, then we're well, going to be behind not it too much because it's going so fast. But, uh, even staying on the Delta. Yeah, route, it's headed it's, right at Delta. Yeah. Right. And two will be on the yeah. right flank of it. I'm almost positive it's going to follow that on this highway. Highway 17? Yeah. So even if we had to stop for a minute and throw up the drone, we could easily do oh, that yeah. for a minute? Yeah, for as soon as it has a tornado on the ground. That one headed into Mendenhall doesn't seem to have incredibly tight rotation. It might be kind of feeling the effects of the margin of instability, but it sure could produce as that low-level jet increases. There's the rotation. Mendenhall, get in your safe place. Mendenhall, Mississippi. Tornado warning. Absolute renegade out there. I mean, look at that. South of Braxton. Braxton, you're right in the forward flank downdraft. Big hook coming in to Mendenhall. South of these ice winds. Okay. Frick yeah! <laughs> you, you knew where I was going with it. You knew where I was going with Frick it. Frick yeah! Uh, Let's get the environment inside, got a Jackson. It's right, actually three hundred zero to one. It's right on the boundary. So yeah, that storm in Jackson definitely has tornado potential. Maybe even a strong tornado or two. Here's this general belt of 300 shear, and then it increases where you get less instability up into southeastern Arkansas. This general area, as it shifts northeast, this is our game plan, and these storms are developing right there. Also, moving into the good shear. Thank you everybody. Welcome new Team Dominator members. We are just getting started on this. Our plan is to get really close to a tornado. I'm going to knock Chad's socks off on this one. That's the game plan. We've guaranteed survival though. I've guaranteed both of us will survive. Or not so much. But we're still going to strive to allow the car to survive. That's oh, key. Yeah. I mean, you want to try. Long, you don't as long as you know, just able to drive regardless of condition to get to my truck, you know? Good. Are you just an expert? Can you change your tire in like five seconds? Like mid style? I can tell you if the tire's good or not. If it blow out, I can tell you what probably cost it. I will just sit, stand there and look at it under yeah, but, Hey, um, I think you're gonna need a new tire. That uh, doesn't look good. <laughs> can you fix it? Nope. I'm just gonna have to go buy you a new one. I'll help you change it. Sure. It's like this car has a jack. Sometimes they don't. But we're not getting a flat No. <laughs> Alright, 26 miles up. We're trying to stay ahead of the storm, everybody. Should be in 
Thompson and other fans. I mean, I think that, that storm is still heading toward Mendenhall. Hall. The rotation has increased a little bit. See the velocity on arms? Boom. Starting to wrap up. Yeah. Sure wrapping is. up. All these other Water ones are starting to <laughs> yeah. separate and starting to get, trying to get the street. It the is. street. <laughs> It's happening. It's happening. Tornado. Beautiful. They didn't make it. Right, pull up the way for him, didn't they? Yeah. By the time you turn around, it was good. Yeah. Here's the Mendenhall tornado warning storm. Pretty broad, but it is still tornadic. It has a nice hook on it. Our storm is starting to ramp up significantly. All right, go ahead. Okay. Easy Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to pick. We're going to wrap it up. It's <laughs> trying to do something. Something good. Mm -hmm. Once we get to 920, it'll also be mature enough. There's Ashton. <laughs> Oh, uh, you should notice you. Unless he's trying to get it. Uh, trying to hold up. Yeah, it might take it all the way until the Delta to let you go. Storm uh, southeast of Hamburg in southeast Arkansas is really starting to ramp up. It could develop tornado potential on approach to Montrose and Portland. So watch this storm as that cross it one headed up toward Portland and Montrose. Decent rotation in there and it is in a radar hole. Strong wind shear up there, differential heating. Do you like that storm? Do you have to just rip it? Oh, is that where he's heading? No, he's oh. just, just going to rip it. Oh, okay. This one has a lot of influence. So definitely going to the motions. Right on the southern tip now. Hold on to your butts, here we go. Oh, he's talking to the storm chasers. You just feels great. Oh, is that him? Okay. Legal pass. Yep. Couldn't just be more hailers on here, too. I bet that would produce kind of slide in the wind. I think, still think I want to be on our storm. No, you? Look at that. Uh, I'm still liking the arms. Yeah. Starting to get some good rotation on our storm. Right now on the tail end, look at that. It's moving into that 300, zero to one kilometer shear. A lot of lightning in the inflow zone. Frick, yeah, here we go, guys. 
Say it with me. I say frick. You say yeah, frick. Yeah. yeah. Lightning! Did you see that? No. You didn't see that flash? No. Oh, I heard a freak, yeah, and I looked down and I was like, yeah, and then I'm like, what? I was like, huh? Oh. Could have been a floater, I guess. Is it anything close? I think it works. Yeah, right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, it could have been this and okay, I guess. A couple of good ones. This thing's going nuts. Didn't have this one. It tends to look like it's been dying down, but ours is ramping back up. Storm Southeast of Hamburg at the Best Western. I have some friends there at the Best Western. I think it's going to pass just to your southeast, but it is a dangerous storm. Watch out for that one. Headed up toward Greenville. We need to stop and look at this one. Mm -hmm. Light is scanned. It looks like it's got just a little bit of independent starting to tie down. Yeah. I'm moving too terribly fast either. Is it coming right at us right here too? Yep. It's, it looks like it's more more northerly track to it. Wait, we're trying to hit yeah, it. Going we need to go to east. Uh, get it on 20. Don't you think? It's not coming at us here. No. Oh. <laughs> he got out of his vehicle. Sorry. Change of plans. Yeah. Had a recess. We'll probably turn right, but not a huge amount. Oh, well, it's going to be coming at us. It might be. I know that the line, the vector says no, but look at that. Yeah, hey, let's see. Let's find a. It should follow the. Uh, uh, just right here. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, where is it coming? No, just right here. There's plenty of spots where we can test. Love it. Let's see what we got. Let's... We're watching this, the, the uh, appendage on the backside. Whoa. But we're probably going to have to get going soon because it's moving so fast and it's not mature yet. So we don't want it to blow by. So I'm, I should want it to plant real quick. Yeah. But it may have enough time to mature by the time it does get here. We're probably going to die or just like, thanks, but we'll talk about it. Yeah. Trying, isn't it? Yeah, it looks a little better. I probably don't want to get too far ahead of it in case we probably don't. Yeah. I want to get a that's bit. what I was telling him was, that's why we stopped back yeah, here. I was like, they're blow by us and then plant the F5 just out of range. Oh, that sucks. We have to cross in Vicksburg and it's going to, it's going to cross the river on like Lake Providence. We'll really have to get it up there. You know, that's probably where we have to get it. But we can cross, oh, yeah, there's no crossing. Yeah, we may just want to roll up to Delhi and then evaluate its timing and then even get to Vicksburg and blast north. So, and that makes great to see it. Yeah, I know, but that's more important to get the tornado. So, it probably looks pretty good though. I bet it has a big, big base. You could go, yeah. But it, yeah, the, you have to, you have to well, anticipate. Catch it when it crosses the premises. Well, yeah, but it's moving so fast. We'll have to get there and get northeast. Yeah, but I think that stuff will peter out. Yeah. This is definitely a storm to be on. Yeah. Look at that cross that one. Looks pretty good. No, look, just racing. The last thing I was bleeding. streaming? No, not streaming live filming. Oh, nice. Yeah. I bet that one in the south of Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that one. Okay. The hook on it was pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't think it ever planted. Lost it pretty weak the whole time. Yeah. Well, never tight. It got tight, but never. Yeah. There we go, guys. Yeah, now we're, we're getting the radar hole, too, so we're not even able to see anything on the low levels. You like it? Yeah, it, it'll start to wrap up. I, I, I think we got to get to Delhi and get the time here, too. Yeah. Do we want to get to uh, the. Yeah, get to Delhi. Yeah. Do we want to see it? Delhi and then last one? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe. We'll see how it's doing. Right. If it's looking good, we can. If it's a comparison. Yeah, I'll get to the uh, Delta. I, I do want to see it too. Yeah. 
I know I've no idea. I get a little weird, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Throw a camera in somebody's face. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you're right. Yeah. We just get a release. Well, Walmart was one thing, you know, <laughs> trying to get up. <laughs> oh, that was lightning. That I, t I saw that. Okay, yeah. I saw I saw a flash. Yeah. It's a good so looking store, but I think it'll mature on this eastern edge, like out here. Too much is too far away, but there's another one. There's a gift. But I do like that it's clearing out over here. We got a little bit of blue sky. It's ahead of the storm. What did you stream to? Oh, no. no. radar. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I saw you starting to swerve. Like, wait, you see, oh, did oh, he's he? behind? I don't know. Yeah, you might be. Yeah, it is a little multi-cellular now. I probably won't get going until I hit the dots on the but it's just gradually intensifying. You gotta get in front of the second and all that. Yeah. Tornado warrant, the uh, one for Greenville, Jerome is now tornado warrant near Portland. Not surprised that we knew that one was going through the motions. Right at that river crossing. Jerome, getting to the same place. Jerome, southeast of Hamburg. Man, Portland, getting to your safe place. Portland, Arkansas. Is that what you have on the ground up there? It says radar indicated. Yeah. Something on radar on that too. Oh. <laughs> well, watch out, Portland. Get in your safe place. We've been monitoring that one for a while now. That was the one that was going to rust it. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. It's just now making its way through the motion. Very excited to get it. It's getting flow. Got one too, southeast of Jackson. It's looking a little bit better. It's making another effort. All right, everybody. The next storm to blow up. Got lots of storms. We got the one in the far southeast corner of Arkansas. That's a dangerous one. We got the one southeast of Jackson. And we got this one coming out of central in the northeastern Louisiana. We're going to have to get around the other side of the river. Blast east of Vicksburg and up north. I don't think there's a crossing up there by Providence. Might be. Like there's only two. Yeah. I don't want to keep them laying things for. Gross. We need to have more.
And I went southeast of Jackson's trying to attempt some fun. Right out in front of the instability. Another tornado warning for Clarendon. It's east of Little Rockaways. Bless your heart, jeez. Thank you, sir. I think this area, we see where all the lightning is, is trying to develop a new business cycle under that lightning frequency. I bet the ectotops are highest there. That's where the new um, mesocyclone is going. Yep, you're up. Yeah. Said ours is the next one to go. Yeah, that's right. It is. I agree. Look at all the lightning in the inflow zone of our storm. All kinds of lightning on it. It's headed up toward Delhi, maybe a little west. It's starting to look green out here. Show me love love. I can't afford to stop and go to the bathroom. Yeah, no time. Just wet right yourself. Uh, you can hop in the back seat and, you know, yeah. take a leak. I'll, I'll, I'll drive for a hot minute. I'd shit my pants right now if I had to. I have no problem. I, I would, I would hold mine. I may be over here, you know, trying to, you know, loosen the seat belt, undo the belt, you know, undo the pants. Try to get a little more comfy. You got an oath moment. You can do what you got to do. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, a little spotty. So, while well, it's a little spotty, um, <clears throat> we'll just show this off. So, this is their cell. Um, this is the cell that we're concentrated on here and you can see all this, this is all new lightning and more lightning means more, basically more convection. <clears throat> more lightning is a sign that a supercell is starting to go nuts. Or the thing about this is you got to remember that all these storms are moving at 50 miles an hour and there are roads make problems, right? Especially right here because we have the Mississippi River. So <clears throat> if they're gonna stay with it, they need to make sure they, they go up on 20, take a, you know, look at it again, reassess, and then they'd have to go um, across the bridge. So that's, that's the thing about chasing. You always gotta keep rivers in mind, bridges in mind, limited access everywhere. Um, and this is just, what it's like chasing down in this section in Dixie. Eventually up to Greenville even. It's a pretty dangerous storm headed up in that direction. Six Now this is the I just keep reaffirming myself over and over. No, this is just All right, while they're still in the spotty place, remember they are over here. They're watching this one that is ramping up. Um, and then over here, we have this one with a very, very nasty hook. This is another one of those things that we have that emoji for. Where's that? Anybody knew the emoji I just sent? That's the, uh, it's the emoji for a hook echo. Um, and this is a pretty classic hook. I mean, it's, it's more than classic. It's pretty mean, but it also has kind of, <clears throat> um, I don't know if this is actually a, a hook here. I mean, it is, but, um, all right. 
looking at where we are, this is a tornado warning. <clears throat> Tornado Warren Storm, you can see that it's going to be in Puckett at 642, which is right in one minute here. Uh, we don't know if there's a storm on the ground there, a tornado on the ground there. We can't really tell. Uh, the This says it's radar indicated. But this is like one of those... Renegade cells, as they say. Renegade is, it means it's not really part of the, the, the normal line of where you would expect. It just kind of blew up on its own randomly. This is where we're at. These guys are feeling <clears throat> that they have the right call uh, with each uh, with each passing of the radar scans here. And it looks like they're back, and it does look like they're in a bit of more of an open area here, too. All right, just be better. Just keep on your basket. All right, give us more of an opportunity with it during the daylight at least. Everybody, everybody's converging. Yeah. Driving forever already in the area. Are they chasing together? No, they're separate. Yeah, I think we gotta get across the wilderness. I don't see this happening. Uh, at least we go to Tallulah and check it out. Because then we can, if it produces, we can just rock it north of that road. So you're just sitting there watching it, waiting for it to cross. You just sitting at the river? Uh, no, he's on this storm. Yeah, yeah. probably right there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> There's Brennan right there! Oh, it's giving him the whole Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Hey, he's the whole set radar on Mega Jones. 2.70. Nothing. It's just a little. <laughs> Lake Village, tornado warning continues. And it goes all the way to the Mississippi River. It does not include Greenbelt. In fact, it looks like it might even shoot a little north. It is starting to rotate stronger. It's starting to get a bit more. Ours? Yeah, but it's still disordered. Yeah. It's fighting for our updrafts, but once that happens, you know. I'm the basket on the highest I can tell. So let's see. Everything's still just radar indicated rotation, no confirmed tornadoes. That's the Jackson Storm, still tornado one, it's got a nice little coupling on it, just over bucket, literally on top of y'all. If y'all are not in your safe shelter, y'all need to be now. It is on top of you. Tracking back up into it's this other one. Let's see what velocity scans are. Looks like it's already outside of the tornado warning zone. Yeah. Now it looks like it's going to Rose, uh, Rosedale, Bennett. That area should be probably tornado warning. It's severe thunderstorm warned right now. And I'm the way, assuming they're waiting for Jackson to maybe issue the tornado warning, maybe out of their coverage area. But it is severe thunderstorm warning. Send the yellow box on it. Yeah. But I imagine they will overlay it with the tornado warning. Ours is still kind of a multi-cellular cluster. 
It's got a little donut hole. The one up north? Yeah, yeah we're still sitting. Yeah, blue north in the city. Found a big gecko. Mates, need a great order. Right here. There's just this little video pocket. Thanks, Brian. Ashton took a dump at the grocery store back there, got behind us, and now he's in the front again. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> hey, you gotta go and you gotta go. Almost to This is 20 right here. Probably should stop here and make our call. I think we gotta get across the river though. Do we? Yeah. Those things to this gas station. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It gets our gas. Sure. I'll talk it off. Really quick though, right? Yep. We may not even have time. I'll take your hand to go to yeah. that next one. So good at the top. I don't need it necessarily. But you can at least decide. I think we got to get across the river, though. Let's get across the river. Sorry, guys. This thing's not anywhere close to producing. Storm Chasing 101 is getting in front of it. That's <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, I guess we got to cross the river now because our storm isn't organizing incredibly fast. We are getting a lot of lightning up here, but we're going to try to get way forward on the other side of the river now and use the river crossing get in front of this door. Like a route to Bowling Ford? Sure. It's <laughs> right up there. Still looks better on your right now. You and Jackson? Yes. I like Jackson. Let's have that flow back here, though, still. So. I think I kind of move it more right, isn't it? Huh. Can I turn it right? Let's get down somewhere west where they went to law. Might be getting a more proper store motion. I think that's what it needs. A little bit east to northeast. They're going to produce. Storms are huge, but plus the green zone will not bring any incredibly strong color. Elevated. Super Bowl. Oh. 
It's still going strong a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's right. landing. It just, uh, just looks pretty on radar. Yeah. Still 76. Remarkable stuff. Michael Tom's are collapsing under a storm. Scan, but maybe it'll transfer over this more. I think it looks like ass. Major storm bubble. It's last the things here. Yep. Coming into the Delta where it's a little I guess. Low level jet just break, and I think everything starts to turn into this. Storm is going in the direction of the ants, you see. Long term. Yeah, the last one that uh, was trading with the Yasu, we were going, but it just had a, a massive lowering. They didn't really drop anything. I remember that. Did the rumbles produce? It got close. It had some pretty rapid motion in it. Of course, he uh, wanted to deploy the drone. It's one of his little mini drones. And uh, I was like, I don't think we have time. These storms are moving 40, you know, 45 miles an hour. It won't do but just a minute. Of course, you get out, have to, you know, set it and stuff like that. And I was like, it's it's already way ahead of us. And then we're trying to play catch up and just never could. So we went back to Camp Mississippi. And then there was another storm that came through. And um, we just kind of chased that. And, much college quits and that. For those that, what did not happen in that thing? They all end up producing? No, uh. They went off the hard face. I would say there was maybe a tornado or two. But I think that was further like a, like a yeah. gradient or some place. Uh, Right along the uh, Mississippi Alabama line. Right now we're just letting our storm breathe. We're blasting east and then we're gonna go north. Maybe eventually in the direction of Yazoo City. Must have Greenville, north of Lake Village, still warned. 
If you live in that rural terrain north of Lake Village, get in your safe place. Very fast moving supercells up there. Tons of lightning. Start losing some of its reflectivity. Even with radar stuff, you look at yeah. And right at the river. I hit my back at the door. Did you be there when that happened? Right in my spot. This this thing today. Who was this? Just before you arrived that day. Oh, okay. So I don't remember seeing smack your back. Tom's back here now. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, eventually. Just, I can saw it for just now. Yeah, it hit the ball right in the spine. Uh, right in the middle. That's the tip of the door, you know. My wife, she uh, smacked her head on the, uh, her, uh, what do you call the, that hatch? Yeah. Like hatch, I guess. Yeah. She opened it up, and I guess she turned before it was completely opened up all the way and smacked right there. Got a big old gash in her forehead. Did she have to get stitches? Thankfully not. Uh, she was worried for the longest time, and I just kept pressure on it and took it off and, you know, watched it. And, Thankfully, it kind of healed itself up, but for a moment, I was like, I'm going to have to go get some stitches. I don't want to go get this. I don't like needles. No, I know, but this is your forehead we're talking about. I don't want no scar. Well, it makes for a funny story. I was trying to get some groceries out of the car, and what'd you do? You smacked me. I did that when I was trying to deploy a probe on a tornado. It started bleeding everywhere. It was up in uh, Saskatchewan in 2012, July 4th. Big, or white, powerful tornado, but it was a rope, bright white coming out of us. And 
we're trying to deploy our RC vehicle to it. I opened the Lexan hatch and slammed into a, a Wimax hatch. I thought you were about to say the the windshield explode and cut your eye. No. I just was bleeding everywhere and there was a tornado on the ground and we just kept going and put duct tape on it and then I passed out of the hotel bed all over the hotel bed and went to the doctor the next day. Stitches, steroids. You have house cleaning coming in. Oh my god! Yeah, I should get gas here. Just keep going. Uh, I'm gonna get gas real quick. Might be easier to fix for it though. Start with a little better. Is it really talking about the egg on the top is getting bigger on the back side? Give a tornado warning! And wow, that's a Shelby, that's a Duncan. Are you ready to be equal? This one, this one, this one, probably got about two. They look a little cold to me. What do you think? It just looks like a ball. Yeah, not this. Most dogs have been a blob the whole time, it seems. Starting to ramp up though. Better storm routes and wind flow just as they're crossing the Mississippi River and just south of Arkansas City. We really need it. It's Mississippi. Thank you so much, Wayne Stewart. Glad you're enjoying the stream upgrades. Thank you so much. We're just getting started here. Want to get all chasers out here, kind of rebuild the old TDN Live platform. And launch it through YouTube and other social media platforms too. All in the theme of never stop chasing. Probably be going for another five, seven hours here tonight. Fifteen miles from Vicksburg now. We have no choice but to assemble the A team for this zero tornado event so far. Big old, some big old F on the chest. Yeah, that one is actually tightening up now, just south of Arkansas City. Might be about to produce northwest of Metcalf, right as it's approaching the, as it's passing the river. South of Arkansas City, west northwest of Metcalf. It has a TDS. It might. It actually might have one on the ground. Probably not, but it could be. It's right where it should be, you know? Might be a tornado on the ground across the Mississippi River south of Arkansas City. It's got a little donut hole. It's difficult to tell for sure. Still radar indicated, but, you yeah. know. Definitely some lower correlation values, but it's so far away from the radar, you just can't tell for sure. Right, 
This is starting to look better again. This is passing towards the Del High. Once it absorbs those cells, it should go. I think what's across the top of Mississippi is yes. you're seeing what's happening up on the Arkansas City Store. Now, once all these cells kind of merge in with it, okay. it'll be all by itself. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you're going to be needing that search and rescue bag too later on tonight. Let's think it's going to be those long track nocturnal tornadoes. Worried about it. Hopefully not, but. We had to do that to our gas in the city. Hey, look at that little scud bob just right up the road. Literally just a little deal. Just nothing. Nothing. It's gonna go. Just on. Playing the scan and ramped up again. Here's our target, everybody. I know we just keep rehashing this over and over again all day long. It's exhausting, but this is our storm, and it's probably going to produce. We're just getting across the river first, and then we go north. Hey, guys. So you heard what Reed was saying. They are uh, they're at the river right here. They're on 20. They are um, in Vicksburg. This is their target storm. Uh, it is continuing to ramp up each time. Um, it has been a, a, a long ramp, but it, it is getting stronger. <clears throat> and so again, they needed to negotiate the river first. So once they uh, cross the river, which they're doing now, they could start to head north because as we animate this, you can see that this is it's moving at 50 miles an hour to the northeast. So we got to get cross the river and then start shooting north to be in position uh, for the time when they think that this is going to start producing. All right, we got an audio issue. Um, let's see what else, uh, what else is uh, going on around the region here. <clears throat> this is the same storm that was there before. It's still got a pretty massive, just weird, crazy hook here. This is a strange tornado warning. It's a strange shape here, too. Um, this is the one that was outside of Jackson before. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, uh, and it started moving over, and the guys have become, the guys are back. Is on camera. Hello? Reboot. Thank you. Um, okay, so here we are again at Vicksburg. This is our cell, the one that's outside of Rayville. It's moving northeast at 50, uh, and the guys are going to cross. They're going to start to head north, and as we zoom out, we, st we still see that this is, has a severe warning. This has a tornado warning on it. And these up here, and the guys are officially back now for real this time. Yep. Gotta get the new battery on. All it was, not to make it to the wind and just yet.
and skip that bug. I was just, I was just about to point it out. Like Providence, yeah, even, even <clears throat> Rolling Fork. <clears throat> yeah, that's where we're headed, right? Yeah. Did it get there in time? I mean, we're almost to Vicksburg, and it's just a straight shot north. Let me see how far it is from Rolling Fork from Vicksburg. Uh, Minutes. That's from Big Spur to Rolling Fork. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fits. I got you. You do you. Set your Christmas trophy. Yep. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Thank you. I don't think I'm going to move over. Yeah. We're almost there. It's terrible now. It takes 90 seconds. We'll be back here in a second, Brian. Sorry we don't have time to stop and fix it. <laughs> Uh, storm blowing nuts. Can we see the bays back there? This looks like it's getting sunny. It's not Is that the bays? Is that just a little dry? No. So. Just about go over an actual bridge bridge. And one more time. Yep. Ready? Yep. Power fix can cross it over here in a second. Who's the bottle and just ripping it up? See it? No. Now we're about to cross over this city. Okay, Brian, I fixed it. Still trying to clean.
Mason's in the red eye. You heard so. All right, news guys. Right for a king of gun. Ducks, miss. Oh, I'm trying to crank it. These things are going to go nuts as soon as they hit the river. <laughs> I think you were out from the very beginning. So I'm going to take it to the Delta River. I think there's a little shh. is. All blue skies, even sun almost trying to pop yeah. up behind us. That's what I was just about to look at, but I don't think so. Now there's nothing in front of us. Look at our storm. Everybody, our storm is trying to go nuts. Southwest of Epps keeps trying. It might take till it hits Mississippi to find it, too. So, tornado warning for Cleveland, too. Yes, sir, I'm taking 61, Ashton. Exit 5A. But it may not produce until just east of the river, too. <coughs> Do I have time to top it off with gas? Yeah, you should. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. It'll take four or five minutes. Yeah. It's almost like a dead straight shot once you get on there. Good here. here? Yes. Okay. Well, let's get it done with. Just have to get gas, guys. Get over with real, real quick. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is. Oh, we got gas here many times. No, sir. Okay. No. It's not gas station. Let's think of that. Is it goes? No. Well, no, it just started raining. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I think that's sound. Man. This one right here. Making me feel you. Yeah. Just for a Thank you. Okay. Real fast. There is a tornado warning in Tennessee. Damn. Wait. Only the main line. Get this. Sure. Quick pit stop. Getting gas. Gotta have gas. Otherwise, we will be stranded. There is a tornado warning on the Arkansas Tennessee border. Uh, Luxora in Arkansas, I believe that is. Maybe on the Tennessee side. Still just shows radar radar indicated rotation, but radar presentation. Let me get there. All right, radar presentation. 
dead is uh, that's pretty strong from just reflectivity going into velocity velocity doesn't look too terribly bad but it is kind of right at the foliage between probably Little Rock and uh, Memphis bar storm it's starting to strengthen up we're hoping that these kind of die down just enough and then once it crosses over the Mississippi rolling fork is where we're heading to it's going to roll right into that there's your other tornado warning just to the north of our main one see if there's anything on it now still radar indicator rotation which is good it's kind of a, a nasty blob Let's see if I can zoom back out We'll see. Yeah, roll it four in 45 minutes. Put your hammer down. Here we go. <laughs> it's whenever you uh, put gas in there. I think the first time when you did it, it goes kind of. Yeah. Blah. I never shut my car off. Really? I'm always worried it won't turn back on. So it's just something. It's happened a few times, you know? Well, I mean, can you see one? Yeah. <laughs> No, I just never turned it off. See the little things. There was one time a high risk in Northwest Oklahoma. Knocked the keys in the car. Oh! Is it going nuts? Uh, Ooh, the one is tornadic, yeah. East of Benoit. Looks like it's going tornadic up there. A little further north in Mississippi. We're just getting started. I think my arc cell is going to see. Damn. Oh, I, that's, I just. There's that, and there's the velocity scan on it. That is just. And that's part of the main line, way up on the Arkansas Tennessee border. Damn. Right, look at it. This one east of Benoit. Might have a tornado on the ground. It's running into that like 500 zero to one shear, but it's the only circulation right now that does. And we think ours is going to follow suit once it hits the river here. Yeah, look at the tops on it. That's on ours? Yep. We're getting it. You're right all along. No, it, yeah. just, it just needs that Mississippi River. Yep. There's the towers. That's our storm. Back to reflectivity. So once again, that's even got a hell core starting on it now. Look at reflectivity. Yeah, it is. It's our storm. Yeah, it's going nuts. Didn't you say 7.30 or 7.15? 7.15. Oh. Missed it. Botched. No, 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 no. You nailed it on the dot. Here's so like 15. It's a 5.8. Yep. Rolling City. Rolling City, Yazoo City. That voltage gross. And if we, if we don't think it's going to produce before this road, we're going to go to the peaks too. There should be plenty of east options up there. We'll love to get visual on it with a little bit of daylight too, you know. I was almost tempted to suggest that that Tyler Hall is going north on that road, but I didn't want to pass it. Yeah. I have to go to Greenville and then cut across. Yeah. Right. I like that option too. I think if we can get far enough ahead, yeah. we can stop and watch as it comes to Yeah. To meet it. Yeah. Yeah, but then it petered out right when we were at that Tallulah location. Yeah, right, it did. Yeah, yes. Back on the chase. Yeah, our storm looks crazy. Better be able to beat it. 
Mike is hunting on the ass there. I like to say on the ass, you see me. Is that what you made it? I think you guys are seeing he's a little bit farther east. Yeah, well, it's still east of Rolling Fork. I mean, Rolling City, Rolling Fork still has a north route to Mongolia or whatever, mm -hmm. and then it has an east option over to Louise to get back, and then you have Silver City. Nice. We'll do it. It's just, it's really starting to spin as it's approaching that Mississippi River. Oh, you turn into yeah yes. here, oh, oh. nice blinker <laughs> wonderful blinker <laughs> you don't want to give us any information oh no <laughs> of course not leave us guessing is this our turn sweetheart no okay let's go straight i think it's really feeling this year <laughs> We're only about 30 minutes from Cary, which is right in the path of them. Our storm's intensifying, everybody. We're trying to catch it from the south. We're on the other side of the river now, rocketing northward. There's our location. And this is going to be the next tornado producer. Right now, the uh, most likely tornado producer is just east of Benoit in Mississippi. What do you think, Chad? I think this this is going to be the storm of the day, plain and simple. Everything else has been kind of all blobbed along the line. This is the only one that's been, besides maybe the, the Jackson storm, but I don't think it ever produced anything. So our storm has the next best shot at producing a tornado. Once it gets across the Mississippi River, it's game on. <laughs> it is it is going to plant. We're concerned about people in Mississippi, aren't we? Yeah, especially getting at nighttime. We're about, what, 30 more minutes maybe of ambient light. Then it becomes a nocturnal event. Um, Thankfully, it's been quiet today, which is always a good thing, but now that we're getting into the, the prime of things and at night, it becomes even more dangerous. That's why we always stress the importance of if you are in a tornado warning, severe thunderstorm warning, take it seriously. You may have been in a tornado warning before, nothing produced, but with events like these, it could plant something and it could be a big one. Um, so please, if you get an, any kind of warning, take it seriously tonight. Is um, this is going all the way? We're still under tornado watch all the way until midnight. So it's it's still what four more hours left of uh, you know potential for it. So probably keep going after that too. Yeah, even into uh, Alabama. Pretty sure they'll probably issue another tornado watch uh, as the line gets closer to the Mississippi Alabama border. So Whew. it's gonna be a bad one. Break Should be coming up to a fork here in a minute. I get the left and right. This is where this is where we see. No, no, no. Well, no, we're still pushing. No, 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 no. I'm saying this. It's going to guns. I know. I think it's going to be insane. Oh, what were you saying again? <laughs> the fork. We're going left. At the fork, going left. And then we're dropping straight into it. We're going to see a wedge come right for us, and we're just going to keep driving straight. Might be just enough money. Probably won't see it until about 7.50. And as long as it waits to play it until we get there, I mean, I'm going to be it. I think we can see the base. Big base, yeah. Wow. I think that's the gates. Should be going over a bridge and then 
Sickle shape. It's happening, baby. It's an action I produce. Well, it's definitely going to produce it, but you better hold on until we get there. Some dip over there. Can I? Oh, of course. Thank you. There's support. Yes, can you shop receive? No, 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 stay right here, stay right here. You got to rope the folks off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay right here by this part. You're good. I'm going to put enough rock and put up the right side. Food <laughs> 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 Slim chips is they taste better every single one you have. Yes. Uh, uh, I, can, I can never eat one. It's always blend two. Okay, maybe a third one. I'm pretty hungry. How about a fourth one? Mm. <laughs> and beat bad pops out of that in your mouth tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> Snap into a slim gym. We are back. It's just a rain. A storm just got severe thunderstorm with our That's step one, doesn't it? Yep. Damn, the things are real tornadic so fast. Look at that nipple south of Lake Providence. Storm has a severe thunderstorm warning. As you can see, this guy just barely moving in front of us. Just inching along, not a care in the world. Could do a citizen's arrest for his own safety and just pull them over and say, hey, you guys are coming into the storm. Why do you need LEDs? This is a citizen's arrest. Pull over for storm chaser. I mean, Shut, pull over. Shutting you down. Ready? Yeah. Shut it down. Fast. Get it green. Oh, yeah, you can. Good starts over here to the pool. Did you accelerate? I thought so. It seemed like pull. I was like, why? <sighs> No, 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 no. We're going for it. Obviously, the hell else are we going to do? Getting excited. 
That's what we're going to do. Tightening up there, southwest of Lake Providence. It's yep. That other storm produced up near Cleveland. Oh, that one's still real. Radar indicated. Let's go further up into Tennessee. That one's still radar indicated. Let's see if we can kind of hold this. Just got a massive hill spike. That one. Lost use kind of me. Look at that kid's up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the top of our storm. Oh, very yeah. high. High penetrating supercell. Very strong updraft on that thing. Just south of Lake Providence. Severe thunderstorm warning. Soon to be tornado warning. This is a little strung out, but. Not playing a rough old rolling floor. Yeah. We're rolling for 28 minutes. Uh, jumping in here, this is what Reed was looking at. Uh, this is the storm. This is the storm that the guys called, and it has a severe thunderstorm warning on it. Right now, we're looking at the echo tops, and that's, again, that's how, t how tall the storm is. <clears throat> so you can see all this light blue, the very low clouds. The yellow uh, is sort of uh, ramping up, and then as you go up the tower, this is high. And it's it's getting higher. So if you we animate it, oh, let's see. Yeah. Well, the guys are back. Here you go. During time. Yeah, we are headed for Rolling Fork as our storm is intensifying. You're watching, hit the like button. Yes, please dominate Smash that like. It. So get it. Also, check out Storm Chaser Chad's YouTube. Come on over. Give him a subscribe. Oh, it's wrapping up right now. Oh, babe. That's a nice lightning up ahead. That's not bad. That's not good. That's not good. They got a large base shelf looking thing. I think they're going to get there a bit too dark. It might be a little dark, but I mean, close. I'll be able to see it. Yeah. As much lightning as there is, I'm pretty sure we can get a good vision of it. Nice and fly out of the Delta, too. Beautiful chase terrain. Almost since moonlit out here. It's kind of been a conglomeration of a Ooh! All right. It's our storm, right? Yes, it is. Get ahead. Powerful CG. Big cloud of ground lightning strike there. Getting closer. It's starting to wrap up again. That lead edge. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, maybe it was behind it. Yeah, it's this little appendage right here. That's where the lossless game was. Ooh, I like that. That puts a little farther south on this, yeah. in our path, more than actually towards uh, the Lynx City. Yeah, it's going to ramp up. Are going to ramp up on the tip of that hook? Nope. Almost to, uh, I think it's a carry. I think it'll ramp. It might be over here or here. Both. It's a twin action. It is in that radar hole, kind of. It's in Jackson radar. Yeah. So it might look a lot better than you think. Pulling over right here in this church park lot, waiting for a minute for the storm to get a little closer. Hey, you out there today? Yep. And then right around this corner, I think where that green sign is, this county road, all of its open field right here. Yeah. Watched as the base lowering went right over us. So. Is it spinning? Oh, yeah. Rapid motion? Uh, not so much rapid, rapid, but you could definitely tell there was left to right movement. Yeah, yeah right where the little seats are. Look at all this. Yeah. Ideal. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's great. Lightning's ramping up. Wow. Right at dark. <laughs> yep. Boy, that thing's turning into a strobe. Look at it. Up there, see all that light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 20 minutes from there. Like 15 over there. Damn. Damn. You have lost your scan. Just to the south of Good Lake Providence. Providence. Yep. Where does this cross? It's going to hit that funnel to the level, John. Tons of lightning. Here we go. It's about to happen, Chris. It's in a radar hole, so it doesn't look as classic as you might think. Plenty of low-level shear. Just this uh, event was probably not starting until right at sunset the entire time. <laughs> the first pulse of the time. Yeah. Forward flank if they're long, we're long getting forward flank, maybe. A little puddling. I don't trust these red on our tires. No. Um, I right. don't trust the red on Yeah, here. now we're pointing back toward it. You can kind of see the edge of the base. Yep. Well, Look at that. Flash, 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 flash. Think we got it before rolling fork? Was it? We got it for sure, right? I don't need to just fall. And it's already going to beat it to rolling fork. Well, keep the pace you're going. You're good. Deer. Deer. Kind of going. Ooh, deer. You see that? Uh, deer on the left. Yep. Two. Yeah. White tailed buck, deer. Gotta watch out for them, dude. Red tailed hawk. Bring a little country girl. Oh, and now we gotta worry about bears, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much we gotta worry about deers. Now we gotta worry about bears. Okay. Man, they're gonna be able to see wow. this thing. I think this road curves. Yeah, yeah we'll be pointing right at it. West. White tailed buck deer, red tailed paw, sitting on the ledge. You know what song that is? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's playing in my head. 
So I can never get out of my head. In 1814, you took a little trip along the Colonel Jackson down to Monty, Mississippi. Oh, no, don't say it. I'm not having a man. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans. And we fought the bloody British to the town of New Orleans. <laughs> Boy, this thing is just cranking. We're only 17 miles south of Long Florida. Oh boy, it's getting past Tornado warned. Oh, baby. Storm is tornado warned. Tornado warning. There it is. We're on it. Yeah. Maybe if we did take that road up to Lake Providence, we'd be looking at the back side of it just as a one tornado warned. But you're right. <laughs> then we had to pass it, turn around, come back yeah. to it. But wait, 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 get the tornado too, you'll see it. Wow! Yes. Yes, you have these cars in front of us. It's right there. I don't know how the road is around this. No, it's three cars. Wow. Look Got a curve up here, and then it kind of gets a little windy. Lightning, though, good grief. All right, it seems like the signal's pretty good here, but uh in this little spotty area, we'll just catch you up. The The target storm has a tornado warning, as you can see here. Just as it's crossing the Mississippi River, the guys are in uh, position. There is a lot of lightning on this, as you can see here. Um, and the signal's back. We'll go back to them. Gotta try this. Gotta navigate to northeast. This curve. Yeah, yeah, this curve, then you yeah, got one more curve. Yeah. Let's see. Anything? Yeah, I'll be good. I'm just being afraid of the lawn. Oh, I am. <sighs> Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, right, uh, there we go. We got potential on the structure on the left. What's that? Oh, yeah. Can't see it yet, but. Oh, I think I saw a big lower. Did you see that? The left of that lightning? That's pretty fun.
spot for just a second. They are that long though. No one hooking out. Wow. Woo. I'm not getting out of the vehicle. The way this is. You can see the base over there. Definitely see it. Very low base folks. Ooh yeah. Very low base. You see that you can see the structure of that last man Here, hold that up there. You'll be able to see. Look on the camera. Yeah, two west of us. Oh yeah, there's a lot of glory. That light sure didn't illuminate it. It's trying in there. You see the velocity couple? Yeah, yeah, it's trying, isn't it? I haven't seen it. Is it good? Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Right. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding. It's probably on the ground, isn't it? Are we too far south of it? It's literally gonna Let right me know. Here. I don't want right to miss here. it. Hey, no. on right here. It better cross right fucking right effing here. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh yes! Was that it? Very big lobs on that I saw. I could, ooh, yeah, there might be something here. That's a tornado. Let's get out of the head. Very low. Oh, yeah. Definitely coming right at us, right? I think it's on the oh no. That last one last one is missing, but Yeah, that's Okay, um, they, uh, okay, they're actually back. Just pointing out, so we have a tornado warning, we have another tornado warning, and the signal is back. Yeah, we're gonna have to go north pretty soon, guys. I don't want to catch visual of it, but... Hoodie. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see that? No, Very well it. defined. A wall climb up there. Watch cars. Cars. Nice cars. 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 Very low wall cloud. Just to the northwest. Look at it. Oh, it is trying. Oh, wow. If I get one shot, good shot. Can you see? Oh yeah. Oh, you leave all the vertical. Oh yeah. Off. I got you over here. Can you point that at it? I got it. Thanks, bro. Well, nice I see you want to shoot, too. Thanks. Sorry. You're good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good. Fine, Tony. Not get a tornado here, baby. It's happening. Oh, there's a donut hole on it. We definitely got to go north. Damn thing's got a toad on hole. Uh, they will be back in just a second. You can see uh, what Reed is talking about here. It says it's got a donut hole on it. Um, they are, right now, they're in Cary, Mississippi. That is, they're back. Let's get another opening. Let's get the same thing. See, that is all happening. That's all happening. That's the tornado touching down right now. I don't hear no tornado sirens going off. Look at it. It's a big tornado. Huge oh, circulation. Wow. It's got to be. That's a big time circulation, so, guys. Got to go around him. Discord. Did see a tornado up here. Huge circulation. It's headed straight for Rolling Fork. We didn't have the time really to stop back there. It was way to the north. I see it. Don't worry, I got it under control. Thank you, though. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. I'm focusing on all things. Simultaneously. <laughs> Multitasker, baby. Multitasker, baby. <laughs> Get around this bed, we're probably going to have a tornado. Oh, oh God, we look just at that missed board. that view. Wow. There's a big opening right up here, hey. Come on, where's it at? Where you at, baby? Where you at? Someone just pulled in front of me there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Pops up here. I see it. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. That's a massive wall cloud. But yeah. It might be on the ground on the left side. See that? Yeah, I can only see the wall cloud. But I, I'd see what you're talking about on the left. Yep. Oh, yeah, it just looks like a wall. Oh, fair. Well, what's that? Siren's gone! Siren's rolling for it! Oh, it is? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh. Everybody's here? Yeah. Everybody's here. <laughs> Everybody's right. here. It's, it's got to be a tornado. That is I way, that is way right too low. Wow. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Left up, left up. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. On the ground, guys. Can you somehow hold my stream and phone at the same time with the GoPro? Point at it. Thanks, man. I got it. Right, two, that's two left side. Yeah, so just left of that big. Yeah, oh, wow. Give me one, give me one. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, I see it, guys. It's two west of the center. All I need is There's one. There's a flash. 
Get past this little tree line. Okay. Quick. It's all for sake. Okay, thank you. Let's get past this line. Yeah, right. Yeah. Little, let's see if we can see anything. Right before we get to this tree. Yeah. All right, you're good. Well, I get behind the conga line. Yep. Yeah, stop right, stop right here, stop right here. Okay, get inside. Yep, yep, yep. I don't want those trees to get in the way either. Can you get by that? Yep. Oh, all right. Very good. Very good. Good. I got your flashers. We can hear it. That's it's gotta be it right there. Right where the oh stop. It's in there. What's right where that right where that telephone pole is. Yeah. It's it's about to make a direct impact on this town. If that, if that is a tornado on the ground, it is heading sure it right is. for this town. Look at velocity. Look at yeah. velocity. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And we are literally right beside it. That dot, that's yeah. us. Here we go. All right, we're going to do one more time. Oh yeah, see that gust in the wind? Yep, 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 yep. Keep watching. Are they evacuating the town? Dudes. Uh, I think those are chasers. Easterlies. All right. Oh, it's there, I think. All right, here, pull over just a second. Stop, yeah. watch your car. Oh. It's there. It's there, big tornado, big wedge. Look at it, huge wedge. Huge wedge. Huge wedge, due west of us. West, southwest, whoa. Do you see it? It's a mile wide. Big time freaking wedge, everybody. Take cover immediately. Huge wedge. Watch tornado coming in! Big one! Do not proceed! Do not proceed! Here, 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 hold that, hold that for me, gotta, hold gotta, that gotta, for gotta, me. Gotta, 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 gotta. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you got it? Yep, I got it, I got it. Watch the car. Yeah. You know? Too far. Oh, no, I got it. All right, guys, very quick. You heard that. That's uh, it looks like there's a wedge on the ground. Very possibly there's a wedge on the ground. That's Rolling Fork 804, Anguilla 809, Louise 822. Everybody get to your safe space. It's uh, this is a serious situation here. Back to the guys. Big, wedge. Big time wedge tornado right on it. Waiting for the right flash. Waiting for the right flash. It's huge, isn't it? You can hear it still. Yeah. <laughs> what was that road right there? Uh, I, I don't know. I've got okay. two phones. <laughs> yeah, I got two phones in the okay. camera. Hear it? Yep. Oh, oh there's a power flash. flash. Yes. Power flash. Yeah, it was. Must get the time power flash. Yeah, do it. Whatever you got to do. Is this road the north south road? Uh, we got to know. We got to know. I think. Cause that road, we could go due north on that road and still get it more easily. I'm going back. Hey. Gotta go up on it. Oh, get the help! Get the streaming boat out of there! Hey, here we go. Let's go for it. Go look at sun. Big time side action. I'm okay. We're okay. You're okay. Everybody's okay. We're good enough right on this thing, guys. Window, window. That RFD. Oh, big RFD. Big RFD. Big RFD. Big RFD. Oh, Top flash. Right, right in front, front of us. Yeah, slow down. Top flash. Back up. Back it up. We got somebody right behind us. Big RFD now. Big RFD. Big RFD. They're backing up. People backing up behind us. Big time wedge. Major RV. They're okay. Look out to the northeast. Gotta go northeast. Once you get through the RFD. Alright, we gotta re-navigate. Let's go, man. Major RV. In rolling fork right now. Yes. We gotta get through the RFD. They're gonna see it. Gotta see it. I'm okay. 
Got to get through the RFD. Press the button. Yeah. Give me right on the other side of this. It's in town right now, everybody. Rolling fork right now, right in front of us. That's yeah. Powerful is leaning off to the right. Yep, off to the left. Powerful is on the left. That one's good. Got yeah, cars stopped up here. It could be debris or turning around or something. They're stopped. Yeah, they're getting spooked. Yep. Could be debris. Probably debris. Yep. Uh, line's down. Line's look down. out to the right. Line's look out to the right. Yeah, major wedge. Big wedge. Hold, Hold it out the window. Hold out the window. Big wedge. Hurry, hurry, hurry. How close? Can you about see 100 it? Yards. 100, 100 right yards. 100 yards? Right there. Did you catch video of it? You got a videotape. You got to hit the record button. It is. Okay. Thank God. Can you see it? Oh, there it, it is. is. It's 100 watch yards. Watch, watch, watch. Right there. Did you get it? You got it on the yeah. video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's not good in that town. Okay, uh, we're coming back in a moment. This It's a serious situation. It sounds like a wedge tornado is on the ground. We've seen power flashes. It's rolling fork right now. It's going to be in Anguilla at 8.09 p.m. Uh, Louise, uh, 8.22 p.m. Everybody get to your safe space, uh, say, uh, safe place. Uh, we're going to try to get our video back here. Um, but you could see this. This is a very strong storm right here. Zooming out, we have a tornado emergency, another power flash. Okay. We saw it. We saw it. The 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 stream is uh we're not seeing anything right now, but Uh, we could see it. We could see a bit of it. We saw the power flashes, and we're get we're getting the word out. Yeah, copy that. All right. So you heard them. They're navigating right now. They obviously have a lot going on. Uh, they're call. Uh, they've called it in, um, and we're also uh, they're turning around. They need to navigate. They need to uh, get obviously stay clear of it. They know what they're doing. They're not in danger, but uh, some of the people who may be in the path of this uh, are. So, you know, anybody in the area, share the stream, share any uh, share anything. Just text them, tell them to get to their safe place because uh, this is a strong, uh, scary situation because it's a nighttime tornado, of course. Those are very hard to see. It's because of the, the lightning and the power flashes that we're actually able to see something here. Um, and... Uh, it's still going here. It, uh, we were saying uh, earlier that they, these guys believed that these were going to be long track to tornadoes today, and these storms are moving at about 50 miles an hour too. So they're very fast moving, very wide, and it's nighttime. Um, so it, things have gotten pretty serious here, um, and the guys are the guys are okay. They're they're completely fine. But we are getting the video back. The video is coming back in a second here. They just need to get themselves into a safe spot and they need to start navigating again. And then we'll be back up in a moment here. Uh, but here's where we are. We were right here. The guys are right next to the circulation. You heard Storm Chaser Chad uh, say about 100 yards away. And then you obviously you heard that excitement it was moving away from them they were it wasn't moving towards them it was moving away from them so they're okay uh, but this is uh this is definitely uh one of the situations we were scared about today um is that it was going to go past today and into the night and we have the their signal is coming back a bit here so we go back to them now coming into rolling fire all other damage
we do have good connectivity. It is coming back. Uh, stand by. But um, the thing right now is to warn people in the path here. This is a, this is a serious tornado. Uh, again, that's 807 in Rolling Fork. Or that was five minutes ago. Okay, right now, believed to be in Anguilla, 826 Louise, 835 Silver City, 855 Tachula. And this could be a long track storm here. Um, everything else is pointing to the fact that these are long track tornadoes uh, today. Um, and they called it as soon as it jumped the, jumped the Mississippi River, it tried to set. And once it's set, it's... And, and folks in chat, please let's not say if this is a so-and-so big tornado, we're, we only want things that are verified from other chasers or the weather service or something like that. We don't want to spread any rumors in chat here. And here we go. We're getting the video back now. still struggling it's sometimes sometimes the connectivity obviously struggles right next to a powerful storm like this especially one with as much lightning as we have we look at the lightning on this you can see there's quite a bit and that, that means there's a lot of convection there's a lot going on in the storm if we look at reflectivity let's see what this is looking like here But the velocity tells the story, really. It's very strong. Okay. We have had good signal all day. The guys are safe. They are okay. You don't need to worry about Reed and Storm and Storm Chaser Chad is what we're calling him. Um, they are okay, but, uh, people in the path of this really need to know, get the word out. Um, this has been, uh, confirmed by the chasers on the ground. They were right there. Um, okay. We have, what else can we see about this storm here? Stand by one moment. I suppose this is the hook here, and it's just a massive, massive storm. Massive rotation right there. Looks like a debris signature on radar, possibly. Yeah, let's see. We're going to look at the correlation coefficient here. Obviously tempted to call them right now, but I know that they have their hands full. Yes, and this is an extremely fast storm. If we're, we'll start to animate it. It looks like it's maybe started to accelerate once it crossed the river there. If you're if if you you are or you know anybody uh, in Rolling Fork and Guila, it's already passed these. Hold on, this is an old feed here. Louise, uh, this will be there. This will be to Louise in ten minutes, less than ten minutes. Um, it'll be to Silver City in twenty minutes, less than twenty minutes. Any any figure that I say, take it down five minutes. Um, just error on the safe side. Get to your safe place. Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay, the guys are as we knew. Let's see if the guys are. In rolling fork, I would guess that the guys are about about here. They were right next to it before. I'm sure they're trying to work their way here, keeping keeping a safe distance, of course, uh, but just trying to get the the ground truth out. Uh, if you want to get help, get the word out to people in the path of this. You know, just like the video, share it, um, text them, call them do anything. Sometimes people need to see it to believe it. And we are working on getting our video back up here, but um, for the moment, what we do know is that there is a strong, it looks to be a wedge tornado on the ground, and it was in Rolling Fork, and now it's headed towards Louise. Stand by. It looks like we might be coming back here. You can see the video on the top. Unfortunately, we do deal with a lot of issues like this when you're this close to a tornado but it seems to be clearing up I'm gonna try gonna try to go try to go to this here Okay, it looks like the SPC says this is an EF3 plus tornado ongoing uh, that we've seen here on the stream and that, that we will continue to uh, attempt to get a look at here and, and bring the, dr the ground truth out here. This is an intense tornado. Okay. So we have, there's hail on it, but that's obviously not the, the, the big issue. The big issue is that we do have an EF3 plus tornado on the ground from the SPC. Um, and we're on it and we're trying to get, uh, bring our video back and get reconnected here. Uh, but this was the, this was the storm that they've, they've been following for the past three hours. They saw the signatures. They saw the um, they saw the environment that it was going into, um, and and that's why they made the call on this. And it appears they were right. As soon as it jumped, it planted. Let's see here. Yeah, these guys were right on it. They were, as you heard, uh, Chad say, they were about a hundred yards. 100 yards or so away from this thing. Um, you can, if you, uh, if somebody in the chat wants to uh, share the timestamp on the stream, you could look at the timestamp in the lower left. Um, you could rewind back to that, see if you could get a look at it. Look at it. Uh, there was a lot of lightning, so there could be a couple of frames where maybe we see an edge. 
Um, but yeah, they were right there. Let's see. Uh, we're trying to get some uh, communication with our guys here. This is it. This is the storm of the day here. Hmm. All right, let's see what else. What news do we have about this right now? Yeah. Sorry, guys, trying to get some news here. This took a big turn pretty quickly. Yeah, so if you're just joining the stream, obviously a lot of people jumped on as this was happening. Uh, they've driven hundreds and hundreds of miles today, over seven hours. And to get within 100 yards of the first tornado to touch down is pretty incredible timing. It's pretty incredible storm chasing. Um, it requires a lot of patience, but you know these guys stuck to their gut and, and they called it. And glad that they did, and there are also a couple other chasers uh, on there so that we could get immediate confirmation that, yes, this is dangerous. Everybody in the path needs to be aware of this. Everybody needs to be paying attention and be getting to their safe space. Come on, guys. Uh, I'm just, I'm trying to text, uh, I, I tried reaching uh, Reed right now. I'm trying to text Chad. First asking if they're okay. Of course, I'm sure they are. They're both very experienced. Oh boy. Uh, this is a uh, this is bad. This is a bad one. There's some um, some images on Twitter uh, uh, from the damage in Rolling Fork. Um, this might be the guys might be in a forget the stream, forget recording. We need to help people. Uh, Zachary Hall just said on Twitter, the damage in Rolling Fork, Mississippi is bad. People are trapped. We need help here. 
Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, if you live close, if you live in the area, if you're able, able-bodied, if you have a vehicle, maybe you want to go out and see if, uh, there's anybody you could help. Um, wouldn't say get in the way of any emergency services, but, um, These guys might be in a um, serious situation. I'm not getting messages through right now. You can see that where is, and this is just a bit north of, you can see it's a bit northeast of Yazoo City, and Yazoo City got hammered um it might have been two, 2010 um and that was reed and joel were on that and that was a that was a similar situation where they had to launch into um rescue mode search and rescue mode getting word that this is still on the ground. Um, this is, as you were saying, one of those long track tornadoes. Um, if you, if we zoom out here uh, and we see where it is, and then we see Yazoo City, uh, if we look over more to the east here in Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Mississippi, that was actually um, a, in 2011, an EF5 plus tornado, which is one of the first tornadoes that I ever saw. And that was going at around 60 miles an hour. Uh, and that was, that was a very scary situation. So it seems like this whole belt in Mississippi here, um, it, it just has gotten hammered several times over the past decade by extremely strong tornadoes. Uh, this is, um, you know, and it, it's, it's critical to have experienced storm chasers like Reed and Chad on this storm. Now, you know, it's about to go right into a large radar hole. Uh, so they are relaying information with their eyes, um, that technology can't pick up right now. Um, uh, they are doing their, let's see, let's see, sorry. No, this is not, I'm sorry, this is not going to hit Yazoo City in any way. This is, I was saying this, this area uh, has been hammered by a couple of very large tornadoes. Yeah, I have, I have a feeling that the, the guys have, are, have just really forgotten their phones at this point. Um, let's see, let's see if we can get more word on, on this right now. I don't know.
yeah, this is a uh, this is a tornado emergency. This is a this is very scary. This severe severe damage seen in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. There are cars stopped everywhere. There is huge damage. Um, the storm is still active. It's still moving northeast. Here it is, right here. You can see it's it's just about to go into Silver City. If you're in Silver City, you need to get into your safe place. You absolutely need to. You need to get out of there. Um, to Chula in another 20 minutes. This could be on the ground still in another 20 minutes. These are this is a long track tornado. They they said they figured it would plant and keep going. Um, Oh boy. Okay, we're going to continue to try to uh, bring you news of, uh, of what is going on there. See if the guys come back, if they're able to come back. Um, to the stream, let's see here. Uh, Vince Waltai is saying it's still on the ground. Yeah. So again, this is in Silver City. Um, where's the Where's the radar go out here? Yes, this is a scary storm. Still on the ground into Silver City, Belzoni, Mississippi. You know, this is a dangerous tornado, life-threatening conditions and damage possible. Uh, was expecting some things, but was not ex fully expecting this or prepared for this uh, today. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think this is a this is a bad one. I think everybody everybody's just in search and rescue mode from from what I could tell of what chasers are reporting. I'm sure Reed is okay. Well, I'm sure Reed is okay, but I'm sure at this point they've just maybe put the phones aside and, and are doing what they can to, to help.
Not good. Not good, guys. Sorry guys, uh, I'm new to this and wasn't really expecting this to happen. And I should have been prepared like everybody in the path of it today, but uh, I'm not. So, all right, just uh, get the word out if we can here. Okay, 8.53, this could be in Tachula, or it will be in Tachula. Uh, just assume that it's going to be a very long track tornado. Uh, 9.25, Viden, 9.30, Winona. Um, okay. Uh, so apparently there's a, we're getting a bunch of reports. We don't know what's real, what's not. Um, we do know that Vince Walda has had a very wild view of it. And, uh, he, he continues to, uh, very strong. Um, I think. Seems like he's just tracking along with it. Um, here we go. Uh, apparently, yes, there could be a uh, a storm chaser hurt. It's possible. Um, that might be what everybody is. Um, might be what everybody's doing right now. Uh, is, is trying to help the storm chaser, trying to help. There are reports that people are, are trapped. Uh, they're trying, they're probably doing their best to to just help anybody they can um, at the moment here. Let's see. Yeah, you could see in the uh, the top left of the screen here, you could see, um, you know, as soon as there's a signal to get back, you'll see it. Um, we're going to get you news as soon as we can. Again, I, I, I believe what's happening right now is everybody's saying, forget the streams, forget recording. Let's, let's help whoever is hurt here. Um, Let's not um let's 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 try to keep rumors uh to a minimum here in the chat and, and try to figure out what is uh what is going on. Let's see. Looks like we're starting to maybe get video back here. Here we go. I got to the hospital, to the regional hospital, and then promised. Yeah. That's open? Yeah. And we'll get you there. We'll have a promise. I 
It's like we're almost back. Did hear the word hospital. Um, I, I couldn't make out what it was. Uh, if they're headed to the hospital or if somebody that they know is headed to the hospital or if somebody is in the back of the car that they're helping, we don't know. Um, I don't have it up fully because it, it, it's just looking like it's going to stutter. We're not going to be able to hear much, but... Um, Uh, let's let's bring it up again. Okay, so you guys you guys heard that it was something something regional hospital. Yes, this is we already knew, but this seems this seems bad. All we heard there was hospital, uh, but uh, it, we did hear them right. So we do know that that they're all right. Um, hopefully, everybody with them is all right. Um, and let's look more at eight fifty three. So in nine minutes, this could be in, this will be in Tichula. Um So everybody in Tichula, get to your safe place. Um, heck, if you got time, head head north or south and get out of the way. Um, Winona. You need to be on alert too. This is a long track tornado trying to know if it'd still be on the ground. There's still a strong signature here. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess this is one of the, one of the reasons that I work with Reed is because yes, I know that he, he loves seeing whether he loves to see tornadoes, but as, as soon as it gets, it could be a possibility that somebody is hurt. He stops and he, he goes to work. He's got a good heart. He's a good guy. Um, man, it's tough to not know exactly what's going on, right? Okay. Let's see if anybody in our, uh, Discord here, if they got any more um, information to shoot over, would sure be helpful here. Um, let's see. Uh, you never know who's been in touch with who, and, and hopefully we get some word about something that's going on here. But yeah, it looks like on uh, Vince's stream, there is they are looking at damage right now. Yeah, I'm guessing everybody's in search and rescue mode. Um, let's see. Trying to get more news, guys. Okay. I'm, I'm breathing. I'm okay. I'm, I read is okay. Um, I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm trying to negotiate a couple windows to get as much information to you guys as, as possible. But obviously this is our new streaming setup. So I'm just, you know, I'm breathing. Um, yeah. If reports, uh, people are saying that Possibly it was Chris Hall heard. We don't think that's the case. We don't know. Again, 
let's not spread panic or rumors and everything. Let's all just uh, be as calm as we can here. And this will be in Tachula in, in 10 minutes. Um, so everybody in Tachula, get to your safe place. If you can, head north or south, get out of there. Yeah, this is a uh, this is okay. Tornado emergency continuing through. Choctaw, Butler, Wyatt, Tachula, Shackleford. This is a deadly tornado. Those are the words being used. Um, everybody, 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 get the word out. Do you know anybody there? I'm sure their phone is ringing off the hook. I'm sure their alerts are going off, but you never know. You just keep trying uh, to get through and get the word out because this is this is one of those scary storms that. You know, the nocturnal tornadoes are just terrifying. You, you can't see them. Um, and we're getting very varying reports about how wide something is. Um, and yeah, honestly, if you if you live in the area and you're okay, you got a, you got a truck, you have any field experience. Um, there's probably enough people there now, but maybe uh, hop up, see if you could give a hand. What do we have here? Another tornado warning. This is a tornado warning. Oof. Yeah, all the chasers have just, they, they've stopped. And so they're they're just doing search and rescue at this point. The Rolling Fork Police Department is now reporting that they're requesting surrounding cities to send ambulance, first responders, and search and rescue. Are we coming back? I'm gonna try to see if we could hear anything here. Whatever you're gonna have, I think it's quick, guys. Uh, we're going to the Vicksburg Hospital. Rolling Fork took a significant hit by a large tornado. Search and rescue. They need everything they can get at Rolling Fork. Yes, ma'am. My name is Chad Gillenwater. Um, your brother had me call you. Um, he was involved in a tornado. Okay, we so are transporting him to the hospital. His head is open. He's open. He's okay. We're just getting uh, to the hospital, we're River Regional. Here. We're heading to, I guess, the Merrick Hospital in Vicksburg. Also his girlfriend. Can you hear me okay? You doing okay? Let's go to Mo. And Mo. Where he was Mo. In Mo is me? his name. Tell her Mo. Mo. We are transporting your brother to the hospital. Transporting Mo to the hospital. Mo to the hospital. He was involved in a tornado. And he has major injuries that we are transporting him to. He wanted me to give you a call and let you know that we're going to Merrick there in uh, Vicksburg. We'll be there in 15 minutes. ETA probably about 15 minutes, if not quite sooner. Well, right, we're going. We'll get it faster. Yes, ma'am. 10, 15 minutes. Yes, ma'am. We'll do it. She said to give her a call whenever we get there so that she knows that y'all got there safe. Hey, Brian, we're transporting uh, some victims of the tornado to the hospital right now. We'll be there in 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you're good. Yeah, just uh, Rolling Fork needs all the resources they can get. Emergency personnel, Major Rolling Fork, 
very bad shape, major tornado, mile wide tornado. Uh, every structure's destroyed and uh, people are just transporting people out of there right now. And uh, we're headed to uh, the uh, Merritt Hospital. We'll be there, we'll be there in 15 minutes. It's really bad. And Chris, Chris, Chris Ford, a tornado was rolled by it. Yeah, he came up and he was there, he had like blood on his face and he was okay. But yeah, I told him you can't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, I think that I'm hoping there's not more storm chase or something there, but. But we got to get these people to the hospital in 15 minutes. I'm trying to bust it, drive safely here. So I'll be back once we're done at the hospital, and then we'll try to punch it east. Okay. Yes, ma'am. My name is Chad Miller. We are transporting two patients from Rolling Fork and it's involved in a major tornado. Uh, do we need to come there, or do we need to go directly to the hospital? They've got an emergency room there, right? Watch it. Connecting me to the emergency room. At Merritt? I believe it's more okay. somewhere. Oh. I just got a hold of Merritt. They're transporting me to the emergency room. I got it. Go ahead. Oh. Don't worry. Still didn't get a chance to look at radar, though, but it's not a lot of lightning, so think, we'll be okay. I think it's just more or less rain. I'm hoping. Hey, no problem. We got you. Just stay alert. I'm talking, you got hit by a big tornado, but you're all here. We're just getting you to the hospital. Be there in 15 minutes. I just is this the emergency room? Yes, my name is Chad. I am transporting two patients to, uh, I guess, the Merritt Hill with uh, serious injuries from Rolling Fort, the tornado that went through there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find out if we need to go there or to the hospital. That is the hospital, I think, right? Uh, I believe so, yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, I do I do have uh, two patients. One is a male, has a severe laceration to the head and a potential internal, in rib. internal injuries, yeah. And then I have a female patient with a severe laceration to the foot and unknown of other, any other conditions at this time. You can breathe okay? Yeah, if you could breathe okay and uh, don't and have a punctured lung, which is good. a female patient with a laceration to the foot. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm almost uh, there. Where, where is your location at? 12 minutes. Is it just off the interstate? Oh, off the 6th point? Okay. Yes, sir. All right, thank you so much. We'll be there in roughly about 10 minutes. We're just making sure they have power. They got a generator, I'm sure. Fire. Fire? Fire no, fire department. That's who you talk to or that's them? Um, no, right that's, I talked to yeah. the RC room oh, there at okay. Mary. They're expecting us ETA in 10 minutes. Thanks, Chad, for helping out with no, stuff. No, no, no. Okay, if you were here with I, me. I literally Thanks. had I known that it was going to be this bad, I would have actually dropped my, yeah. my entire <laughs> kit, but I just had the gloves and I was like, God, the gloves ain't going to cover a head wound. Yeah. We'll get them there. We got you guys. We'll be there in 12 minutes. Just take it nice and easy. Mm -hmm. I got a good, close relationship with the road surface. Yeah, I'm kind of working that little ridge. Yeah. Staying out of the, the group. Is she okay? After that ripple? Yeah. Please. You guys still okay? All right, hang in there, almost there. We've made it through 30 minutes of the ride, another 10 more minutes. Oh, sorry. I'm trying try to be slow. Yeah, you bro broken ramp. Nothing's more painful than that. I broke one. Launched it off my bike. You won't be able to blow your nose for a while. Coughing hurts. Everything hurts. Uh, we got you, man. We're going to get you there as safe as we can. Ten Just minutes. Quick. I mean, how's your temperature? Are you too good temperature wise? Are you too hot? You cold? You good?
it's, it's definitely going to hurt. Is anything hurting below your waist? Legs, knees, just your chest? Oh yeah, I saw your head. Yeah. It is, but uh, but they'll sit, suture that right up. How are you doing, ma'am? She's good. Is anything else hurting on you, ma'am? Everybody good all these. Yeah, you got a you got a pretty nasty cut on your foot. Twelve miles out. Anything else? Stomach, head, neck, back. Anything complaining? About eight more minutes. Then we'll be there. Sorry? The past this car here. It's gonna, get, it's gonna get just a little bit bumpy. Stay straight. Just a hug minute. Okay, get back over. Sorry for that vibration. All right, slow. Nice and easy. Almost there, guys. And then you're home free. Is it going to be on the left or right side? Which way do we need to go? Left, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, you got it. You're incredibly tough, that's for sure. <laughs> you are tough as nails. Here in a minute, the rope kind of gets a little narrow. Okay. Remember that border that we came across? Yeah. Yeah. Just with the Yeah. Yeah, the bridge just after that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Slow it down? Yeah. Oh. We're going to try to get it as smooth as we can. Nice and easy. That's probably last. <laughs> That's a big tornado. Super monster. How are we doing back there? start watching it here because I know it kind of just stay straight. Yeah. You're good. Road kind of curves a little bit. Gradual. Yeah. Hey, we're almost there. Easy now. A little slower. Okay. 45. Yeah, this is the five. Oh, it is? We're going through this little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All righty. Right. Is this Redwood? No. They got power down here, which is good. I didn't think it reached this door, but I was surprised that little transformer place was still in contact. Yeah. You saw it? Did you see it? No. You heard it coming? 
And then you get, what did you do? Get inside the home and just hit the deck? Uh, it was too late. It was moving at 50, 60 miles an hour, even 50. I think when that power flash when we were in the RFT is when we crossed the road. Because literally, I was just literally, just literally I could have punched through that. Right. You okay? Okay. Uh, Bless you. Six miles, sir. Six miles. Mid. We've got you. I would love to come back one day and meet you. And yeah, when you're doing okay, we'll come back and see you. Definitely have to come and check up on them. Bless you. Bless you. I, I, I'd like to meet you on, on a little better circumstances than uh, having to take you to the hospital. Our, our main concern is your safety and your well-being right now. We'll stay there, guys. Five miles. Just, just outside of town. 4.5. Almost there. Left side. But you did get notification on your phone, but not so much as a, a public siren. Yeah, I didn't hear. So I kept hearing your phone. Yeah. Yeah. No, it didn't seem like any siren sounded. No. Uh, do you guys have sirens in town? And uh. It was Warren right across the river. He said he saw it coming. 3.6 miles. And you're home free. You'll be in good hands. Are there any storms that are tornado worn out? Anything coming? Is that one still cranking, probably? Uh, I'd imagine that is still going yeah. strong. Oh, it is. It's, it's okay. and Oxford has a tornado warning. This one is uh, Kruger. Kruger has a tornado warning, same cell. There's one in Silver City, too. It's not yeah, tornado warned. It's going to be, isn't it? It's not tornado warned yet? No, it's, it's behind that main one. Man, it was always left of that big wall cloud, wasn't it? Yes. Well, we always saw it, didn't we? The whole time. Oh, yeah, the entire time. Just the lightning was like behind it as much. And the main line hasn't even came through yet. Once it got closer, you can see the whole thing in the naked eye. Oh my gosh. Main line, but uh, look, at, look at this. Damn. More storms coming. Yeah, that one uh, screams, but still uh, got a CC drop on it. Uh, round one more bend. Going up the hill. One more hill. And then we're left over the hill. You probably know where we are. Those lights are it. Yeah. The yeah. first stoplight? The one more, it looks like. Right after the stoplight, right? We got you there. Two minutes. Okay, so we're slowing down. You got green, you got green. It's a turkey. I think it's this next slide up here. Okay. Nope. Almost there, sir. Almost there. 0. 0.6 miles. I 
they're going to be a great hand. So you talk to them and they have an emergency room. So what? They have an emergency room and everything? Yeah, they have a yard. This is it right here. Sorry, I got to slow down. It's going to be slow down. Hold on. Okay. Nice and smooth. We're almost there. It's going to be a few bumps. Uh, uh. Hey, you guys okay? You guys okay? Gotta go. Keep going? Yeah, keep going straight. Keep going straight. You'll see a, a sign. It should say uh, ER. Right, uh, right. Hold on. Not here? No. What's that sign say? Main entrance, but I don't see no. Is it back oh, here? It? No, we can't. We can't. We entered in the back way. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Keep going. Yeah, we're in the back. You still got to go around. Go the all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, careful the road turns. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I see it, I think. Yeah, well, that's the ambulance It's got to be an emergency, right? The ambulance entrance. Is that an emergency? No. Yeah, just pull in here. I'll get out. Oh, sorry. We're here now. We're going to help you out. That's my phone. That's my phone. It's probably... <sighs> Let me help out real quick. Here, inch forward a little bit. Let me make sure. Hey, one sec. We're just gonna so it's in the face here. Right. We got you. Don't step. Don't. We gotta make sure it's uh emergency room. Hurry, Chad. Chad, we gotta go find the emergency room. I think. Is this the emergency room? Oh. Yeah, I don't think it. Oh wait, there's somebody right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, he just said that. Hey, he said he has to stand up. I've got to stand up. Yeah. Hey, we have injuries. Come on, open the door. No, no, he's in the castle. Ah. She has the last one. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Come here, I'm right here. What's going on? Yeah, I'm going to the hospital. Ooh, you believe he may have a broken rib? Are you okay? Are you okay, Ashton?
All right, we're getting started. you saw it there that was um that was reed and storm chaser oh reed is uh or he might be coming back in a second that was reed and storm chaser chad they were um uh they transported a couple of victims of the rolling fork tornado uh to the to the hospital um uh, all other chasers are also just just helping out. Everybody near is just helping out. Um, this is uh, obviously a very serious situation. It's still, still ongoing. We don't we don't know. Uh, this is still on the ground. Nine thirty five Winona. Nine forty four Kill Kill Michael. Ten o four Europa. Ten o six Walthall. Um, this was the, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Reed and Chad, they were, they were, um, right at Rolling Fork, uh, along with several other chasers, uh, when it set down, they fell off the, the stream, uh, for a while. We gathered from that, that, um, uh, they were probably in search and rescue mode. Here, Reed's coming back now. And then they had serious injuries. And uh, Rolling Fork needs all the help they can get. I do have a Storm Chaser friend that was hit directly by the tornado, and he's okay, totally okay. He wanted to stay back, and so I'm going to be heading back up there to make sure he's okay. I need to ride out of there. Let me look at radar really quick. It was a huge tornado hit rolling fork head on and we got more tornadoes that are potentially coming our way as well it's still going a large tornado that's headed up toward winona now still going there it is south of carrollton still that's the same tornado that we were intercepting doesn't look to be on the ground right now somehow but i'm using jackson radar so Dangerous night. And in Rolling Fork, it is incredibly bad. You can see that prefrontal confluence line there. There's one all the way to the north as well. Another tornado warning just east of Oxford. Myrtle, New Albany area. Hey, you okay? Huh? How's yeah. it going? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah, he, he's gonna be all right. It's gonna look bad. It, it's pretty deep, but... I said I'll take him out. Stay put. I didn't even, once I got him and I don't know what they did with her. What were her injuries? She had a... Oh, it does have a tornado. A tornado on the ground now, yep. South of North Carrollton, there it is. Tornado right now, it's headed toward Winona. Winona, get in your safe place. Trust me, this storm is incredibly dangerous. Called a lot. That's the uh, circulation. Very powerful tornado there just to the south of North Carrollton. Uh, just, uh, take some leave at the hospital. Yeah, we, uh, had a, uh, tornado pretty much destroy a town. And, uh, we, we and Reed, uh, transported two patients up here to the hospital here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, we're good. We, uh, we came up literally right, passed right in front of us, but we just, it made a barrel real route for the town. And, uh, we got out and did search and rescue, and, 
found two patients that uh, need a transplant pretty quick. So we ended up in, in the, on the car and just started kind of. Yeah, and I, I was in the process of trying to calm them down and uh, focus on driving, well, not driving, but you know, giving redirections and stuff and you know, tending to them. Yeah, I'm. You what? There was a tornado and it hit a small town. And Daddy and a close friend helped some people to get to the hospital. Uh, yeah, Daddy's okay. Yeah, we are okay, sweetheart. We just wanted to help out some others. No, that is perfectly fine. Yeah. How about we wait until tomorrow, okay? Y'all y'all get ready y'all get ready for bed, okay? And then y'all get some sleep. And then daddy will be home and in the morning when we go into town we'll we may get some treats, okay? It was good today. Wonderful. That's what I like to hear. Oh. Get your camera in front of the entire time. The whole time, I think. Uh, well, well, I... It does? I was out of focus. Back to the point of thumbs. Yes. No. Uh. My apologies. Yes. No, we are okay. We just had to help some people get to the, the, ho the hospital. Yes. Uh, yeah, here in just a minute. I believe so. I'll have to get with him just to be on the safe side, see if we need to go back and maybe try to get some more. Okay, Chris. Yeah. And then uh, we'll um, go back and uh, get my truck and whatnot. I'll uh, do it, darling. Have you? Bye.
And a lot of chainsaws are gone to the portals. Yeah. I hate that Yeah, I think that's the same one that I was looking at on here. Yeah, see. Oh, the air first one, it was a lot closer. I was just jumping in a moment. Give these, give the guys a moment to kind of gather themselves. Obviously, that was very intense. Um, and heroic thing that uh them but not not just them but most all storm chasers do sometimes storm chasers could get a little chippy with each other but of course as soon as something like this happens everybody just jumps in and helps um this is uh chad and uh reed and they just transported uh two victims of the rolling fork tornado to the hospital um it's Sounded like, uh, you know, Chad has EMS experience, um, and he said it sounds like Mo and his girlfriend are going to be all right, but they, you know, they do need help in the ER, um, and they're getting that now. Uh, but this is, um, it, it, the night is not over, unfortunately. It feels like we're over the hump, but the night is, is not over. Uh, you heard them saying that uh, Chris, uh, I think uh, Chris Florida, Chris Hall, and Chris Florida might have gotten hit by that. They may go back and check on him. He was okay. He sent them along. Um, but this is the real deal. Um, and this, we don't know if this tornado is weakening and not. Uh, who knows? But uh, it's uh, Nona 934, Kill Michael, Europa, Waltall, Matheson, Mabin, Manatee, Woodland. Uh, everybody needs to be getting to their safe space, paying attention to the weather. I'm going to go back to the guys in, in just a second here. Um, and yes, we will be figuring out a storm funds victim soon, along with the, uh, rest of the changes we have here. So I'm going back, uh, going back to the field. So what'd you rate that? Tornado? Yeah, I was thinking the three. Yeah, but I'm there again. Hang on. I was kind of trying to pull up what the town looked like. Those buildings that were beside, they were gone. Yeah. So you gotta go back up and make sure pick up Chris. I'll ask me about to double check to see if we needed to do that. Tractors and stuff. I don't know how far they went. I didn't even see a water tower there. Right? 
Let's be honest. Let's, what was it this and the flat circulation that happened, right? Yeah, yeah. no, it's the back one. Yeah. yeah. Here's one as it was approaching the salt of Austin scenes, and that was after I did it. Very quickly here, guys, this tornado emergency continues for Winona, Europa, and Biden until 10.15 p.m. Um, and it's a tornado emergency, of course. We're back to the ground, just keeping a little play-by-play. -play. Intense. Okay, so, uh, I, up here. I thought I saw. Oh yeah, up there. I, I remember whenever I shot the flash, I saw it up there, and I was. Like, <laughs> got intense fast. You can have that RFD. And Well, it's kind of tucked in there a little further. I still thought we had a little bit more time. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we were that far. Yeah, I thought we had a few more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ready to make the trip back up? Yep. Did you check back there? No, oh, she left her jacket. Can we bring that, bring it up to her? We can. I can. I can roll you up there. Let me Are there still tornadoes happening? Yeah, there's still. Oh yeah, tornado on the ground still. Where? Oh, uh, just and not Winona, is it? Yeah. In Winona? Oh no, Winona, get in your safe place. That is a definite CC drop. Not I good. Winona, Mississippi. Like, Dang. That's that's rain, rain wrap. Definitely. Wow. <laughs> that's only tornado warning. There's. Quite a few severe thunderstorm warnings, flash flood warnings. Um, but yeah, that is most definitely. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's another violent tornado. Yeah. Too. All right, let's bring our jacket. I got it. Oh, now don't, don't miss my Red Bull up now. We lost <laughs> one. Oh. Thank you. 
Now, it's yours. Wait. I think it's part of your little thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's part of the uh, yeah. drone ramp. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to head back up to Rolling Rock. Are they going to be okay? Will William be okay? Is William okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything you do. Thanks. Is that my phone or your phone? Yours? Oh, I think that's yours, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, Winona, you need to be in your safe place. It's the same storm. And then there's another solid looking rotation just behind it. Yeah. I'm uh, just literally training right behind it. Two areas of rotation, definitely a tornado on the ground. Did they say anything? Yeah, tornado emergency, radar confirmed. Emergency. Deadly tornado is what they're calling it. Tornado emergency for Winona. Not a good sign. But we're fixing to head back. You go and, pick um, up Chris? Pick up Chris, see if there's anybody else that may need some help. If we lose signal, everybody, we're going to go back up there and then we'll try to resume the chase if we can. So just stay with us here. See what we can do. I'm pretty sure we'll probably lose service once we get closer. Yeah, that that's the donut hole you were talking about. Yeah. That's oh, a, uh, goose. She looks me again. <laughs> That is reflectivity, and, and that was right before it went into Rolling Fork, and we were literally right behind it. Literally right behind it. RFD was just howling. Absolutely howling. I think we got inside that sheath, that wedge-shaped sheath that was around the uh, stove in the middle. I'm almost positive it was, it was, I want to say due north, and then just started shifting Right at the last second, right as it passed the road in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> in this way. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to head back up to Rolling Fork. They need all the help they can get up there. Yeah, yeah you do great work, man. Thank you. Great chaser. Thanks. Uh, I'm honored to have you in the vehicle. Here. Oh, I I got a lot of It got more than a tense now. <laughs> you said we were going to make it a lot now. Yeah, it was but just dark. You know, if it was daytime back in the... I mean, we would have been... Oh, if we would have... Oh, if it was daytime. My God. That, Man, all those car crisps... It's, it's about to change. This must have passed us and then... Uh, just proceeded right into running floor and just took the wedge. I mean, it's got to stop doing it. Honestly... I'm almost glad we didn't, or we turned around, because yeah. if we would have kept going straight, we probably would have been right inside, because we would have been in town, wouldn't have seen it. We would have stopped just shot of town. But the problem is I wasn't able to look at radar, because we were using both phones and yeah. stuff, so. <laughs> I, just I knew it was on north. Out the <laughs> I'm like, I got you, I got you. <laughs> it's not there, it's there. I'm like, all right, I got you. Hey, we'll put out the phone right now. <laughs> Sorry, no, I was, I was, I was into it. I was like, okay, what do you want? Do you want to hear? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got the camera. I hope the stream liked it before it went dead. Yeah, if it was, this, it must have been intense. I mean, if it was working. Yeah, it's already out there. Chris got in the uh, hit by the tornado.
Hey, there's your car. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, he got you running. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know who this is. Tim Jones. Oh, watch here in a second. Do I see? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that the bright flashlight? There was a bright flashlight right behind you. That was me. There you go. Yep, that's me. Yep, bright ass flashlight behind the guy in the red shirt. I don't remember that part. Everybody's on here. Fox Weather's already got footage from somebody. Yeah. But you notice they stay in the car and just video guy. Yeah. We got an insert that rescue. Now, Robert Necker's in here. <laughs> no, Robert Necker's. I'm going to clear 15 minutes. Is it? Okay. This one? Not as clear. I was about to say that they need a photo and they just they, they, enhanced you know, it. Yeah, enhanced it. That was probably the same angle. Like I just had a better camera. I should have just let you stick the GoPro out. I didn't. It would have been forever for that footage to. I'll send you all this stuff in the shots. Well, this is uh, the long track violent tornado. It just took until eight o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if we went up that road though that you wanted to, I mean, we might. It almost happened early enough that that would have been the play. That was really close. <laughs> Holy shit! What a game of inches this is. Yeah. Can I have a swig of that energy drink. I, I, I got a brand new can back there. Are you sure? I don't have a drink here. No. No. A staff. No. We can always stop and get more. I don't mind at all. I shared one with her. I'd be glad to share one with you. Oh, I'm going to crash it up. There it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll find this one. I'm going to pump a hood check out of it. I got my hearing a lot. Oh, you're going to this <laughs> lane. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. I forgot what to do. Fire is fire again. Let him buy. Ooh, some ATV. Yeah. I'm going to be a Marco Patriots. Careful with this car coming up hot. Wait. Pull it behind. Now he's focusing on that area. Boy, I was really worried when he said his heart was hurting. It's like, yeah, oh, that, oh, and then he went cold. That's that's why I, I just it was ribs, though, was wasn't it? On it? Did he have a chest injury that you saw? Um, they said that his uh, his oh, here. Oh. Whoa. May have to wait just a hot second before opening it up. Um, oh, what the heck was it called? Crap, sternum might have been cracked. It was swollen right here in the middle. Yeah. And they were asking, Where did you find him? I was like, He was in the wreckage, started coming out. They said he was in the front of his door, 
and tornado hit. Well, what hit them? <laughs> Debris. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, traffic all. Yeah. Like I mean, uh, maybe yeah, the house has it imploded. They they did they did ask is like how was the house looking? I was like I'm pretty sure the house is gone. Oh, yeah. The entire town is it's it's destroyed. Yeah. And you just see the face just sink, and I'm like oh no. He was like, well, it's going to be a long night. And I was like, yeah. So they I, didn't even know? No. They didn't even know. Wow. But I'm sure people mm -hmm. probably called and stuff. I'm hoping that someone may have called and told them. Well, no one is going to need help as well, everybody. Don't tell me that the second line is already caught up to us. You should have a spot for your treat. Yeah, Another tornado warning up north. Yeah. That radar indicated. That well, I know when a storm is still going strong. It's gonna go all the way to hell. Yeah, my bad. Starkville, Columbus, all those areas are probably in the path of that along 82. It's just parallel. Oh, we don't want to make it hit twice. Look, there's the first violent one, and then there's one right behind it, and Winona's just literally right there in the middle. Does that one have a correlation drop on it? I don't know if there's a correlation drop to pick up on. Now, that one doesn't. The top one doesn't either. Neither of them have. <laughs> but at least it could be far away. Jumping in here for a minute, guys. Um, you heard what Chad was saying. Chad was saying he thinks uh, seeing another circulation right behind the first circulation that went through Winona, uh, Winona. This is the same storm that this is the Rolling Fork tornado, and it's long track. It's going all the way across the state. Reed said he wouldn't be surprised if it goes all, all the way to Alabama. Um, if you're in the path of this, you need to be getting out of the way, going to a safe place. Uh, it be in 10 minutes, it'll be in Walthall, uh, 20 minutes, Mantee, Woodland, Okalona, Aberdeen, and it could keep going from there. Uh, I hear the guys talking though. Bring it back. 
uh, thank you guys for all the support. Um, and, uh, and, uh, if you're wondering who's in the car, that's Chad. He's, um, he's with Mark Payton vlogs. Obviously you could, you could see that he was a good storm chaser. He's also a good guy. Um, and he, he has uh, EMS, um, experience. So they're doing what they can right now. The guys are headed back to Rolling Fork, um, where their friend, Chris, Chris, Florida tornado was apparently hurt, possibly shaken up. Don't think it's anything serious with Chris, um, but they're headed back there to go check in with him. You just say you want to change your clothes, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's about to get trench foot. Huh? Probably about to get trench foot. <laughs> Your feet get wet, you know? Yep. Oh, my feet's already soaking wet. Man, remember that easterly wind surge happened is when it touched down. Remember that? Yeah. It always happens like that. It's weird, right when they're about to that touch quick? down. That Yeah. Because that the low pressure reservoir plants and then all the surface and flow and everything kind of at once rushes in. It's like a vacuum. I saw it in the Wiener tornado on that Kentucky one, the Bayfield tornado when it first touched down near Wiener, south of Jonesboro. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened. Mm -hmm. And just the other day out in uh, Kelton in the eastern Texas Panhandle, it came from the west. It comes from both directions, which is a for it. Oh, never fails when you want a lightning strike to illuminate it. it never does. Yeah. So it passes as far away, yeah. and it's like, oh, hey, here it is. Yeah. They're now, all now the you see flame. me. It's like, One hour sooner. Yeah. On the Louisiana side. But you, from the beginning, you caught it. As soon as it got over the Mississippi, that's when it's going to plant. Yeah. What did it do? As soon as it crossed over, just planted right there. But you thought that as well. That first storm did that same thing. You said it hit the Delta and just boom. Yeah. The photographs were supportive of tornadoes, though, and it's like at 2, 3, 4 p.m. I mean, surprise those blobs didn't produce. It's got right in front of my hands. No, like, what do you want us to do? We're over the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, right, that's on, too? Yeah. Oh, what an ass. Yeah, go ahead. Nice car. I thought about getting an SUV. Really? Suburban instead of my truck. But I just, I keep thinking, if we're moving or doing something, I need to be able to haul stuff, not just family vehicle. That seems like a hundred grand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hell, even my truck used was uh, 53. Wow. And brand new's are like 70, 80. I'm like, wow. No. Yeah, it's mine's crazy. 13. I'm like, wow. Yeah. A nice truck, too. I don't know, probably should just hop to the curve, so. Let's see. All the decisions I make are usually spur of the moment. That's just kind of how life has been going. Oh, yeah. After a storm chasing for 25 years, everything is in the moment. I never really plan anything. Else. 
So what you have planned for Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Chris had the Gravitron sensor in his car too. Oh, what if he had it on? Wait, it was, yeah, it, was it, in that, it was the one for Hurricane Ian that he was just bringing back to me. Really? Yeah. It was it's, it's the irony of that. Hurricane <laughs> Ian and now this tornado. Alright guys, we're going back to uh, pick up some fellow storm chasers, make sure they're okay up in Rolling Fork. What makes it worse is where Rolling Fork is, it's kind of in a... Guys, you heard them. They're headed back towards Rolling Fork to pick up a man known as Chris Florida Tornado. He uh, was, he's okay. He was pretty much hit by it. Uh, if you look on his Twitter, you could see that he was extremely close. Um, the, the guys are headed back to Rolling Fork now um, to go pick him up and look after him. And yes, People are trying to figure out, is this, is this another, this was the first, is this another circulation in Winona here? Um, if you're just joining us, um, uh, Reed and Chad, uh, they were, they started in Arkansas, moved their way down um, into Louisiana, uh, started going south in Louisiana, spotted this cell, I think when it started around Alexandria. And that's the one that they picked. Um, and they watched it the whole way as it went all the way up towards uh, Tallulah. And then um, they crossed here to get into uh, to get into Mississippi. And they said, as soon as it crosses, we think it's going to plant. And that's exactly what happened. Um, so that went from, you know, that went from Rolling Fork all and that was in Rolling Fork. That's all the way up here now. So these are it's going around fifty, and we have a new. These are new tornado warnings here. Yeah, um, don't have it confirmed if, if this is actually. I mean, it looks like there is another circulation. We don't know if it's a tornado uh, that just went through Winona. Um, it's original. If we don't know if it's still on the ground, um, this will be in Manti in 10, 20, uh, 20 minutes. Um, if you're in Manti and you're in Woodland, um, you need to get into your safe place. Um, you need to get out of the way if you can. Um, and keep your head on a swivel because something like this might happen. You see one circulation, and you're just getting your breath, and then maybe another circulation is right behind it. Excuse me, sorry about that zoom, but this is um, the SPC 
they called it if we look at the okay this is the updated day one but you could see right where they they thought the action was going to happen it did um a lot of times uh we are struggling with the signal because what what happens is cell towers are taken out especially by a, a storm this large um so we will see if we're able to get them back um or if the cell towers are completely down where they were uh, where they're going to pick up chris uh who was hit by the tornado uh again chris is okay reed and chad are okay uh it looks like i believe his name was mo um, and his girlfriend, who were transported to the hospital uh, by Reed and Chad, it sounds like they're okay too. Uh, but it sounds like a lot of people may not be okay in Rolling Fork and and all across um, Dixie. Um, it is a uh, tornado emergency for sure. Uh, reports of homes uh, being slabbed in Rolling Fork uh, is what we have. And again, this is uh, this Rolling Fork right around here. This is Yazoo City that got a really, really hard direct hit. Um, eerie, eerie, eerie similar circumstances. Reed and Joel, I believe in 2010, they were in Yazoo City when it got hit and they had to uh, go into search and rescue mode, uh, just like it's happening today. Um, see here uh we want to thank you all members of team dominator we appreciate the um the concern um for, for reed and chad um and yeah these guys are just doing what they can to make sure that there is somebody on the ground to say yes there is something very very dangerous headed your way um and we hope that we had a small part in getting that word out um but if we zoom back out we could still see we have a we have a severe thunderstorm headed towards Nashville. Um, we have another another in Tupelo. We have a tornado warning here. Uh, just passing Baldwin, going to Tishomingo. Um, we have more tornado warnings here. Uh, this is the same storm. Hopefully, maybe it's starting to. I don't know. There's still circulations right here and right here. Yes, Chris Florida is fine. He's okay. They're just, you know, maybe his vehicle's disabled. Maybe he's just shaken up and, and they don't want him to be alone. Uh, but they're going back to uh, help their, their friend who is uh, chasing this and who is also, uh, who is also hit. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a bad night. This is definitely a bad night. Silver city. Uh, we're getting bad reports. Mm -hmm. Monona, uh, obviously Rolling Fork, you saw the results of that. Uh, Chris's Twitter handle, you just type in Chris FL Tornado. Um, I'm getting reports of uh, fatalities in Rolling Fork in Silver City. Yeah, this is as, this is as bad as it gets. Um, let's see, but it is still dangerous. Um, sorry, I feel like our blood has come down because it was so, so intense, uh, but it is still going on. So if, uh, you do know people in the path of these things, make sure that they know this is a very serious situation. We have, uh, this tornado warning up here, uh, going into Payton, Tishomingo, Cherokee, Littleville, Tuscumbia, and Sheffield. That one's tornado warned. Um, Uh, we still have this storm that we're familiar with. This is the one that's tracked all the way across the state. Um, and that's going to be in Manti in 15 minutes. Um, 
assume that it's less than that. Woodland after that, Aberdeen, and Amory. We are starting to get into a tougher, let's see where this radar does. Yeah, so here's this here's this circulation. That's the one that, that we saw on the stream as it touched down and that, that tracked all the way across the state. And then here's another bit of circulation behind us, right behind it, right in a line. Um, you know, there is, you know, storm chasers can get a bad rap sometimes, um, you know, but they do critical ground truth. You need the ground truth and they do critical search and rescues like Reed and Chad just did. Um, they got those injured people to the hospital, um, especially in a radar hole like this. Reed is calling me right now. Hello. Hey, how you guys doing? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it... Yeah, it, I mean, it seemed like... I mean, it, the video was pretty crazy. It, he's But he's he's okay. What is his vehicle disabled? His vehicle was thrown. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, it's I don't have a confirmation on it, honestly. Well, uh, we are, um, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, uh, stand by one second. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you guys are still going...
right, guys, I'm just conversing with Reed here. We're trying to figure out. Um, I, I think the best thing that we could do at this point is really just keep getting the word out. They need med medical supplies. Um, it, uh, we are, uh, they do need medical supplies. They need people um, helping out. There's a lot of damage. There's a lot of people hurt, frankly. Um, and so uh, if you're in the area, if you're able-bodied, you might want to get out there and see if you could help in any way. Um, we are going to see um, if, uh, you know, if, if we think it's beneficial to keep going with the stream. Uh, we will. We're going to take a couple of minutes and uh, just uh, stand by and thanks for sticking around. Um, all right, guys. Yeah, we are going to, uh, we're going to shut down our stream in a second here. We want to thank everybody. Uh, we want to thank all the mods. We want to thank all the members of Team Dominator. Um, and we want to thank anybody who's going out and, and helping uh, tonight. This very serious situation is a tornado disaster. Um, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, please continue to keep your eyes on the weather. Um, we need to make sure that uh, all our people are good too. And um, there's probably going to be severe weather tomorrow too, um, going into Georgia. Um, so uh, we we might be up again tomorrow. Hopefully it's nothing like this. Um, but um, we'll see you then. Thank you guys. And um, 